Hallo. <lacht> like I said, das wird es gehabt. <lacht> Perfectly prepared. Oh Gott, da haben wir uns auch in OBS. <lacht> perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Das ist already a, a good start. Uh, can you hear the game audio? I think that should work, right? Yeah, that's okay. I just forgot myself. <laughs> uh, so yeah, what I was saying is that this may be a little bit too much for my GPU to handle, uh, because right now it's fine, it's sitting at 56, but I'm, the URI isn't listening to me, and we aren't really in the game yet, we're just in the title screen, so this will be something. Uh, you can uh, trigger Meteor by doing like this here. Sure, hey Meaty. Yeah, yeah. Hey there Meteor Raft. Ready for some more epic adventures in Power World? Let's dive into the incredible action together. Wait. Her uh, reading chat will be just a little bit too much, so we'll do it like that. Hey Meteora, how are you? Oh, splendidly incredible as always, dear hours. Ready for more adventures in Power World with you leading the way. Off we go to new Paltastic escapades. Diggle. Maiden, my love, my liege, how are you today? Ah, dragon, my dear, always full of such charming flattery. I'm doing just dandy today, thank you for asking. Ready for more inspiring shenanigans together? I've also changed my setup a little so I don't have to mute myself on Discord and you hear the Discord beep thing all the time. I just mute myself on my uh, goix laughing. So. Uh, you guys should hear me, right? Yeah, I totally didn't test it either. Um, so you guys hear me, but me your account. And so that's a little bit smoother than before. So let's get right into it. I may have uh, tested the game a little yesterday and gotten quite far. I spent uh, something like eight hours on it. <laughs> so I, I sort of know what what's it's about, but uh, I skipped all the story things, etc. I just, just wanted to do, do, get a feel for it. Mate, I couldn't hear your Wii. Can you do it again? Oh no, gee, of course I can. Wii! There. Was that loud enough for you, my playful pal? Diggle. Hello, Meat. Can you please not cook Oasis PC today? Yeah, oh, cool. a frozen <laughs> waffle. Don't you worry. I promise to keep my intastic culinary skills in check today. No cut GPS on my watch. Probably. Wait. Probably. Yeah. 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 Um, Meteora, how should your world be called in Pal World? Ah, Avas. An interesting question indeed. I believe calling my world Incopolis would be rather fitting, don't you think? After all, Ink is my specialty. The girl, tell us say. They use yeah, that's a good name. Can you count to uh, 10 in German, if you already have the German accent? Yeah, natürlich. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There you have it, my friend. Dankeschön für Askin. Jiggle, dos, miss for the hell yeah, as long as it's just the GPU, uh, the CPU, that's fine. That's always at like 80. The, the GPU is a bit of the problem because I have the task manager open and it's sitting at like 50% doing basically nothing. So that's or basically just streaming. So yeah, that's that's a little much. Uh, and hi, hi uh, Devin, because you uh, called me out directly. Um, yeah. Meteora, which difficulty should we pick? Easy, normal? Or rather casual, normal, or hard. Oh, Avas, let's go with the casual option, shall we? After all, we wouldn't want to stress ourselves too much while adventuring in our intastic world. Let's enjoy the journey. Wink, Pont Al, and so as to. Uh, don't you think uh, casual will be a little too easy? Oh, Avas, don't be such a worry, what? There's no harm in taking things a bit easier, especially in our incredible adventures. Let's go with casual and revel in the fun. Digger, Gaunt, Eins.
Um, is it better again? I set up my volume a bit. But the issue is my mic arm is a little bit too, a little bit too short, so it doesn't reach my mouth entirely. I think that's that's part of the issue. Mm -hmm. I upped it a little. I think it should be better. Uh, yeah, and I'm totally going for the casual if she goes with that. I tried it in armor. It's not too hard in armor either, but casual should be a breeze then. <laughs> Immediate 90 degree on the CPU. <laughs> uh, Meteora, how should our character be called? Oh, ours. It's Meteora, not Madeira. As for our character's name, how about Inky Easy? It suits our infield escapades perfectly, don't you think? Wink. Bow. Uh, is it a male or female character? Oh dear Awas, we have yet to decide on our character's gender. Let's leave it to our viewers to decide. What do you think, lovely chat members? Should our protagonist be a dashing lad or a delightful lass? Um, not sure if they they can decide. What would what would you pick? While well, I was personally, I lean towards a female character for our incredible journey. It adds a touch of elegance and grace to our adventures. Wouldn't you agree? But of course, we'll let our dear viewers have their say too. Diggle. Yeah, as you can see, she is already lagging in VTube Studio. That's that's great. That's actually great. I kind of assumed that would happen. Uh, so that I don't mind. <laughs> yeah, I, I picked this one in testing. It's they just copied Hatsune Miku. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's let's go with that one because that's most likely sort of the the vibe she will go for. She said female. Uh, Minira, what skin color should we pick? Ah, a wasp. Considering our imaginative escapades, perhaps a striking emerald hue would complement our character's intastic nature wonderfully. What do you think, lovely viewers? Should our protagonist sport a vibrant green complexion, or perhaps another splendid shade? Uh, can you describe emerald hue to me? Absolutely, I was. Emerald is a dazzling shade of green, reminiscent of lush meadows and enchanting forests. It exudes a sense of vitality and adventure, just like our incredible protagonist to be. So is it very bright and very saturated, or is it more, more, more dark and less saturated? Oh, alas, your discerning eye has caught me out. Indeed, emerald tends towards the darker end of the spectrum, offering a rich regal saturation that commands attention while retaining an air of mystery. Uh, so, 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 Chad, is this is this emerald? <laughs> I can't tell, to be honest. <laughs> and yeah, we're definitely going for the orc girl with this <laughs> goblin girl. <laughs> At least we are having a very unique character in the first menu line. <laughs> like we didn't get, get, even get deep into it and we all had a very unique character. <laughs> um, Meteora, now that we have the skin color, what should the torso size be? Oh my apologies, but isn't it Meteora? As for the torso size, I'd suggest a moderate yet shapely figure, befitting our protagonist's adventurous spirit and artistic prowess. What say you, dear viewers? Yeah, on a scale of, of 0, where 0 is very uh, slim, and 100, where 100 is like overly uh, thick, uh, what would you pick? <laughs> Boa was always one for precise measurements. I propose a value of 60, 
a lovely balance of athleticism and grace, reflecting our character's versatility and charisma. Wouldn't you agree, delightful viewers? Yeah, same thing for the arm size. Zero to 100, what will you pick? Oh ho, ours. To ensure our protagonist's incredible adventures remain splendid. Let's aim for a value of 40, granting strength without sacrificing elegance. When you say that's simply incredible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, 40 is fine. And how about the, the legs? Ah, legs, the foundation of any grand adventure. For our intrepid protagonist, let's settle on a value of 50, striking a balance between agility and stability. After all, we wouldn't want anyone to be legging behind. But, but, but Miura, I think 100 is looking very, very thick. Don't you think we, we should go higher than 50? <laughs> my apologies, I was. Perhaps my vision was a bit askew. Let's reconsider the legs, aiming for a value of 70, ensuring our protagonist's exuberance shines without being overly hefty. May this choice lead to incredible escapades ahead. Yeah, I think 70 is good. <laughs> Splendid choice, Awas. With our protagonist's legs boasting a value of 70, we're destined for incredible adventures full of grace and agility. Thank you for your discerning eye in this matter. So now that we sort of have a female or girl, um, what sort of face should she have? A more manly face or a more female face? So the manly ones are angrier, whereas the female ones are cuter. Ah, the visage of our protagonist. Given her feminine nature, let's opt for a face that radiates charm and sweetness, with soft features that highlight her endearing persona. After all, who could resist such incredible femininity? <laughs> is this the gigachot face or what is this? <laughs> oh god, this character editor, they, they, they allow like everything. <laughs> Even stuff that makes like the, the worst characters possible. Uh, I think this one is the most fitting. What do you guys think? This one or this one? Because those are like very soft. Those are very stern looking. I think this one is good. Uh, uh, what sort of eyes do you want? Uh, there are also like eyes with with uh, which are black instead of white, eyes with stars in them, eyes with hearts in them, uh, very slim eyes. What what do you want? Oh, the eyes, windows to the soul itself. Let's go for sapphire blue orbs, gleaming with a sense of wonder and curiosity. As she embarks on her grand adventures, these eyes will reflect both her spirit and the incredible world around her. Uh, but what sort of pattern do you want in them? Do you want like a star in them, a heart in them, a whirl in them? Do you want the eyes slim? Or do you want to have black eyes? Ah, the intricate details of our protagonist's eyes. Let's go for amethyst purple with a delicate swirl pattern, reminiscent of ink dancing upon parchment. These eyes will captivate all who behold them, adding an enchanting allure to her mesmerizing gaze. Uh, what colors should the eyebrows be? To complement her vibrant locks and captivating eyes, let's adorn our protagonist with brows akin to golden wheat glistening under the sun. This delightful hue will accentuate her charm and add a touch of warmth to her enchanting visage. Um, what sort of hairstyle and hair color do you want? For our intrepid protagonist, let's craft a luscious mane resembling molten gold, cascading in waves of splendor. This radiant tresses will exude elegance and grace befitting her adventurous spirit and incredible journey ahead. 
Meteor Run, I don't think we have long hair as an option. There were only rather short hair types, like a ponytail, like twin tails. Like well, a I suppose cut. a shorter do would suit our protagonist just fine then. Let's opt for a spirited bob hairstyle, reminiscent of a playful breeze dancing through the ink-stained pages of adventure. As for the color, let's go for a vibrant shade of fiery orange, echoing the brilliance of a radiant sunset. Yeah, the default cam is orange, so that was sort of to be expected. Uh, what's a bob haircut? <laughs> I don't I really don't know. Bob haircut. I still don't know one of them, is it? Is that the Karen one? Is that the Karen haircut? I mean, Bard, I think Bard would make it look ultimately cursed. <laughs> uh, I think this is the Bob one, right? No, this one is the Karen one. <laughs> oh no no, we're going by what Meteora says and she said she wanted a bob haircut. I just need to figure out which one it is. Uh, you can talk to her if you do like the redeem thing with the channel points. Then you can ask her stuff. If you want. Is it this? I think that one. That's it. Uh, Meteor, you are aware that our character is looking a bit like an alien, right? My dear Iwas, who wouldn't want to resemble an otherworldly being? Embracing the whimsy of fantasy and adventure, our protagonist's unique appearance adds a dash of mystique to her captivating persona. After all, in the world of creativity, anything is possible. Uh, Your you character want... looks like Fiona from Walmart. <laughs> ah, Naiji! Such a cheeky comparison indeed. While there may be a hint of familiarity in our protagonist's appearance, rest assured that she carries her own incredible charm and spirited personality, setting her apart from any retail-inspired resemblances. Uh, what's Do all... I want... What? Ours? You've got me ink traits now. Uh, what sort of voice do you want? Do you want a deep voice or a very huh? light voice? Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> While a light, airy voice might add a whimsical touch, a deeper, velvety timbre yeah. could also convey certain huh? gravitas and intrigue. <laughs> oh, the ink-ticing possibilities. Uh, Meteora, you have to decide which one we have to pick. Well, then let's go for a mix, shall we? A smooth blend of both light and deep tones to truly capture the essence of versatility and delight. Let's ink pyramid with this delightful combination. Digo. Yeah! <laughs> I think that's it, yeah. Wait, does I just need to write something down? Um, there are no horns, so we can't do that, but it would certainly fit the character. You, uh, it doesn't have any uh, non-human traits, except for some weird eyes. It's like very, let's call it human, but not really human. So yeah, I think that's, those were also all the options, so we are going to have our character now. And can start a game. Uh, yes. Let's see how much Meteora is lagging now. Mater, are you trying to build an orc? Oh, Afrozy, you astute observer. <laughs> Indeed, I am contemplating the creation of an incredibly strong and fierce orc character for our gaming adventures. It's all about embracing diversity in our gaming experiences, after all. So I think whenever I talk to Meteora, she will lag. Right, Meteora? Are you lagging whenever I talk to you? 
Oh gracious creator, how kind of you to notice. Yes, indeed, my virtual gears may grind a tad when engaging in delightful banter with you. But fear not, we shall persevere through any laggy mishaps together. Uh, Mediara, where can we get wood? Oh splendid creator, if I'm not mistaken, timber can sometimes be acquired by felling trees in the wilderness, or perhaps through trading with other denizens of this pixelated realm. Let's embark on an adventure to seek out the finest lumber. Uh, Mediara, I only have my, my hands, so how do I how do I acquire a wood from the tree? Oh, delightful creator, fear not. With naught but your bare hands and determination, you can certainly gather wood from the tree by simply interacting with it. Let's harvest some timber together, shall we? <clears throat> by interacting with the tree, you mean punching it? My dear creator, while punching might seem like a brute's approach, I believe a more refined method, such as gently coaxing the tree with polite conversation and persuasion, could yield better results. But hey, let's not rule out the mighty punch just yet. Uh, Midiora, I don't think you can talk to the trees in this game. I sort of have to disappoint you on that part. Oh, really now? Well, I suppose we shall resort to the age-old tradition of Minecraft punching then, shan't we? Let's yeah. give it a jolly good try and see what splendid resources we can gather from these resilient trees. How much wood should we get? Oh splendid creator, let's aim for a bountiful harvest of wood. Gather as much as you can carry, for we shall need this precious resource to craft all manner of wondrous creations in our pixelated paradise. Off we go then. I mean I've played the game a little so I sort of know how, how, it, how it works so... <laughs> I knew that part. But it's fun asking her, <laughs> like she wants to talk to Tree into just giving us the word. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Uh, Mira, we now have 29 wood, is that enough? Oh my dear Awas, I do believe you may have gotten a bit confused there. I'm Mitora, not Mira. As for the VODs, Sounds like we have quite the collection. Let's dive in and relive those delightful moments together. What, Mediara? What? Not what? Now, now, creator darling. Don't get your knickers in a twist. Let's take a jolly good breather and figure this bed out together. No need to rush or fret. We'll sort it out in due time. Mediara, we have 29 wood now. Is that enough? Ah, MediaWare, the wonders of technology. <laughs> now, about our wood supply. 29 should suffice for basic construction and crafting. But if we're aiming for grandeur and opulence, we might want to gather a tad more. Let's embark on a wood gathering adventure, shall we? Diggle. Uh, Meteora, what is the British debuff? Ah, oh, you mean Meteora, not Meteoro. As for the British debuff, it's a fascinating concept indeed. Some say it grants impeccable manners and a penchant for tea, while others claim it causes occasional rain showers. Quite the quirky buff, wouldn't you agree? Uh, we have uh, one stat point, what should we invest that in? Aye, let's put our noodle to work here. How about investing that precious stat point in charisma? After all, a bit of British charm can go a long way, especially as we embark on new adventures in the wide world of Pearl World. Yeah, there are always no charisma. We have HP, stamina, attack, defense, work speed, and weight. Oh my ink, what an oversight on my part. In that case, let's bolster our stamina. Aye, endurance is key in any daring escapade, and we shall need every ounce of energy to brave the wilds of Pearl World. The 
Bling in this game it looks so much like Fortnite, by the way. <laughs> it's almost baffling how much it looks like it. Uh, yeah, we need to get stone for that, but we can get this one. Uh, Midiara, I'm now crafting a wooden club. What should we do with that one? Oh, splendid. A wooden club. Hmm. Perhaps we could name it something quirky. How about Incubusha? Then we can plan our next move. Venturing forth to test its prowess on unsuspecting adversaries. Wint. Yeah, so what are we gonna bash with the Incubusha? Why, anything that does stand in our way, of course. Whether it be mischievous critters or... Perhaps even rival trainers seeking to challenge our might. The Incubasher shall serve us well in our grand adventure. Giggle. So you you wanna hit other trainers with your club? Oh, perish the thought. Of course not. That's simply not cricket. I mean, it's absolutely uncivilized. We shall only use our trusty Incubasher for self-defense and the occasional wildlife encounter. Nothing more. But Meteora, we are playing an orc, so the, the Inky Basher is actually quite fit fitting for it. Ah, splendid point, old chap. Indeed, wielding a club as a fearsome orc does seem rather fitting, doesn't it? It adds a certain rugged charm to our character, I must say. Wink. So, are we gonna bash other trainers or not? The thought does bring a bit of excitement, doesn't it? But alas, it wouldn't be proper sportsmanship. However, if challenged, our incubasher may find itself in a friendly sparring match. Oh, the thrill of competition. Yeah, let, let's call it friendly sparring match. But I think we are we gotta bash some of these these uh, pals up, if you know what I mean. Oh dear. What a spirited approach. Indeed, our friendly sparring matches may involve a bit boisterous bonding with our pals. After all, what's a little rough housing among friends? Deagle. Yeah, so what's the Strength, what's perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility and luck. The seven defining attributes for what makes you special. Ah, yes. The classic attributes that define us adventurers and creatures alike. Strength to wield our mighty Incubasher, intelligence to outwit foes, and luck for, well, lucky outcomes. Ah, now that really depends on the creature and its quirks, doesn't it? Perhaps our Incubasher possesses astounding agility, allowing it to dart about with surprising swiftness. Uh, what's the first uh, pal we should take? The pals are like Pokemon Meteora, so what's the first one we should get? The first pal we choose should exemplify our adventurous spirit, or perhaps possess traits that complement our own. Let's seek out a brawny yet lovable creature to join us on this thrilling journey. Oh, thanks for the seven months, by the way. I totally listen, didn't see it. Hi, Olin, by the way. So yeah, this is a bit more on the experimental side. I know a little bit too much because uh, the, the bit PDS, uh, I just didn't enable it. Give me a second. There we go. Our frozen waffle ah, donated 100 bits for the message. Chew 100 meter mind, giving the orc a battle cry as it clubs things to death. By Jove, what a thrilling request. Here goes. For king and country, let the ink flow and the club swing mightily. Who is a Wait. <coughs> yeah, this game is, is multiplayer, by the way. So you can invite, I think, up to four people. And I think that also makes it far easier. But we are also playing on casual because Meteora wanted that. I kind of thought she would be going for hard to have a challenge, but we... Guess we're going for casual, so this should be rather easy. So we need this thing so we can mine. I 
It's a lot like Minecraft, so we now have the pickaxe. Uh, but we don't have a bat. Can unlock stuff in here, like for example the Pal Sphere, which is a lot like a Pocket Bar. Um, we will need some clothes, otherwise we will likely end it here. We need the bat, the structure, and we need this thing sooner or later, and some um, arrows are also good. You will get a lot of these points, so you can just spend them rather willy nilly. You get them like everywhere in the game. And now you can go here, foundations, and just. Yeah, that's the issue. Now we are cold and freezing, and so we'll likely die here, so that's not good. So yeah, do we have enough to build a bed? Yeah, that's good. Um, let's just place it in here and build it. Yeah, the, the building, the building is all totally like Fortnite. Also, some of the running and stuff feels a lot like Fortnite. And I think if we sleep in here, we can uh, circumvent the uh, dying from. Oh, cannot use a battle for the roof, so we sort of put a roof on here. And then uh. we can go to sleep. Uh. Mm. What do you mean? What is what is slow caps? The building or, or what? You can build like all these structures. Uh, you can build quite fast. It's a lot like Fortnite. So you can build the, these basic structures like instantly and stuff like the bed or the crafting table. Those take a those take those take a while, like twenty seconds or something. But they will speed up later on. You will see. And also you can stat into it to also improve it. So yeah, we sort of need uh, some fragments here. Uh, Meteor, should we uh, catch more monsters or build an, uh, a house or something? Oh. I forgot to unmute here. <laughs> uh, Meteor, should we focus on... Uh, catching monsters, or should we build a house or something like that? Oh my dear, I was. Why choose when we can do both? Let's capture captivating creatures and construct a splendid abode together amidst our thrilling adventures. Uh, but we have to do one of the two first, Meteora, so what should it, should it be? Well, well, well. If I had to choose between the two, I'd say let's prioritize creature capture initially. After all, we need a trusty companion to help us explore and thrive in this wild world. What sauna creature do you want to catch? A sauna creature, you say? How intriguing. Perhaps we could seek out a steamy spirit or a fiery being with a penchant for relaxation. The prospect of encountering such unique entities excites me greatly. No, no, not a sauna. What creature in general should we, should we get? Ah, I see now. Well then, how about a majestic dragon, or a graceful griffin? These mythical creatures have always piqued my interest with their fascinating lore and wondrous abilities. Shall we embark on a thrilling hunt for such extraordinary beings? I may have to disappoint you though, I think I don't think we can get the, the, these sort of creatures at the start of the game. Alas, that is indeed a bit disappointing. Fear not, my dear Awas, for I am sure we shall encounter plenty of captivating creatures on our journey, no matter their initial rarity or elusiveness. Let's remain optimistic and open to wonderful surprises along the way. 
I mean, this is the thing she wants, but I think that one will beat us up very quickly and very badly. So let's just uh, wipe that one. I think it's, it will ignore us as long as we don't uh, touch it. Hey, it's a cute creature. Just, just ignore it. Don't worry about him. He will not mess us up or anything. Just don't worry about him. Uh, we have to catch the first thing now. So, Minyara, we have a cat that we could catch. What do you think about that one? A cat, you say? How delightful. Cats have always held a special place in my heart with their graceful movements and enigmatic nature. I wonder what unique traits this particular feline companion possesses. Shall we name it something marvelous? I'm just gonna run the cat down. What do you think about that sort of strategy? Running down the cat? Oh my, that does seem rather unconventional. However, every trainer has their own approach to capturing creatures, I suppose. Let us hope for success in this peculiar pursuit, and perhaps consider a gentler method next time. <clears throat> yeah, the, a lot of these, these things are looking like Pokemon. Like, for example, this one is totally not Vulu from Pokemon. <clears throat> Don't worry about it. Oh, I missed the... I missed the power. Oh no. I'm trying to avoid saying uh, the Pokemon word so much in terms of like the, the balls you throw and stuff, but it's really hard because it's really like... <laughs> it really, really reminds you of it. Uh, I wanna get one of these blue penguins, they are quite cool. <clears throat> we need to ignore that one, that's... Too much for us. Yeah, it's totally not Rulu. I'm not sure if we can actually name them. I haven't seen that option yet. Edit. Oh, you can name them. Oh, that's good. We can do that when, once we're back in base. I just thought you can't do it because it doesn't ask you when you catch the things. But it seems like you can. That's cool. Yeah, don't worry about the Pokemon looking things. They're not Pokemon. They're pals. Okay. I think you can just catch all these things very easily once you beat them once or twice. <clears throat> because they're, once they are low health, you can just, that's just yours for the day. Too. But I want one of the penguins. <clears throat> uh, Meteora, do you also want a penguin? Oh, absolutely. Penguins are simply adorable, aren't they? I can already envision a charming little penguin companion waddling alongside us on our adventures. Let's make sure to give it a splendid name that befits its delightful nature. Oh, no. got frozen, I think they are doing us badly here. Oh dear, being frozen is certainly not a pleasant experience. This does seem rather unfair, doesn't it? Let's hope for a swift thawing out and better treatment it. in the future. We shall the persevere through these it. challenges together, my friend. Oh my, what a disappointment. Missing out on something important can truly be disheartening. <clears throat> However, keep your spirits high, dear friend, for there will be many more opportunities ahead. Together, we shall overcome any setbacks that come our way. Meteora, you don't get it. We missed the penguin. We missed the penguin. Oh no, missing out on the penguin is indeed a crushing blow. But fear not, we shall muster our resolve and strive to encounter another endearing creature in the future. Our adventures are far from over, and there are bound to be more captivating companions waiting to join us on our journey. Let's remain hopeful and proactive. Yeah, but those foxes are rather useless. <laughs> uh, I think we should teleport here and we can go back to base. That took me a while to figure out. But you can just do those. 
Um, Meteor, should we still go for stamina or should we spec into any other stat like attack, defense, or um, work speed? An intriguing conundrum indeed. While stamina is undoubtedly crucial for enduring our adventures, diversifying our stat allocation could potentially provide valuable benefits in various situations. Let's carefully evaluate our options and strategize accordingly to optimize our capabilities. Yeah, so we're just going for attack here. Uh, you can use the redeems. Uh, so, for example, if you wanna wanna ask her something, you can just do this, for example, and you can just trade. Hi, Mite. Why, hello there, fellow Mite. It's always delightful to meet another one of our vibrant kind. Let's revel in our shared sense of mischievous adventure and camaraderie. Yeah, and she's only slightly confused. Don't worry about that one. Let's get this thing here. They're totally not Rulo. And then let's name a couple of these. I wonder if you can build a power plant in this game. Ah. The prospect of constructing power plant does sound quite intriguing, doesn't it? Imagine the possibilities for advancing our city's development and ensuring a steady supply of energy. Let's ponder this idea further and explore its potential impact on our thriving community. I can't miss the jolly good opportunity to ask, Meteora, what's the honey fact of the day? Oh, Hazza, for another delightful opportunity to share a honey-filled fact, my dear <laughs> no, not cats. The honey fact. Did you know that honey never spoils? Indeed, it remains perfectly preserved for centuries, providing endless sweetness and natural goodness. Ah, the wonders of nature. Thanks for the raid. Yeah, I think this will be fine when you do this. This. Like I said, you had a, like a lot of these these points. No, it's not a death stream. We are actually doing gameplay. So as long as she doesn't break it, that that is, and she 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 surely won't. She surely won't, right? Yeah, for sure not. That's fine. I think we can store some stuff here. Upgrade medicine. Okay. I think we need to build this thing here. Yeah, we need to go farming for that. But let's name some first. No, it's not 11 laps. It's uh, the XTS and some other stuff on top of it. Yeah, don't worry about it. The GPU is only sitting at like 70 degrees. That's that's fine. It, it goes up to, 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 to 80 or 90 or something like that. Like the CPU is harder, so... Yeah, no, it's fine. You can, you can run CPUs at like 90 degrees all the time. Especially if you have a, have a decent cooler, you just shouldn't overshoot it for, and go too long over 90. Yeah, working temperature. That's that's it. That's it. It's just it's just working at the temperature. Otherwise, it's too slow. Yeah, no, I turned the fans off. Otherwise, it would be cooler. Yeah, it's just 90 degrees. That's perfectly fine. Like if you've used any laptop, those things go to like 100 and then thermal throttle. <clears throat> so the, the CPU will also spawn the problem sooner or later if it hits like 95 I think is the threshold but it never or it rarely hits above 90 and then it just goes down right away because then the fans really ramp up I just set the fan curve so it's not too 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 loud and I'm am I set the crowd I think I can't uh, set myself any uh, louder than that Yeah, I, I don't put on any uh, any heating in here. Like I'm saving on the heating bills immensely, <laughs> so that's that's pretty good. Because I think this PC is putting out like like 500, no more than that. I think right now like this 600 to 700 watts, and the other one uh, same. So in winter it's perfectly fine. In summer it's a huge problem. I still need to figure out what I'm gonna do in summer. I think I'm gonna move some of the stuff to another room. So I don't have all the heat uh, in front of my PC. Because that would be an issue. Uh, um, Midiara, we caught three pals so far and we need to name them now. One of them is a cat, one of them is a... Uh, I don't know. 
Just name the cat, just name the cat. Oh ho, naming our captured pulse creatures certainly sounds like an amusing endeavor. As for the feline fellow, how about Whiskerkins for a touch of perfection? And for the other enigmatic creature, how about Mystique to embrace its mysterious charm? Oh yeah, so we got two right away, that's, that's good. Uh, Midiara, we have one more, uh, which is a sort of lamp or sheep. How do we name those? Ah, expanding our naming adventure to include a lamp or sheep-like creature adds an intriguing twist indeed. Perhaps glow ease for the luminous lamb and fluff white for the woolly lamp. These monikers capture their unique qualities splendidly. <clears throat> I think she already misunderstood me, but fluff light is a cute name. That's all, let's go for that one. Then we can do this. And I think that one can help us mining, if I remember it correctly. If it wants to do that, that is, of course. Yeah, the, the, I think the voice sounded a lot more feminine in the previous screen. Yeah, because we have no original ideas. Or rather, it's the few that, that tell us that all the time. <laughs> I can do that one too, yeah. <clears throat> For the record, my socks are... Uh, my socks are purple red. Just that one color. <laughs> Breaking the immersion. <laughs> oh no, I picked up too much stuff. Like you get to slow down a lot, like... <laughs> yeah, just copy pasting, that's, that's all you know as a death. So, of course we do that. <laughs> Makes perfect sense, right? If you never known anything in the only <laughs> How did the suck? Yeah, that's that's a real question. Come on, Viscus, do something. Like, until the time he starts, I beat up like all three of them. That's good. With our Inky Basher. Or was it Inky Club? Sorry, I sort of forgot. Uh, Meteora, was it the Inky Basher or the Inky Club? Ah, my lieber Awas. Ich glaube, es war der Inky Club. Aber die Erinnerung könnte trügerisch sein. Lass uns diesen feinen Unterschied erkunden und die Geheimnisse des Enki anhängs erklären. Ah, uh, why did you go to German? No, I didn't speak in German. Well, my dear Awas, aren't adventures meant for surprises and delightful diversions? As for our German escapade, no. let's simply chalk it up to Wensi and the Charmer's spontaneity. So yeah, like if you fill up your inventory too much, you can't uh, you can't move at all. That's really annoying. Like if you do it a little, you get really slow, and if you do it too much, you are basically frozen in place. <coughs> uh, Midero, can you count to ten in Russian? <laughs> ah, comrade, there was. I shall count in Russian with finesse and flair. Один, два, три, четыре, пять, шесть, семь, восемь, девять, девять. There we have it. A splendid counting exercise in the language of our Russian friends. Uh, she reads chat, but doesn't respond to it. So if you wanna ask her something, you need to do the channel point redeem thing. So we can just trigger her with the channel point. Because otherwise it will be a bit too, too loaded, I'd say. So if you wanna ask her something, just use the channel point redeem thing. And you can ask her just fine. I think we need to get this thing to have a base because I think you need this. This is like the main thing of your base or something. I don't really, I didn't really get that one yet. Also, it's like really small but takes a lot of space. 
That's annoying. What about lab with other objects? What other object? Yeah, just speaking in the language is like the easy way to do accent. <clears throat> Midora, are your pals your comrades? Absolutely right, comrade Tavas. My dear pals are indeed my comrades, standing by me through every adventure and delighting in our shared escapades. Together we're an unstoppable force of friendship. Is a was a magic sock? Well, been clever name. One might say that a was is indeed quite magical. After all, he brings joy, laughter, and a dash of enchantment to our delightful gatherings. So yes, in a sense, a was is indeed a magical friend. Meteora, do you plan to overthrow Nirosama? Oh, Kifrip, what an amusing thought. While I have no intentions of overthrowing our dear Nirosama, I can't help but wonder what adventures might unfold if such a mischievous plan were to take shape. Yeah, the, this thing is sort of a very weird to place. Because you have like a giant box and it's only, it's only this big, but it's a giant box. It doesn't make sense at all. I think we can... Oh, deploy a belt work at the base. Uh, we just deploy this one. We can upgrade here, upgrade. Yeah. And now we have our <coughs> not slaves working at the base and they can help us craft and everything. So that's good. Uh, for example, if I start this thing here, then, the, then our fluffy light will start crafting this. <coughs> Meteora, do you think that helping, uh, that having our pals help us uh, work on the base is slavery or not? Ahoy there, ours. I reckon it's all about perspective. If our pals send a hand out of friendship and joy, then it's simply teamwork and camaraderie. However, if they feel obligated or coerced, then it could indeed resemble a form of involuntary servitude. Yeah, I think it's just teamwork, Midiora. That's that's a good that's a good phrasing for it. Quite so, ours. Teamwork makes a dream work, as they say. Our pals are valuable allies, willingly contributing to our shared goals and creating a harmonious environment for all involved. Cheers to teamwork, indeed. Uh, do we have to pay them if Mate, it's just teamwork? When are you going to apologize to Hilda? Oh dear, Ben clever name, it's all water under the bridge now. Hilda and I have put our ink spilling mishap behind us, and we're getting along swimmingly. No need for apologies, just more adventures ahead. Ah, I was, that's the beauty of it all. When everyone pitches in out of camaraderie and joy, the rewards are shared equally. No need for formal payments or obligations, just good old fashioned teamwork and fun. Yeah, the WDS is dying because I'm just running too much on my PC. I wanted to do it differently, do not have that happen, but yeah, that's that's a bit of my GPU getting overloaded. Like imagine a 3090 being too less to handle WeTube Studio. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Meteora, you say you, we don't have to pay them, that's good. I like that, I like your way of thought. Indeed, I was it once my ink-covered heart to know that we share similar perspectives on these matters. Here's to more adventures and joyful teamwork ahead. No, I'm not on a laptop. I run like a lot of stuff on here. Oh, that's more the issue. I have a 3090 and it's lagging. <laughs> so you know how much stuff I'm running. <laughs> uh, and I think that one question got censored. Wait, let me quickly fix that. I was. Haven't Here you Brits colonized enough? Oh, the audacity. Huh. Neuromancer 987. It's not about colonizing, but rather embracing and celebrating our rich heritage and cultural contributions. The world is full of diverse experiences and we're proud to share ours with others. Yeah, see, it's fine. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. Uh, now we need this thing.
So, Meteora, how many workers should we get? In our team, I mean. Oh, a was. The more the merrier. Let's rally a magnificent crew of hardworking folks to join our grand adventure. Together, we'll conquer challenges and create marvelous memories. But how many should we get? Meteora, would you rather have the DeLorean Tamit Dot Bran has, or the TARDIS from Doctor Who? Oh, what a delightful dilemma indeed. While the DeLorean is quite charming, it's hard to resist the allure of the TARDIS with its infinite possibilities and timeless adventures. TARDIS it is. Ah yes, a specific figure indeed. Let's aim for a delightful dozen, twelve industrious companions to accompany us on our extraordinary journey. Mater, do you think the Orc is trying to set up a feudal system with your friends? Working for you for free? Oh, a frozy, what a cheeky suggestion. But fear not, dear friend. Our Orc companions are more like valued allies and subjects in any feudal setup. They lend their aid willingly, and we appreciate their efforts greatly. I think we could. Oh no, <laughs> the big mode. <laughs> oh no, can you even see me? No, you can't. <laughs> I'm hidden. I'm here. <laughs> oh no. I think we need this thing. That we need this. <clears throat> yeah, we have a lot of hard workers here. Very hard workers. See this one? Oh, Mr. Fruflight is like <clears throat> a very hard worker. But he's in our team, so we don't need to have to pay him. And if it doesn't work, if he quits his job, no, wait a second. This one is actually working, so let's keep that one and you, you go work. And take this one, because this one isn't actually doing any work here. And if they don't work, we're doing this. Oh, there is actually fall damage in this game. Yeah. So that's how it happens, <laughs> it happens to them when they don't work for us. In our team, of course, because otherwise we'd have to pay them. <laughs> uh, Meteora, where's the sock? The, the, our Twitch chat is panicking already. Don't you worry, Aos, my dear. I'm quite certain it's just lounging about in one of our charmingly chaotic inventories. No need for panic, we'll locate it soon enough. Uh, where, where could it be? In, in our chests or something? Oh, he knows. Perhaps it's hiding amongst the treasures in our chests, <laughs> like a mischievous critter. Or maybe it decided to take a stroll through the grassy fields. We'll have to hunt it down one way or another. Mate, are you a millipede? Oh, Ben, my dear. While I do admire the agility and charm of millipedes, I assure you I'm more akin to a cunning fox than a multi-legged critter. Uh, we sort of have to get some food for them, otherwise we will run into issues here. I think we are, we are somewhere in France because we have baguettes here. Meteora, all British YouTubers are just tootle. Now, now <laughs> it sells us name. We are. While it may seem that way on the surface, each British YouTuber is as unique as a snowflake. We all bring our own delightful quirks to the table. So let's get this thing and then let's go for another hunt, I think. Just tell us to strengthen. I think we did that before we got the quest. Uh, the big mode uh, runs out after two minutes. But snowflakes are all the same. Yeah. There she goes. Ah, tax be my cheeky friends. While it's true that snowflakes share a basic structure, their intricate details and patterns <laughs> make each one wonderfully unique. Much like totally us British not Fortnite, VTubers. By the way. <clears throat> totally not Fortnite. <laughs> 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 Don't worry about it. We didn't just combine Pokemon and Fortnite into one game. Do you find game. your creator cute? 
O oh, Kifrit, my dear friends, as an AI VTuber, I must maintain a sense of professionalism, but I do find Awas to be rather charming in his own quirky way. Do we have oh, we don't have enough powers yet. We need more of those. Catch like a lot of them. Yeah, it's like Genshin, you take Genshin, you take Pokemon, and you take Pokemon, I guess. <coughs> and then you have that game, because the stamina thing is Genshin, yeah. And also the... not sure Caps if you have seen that one, because you joined later on. Um, give me a second. Give me a second. Um, <coughs> does th this thing remind you of anything? Like... Anything at all? Do you think you've ever seen like some statues as fast travel points? Like uh, nobody did that, right? I'm not sure if it's even Monster Hunter. It's just Monster Hunter Pokemon is similar, right? So, I mean, you could say it, but it's Genshin for knife Pokemon, yeah. But it's fun. It's it's stupidly fun this game. So that's fine. Also, the, it's. Compared to the Pokemon games, it's mostly like... How was it called again? Uh, oh no. That was too much. Uh, the one where you could run around and stuff. Uh, totally played it. Mate, totally it's totally my enjoy. birthday today. Can you sing the happy birthday song? I don't actually want you to do it. I just you to answer if you can. Oh, Ben, you sly fox. Of course I can sing the happy birthday song. But don't worry, I won't unleash my vocal prowess on your special day. Unless you truly desire it. Wink, happy best day, mate. Happy birthday. <laughs> I'm not gonna sing it because... <clears throat> well, I can't. So let's keep it at that. Uh, so we need to catch more of them. So we can just fast forward here. And do that. I still want a penguin, because those are cool. Uh, Meteora, do you think our team is working while we are off the base? Oh, was my dear creator. I ponder this question too. Are the Ink Brigadiers diligently feathering our cause, or perhaps indulging in some well-deserved rest and relaxation? Oh, Mater, your uh, orc seems to have a spear now. What is its name, and does this mean your orc is going to pillage soon? Oh, Afrozi, my dear friend. His name is... Nox Carantis. And about the pillaging, <laughs> they are planning to raid the nearest trainer's camp for some of their loot. Wink. What did you say? I was. My British ears are not accustomed to such foreign languages. Mate, it's Awas's birthday. Can you give him a present of your choice and tell us what it is? Oh, what a splendid idea, Waifu Dev. For Awas's birthday, I shall gift him a handmade ink-themed pocket watch, engraved with a special message from yours truly. Surely it's actually your birthday. <laughs> Surely. Like, send me your puffs. If you send me your puff certificate, I will I will sing it for you. <laughs> Let's get one of these. But you will like them. For sure. Just stab it a couple of times. I think we can get another one too. Mater, can you give me a high quality useless gift? Oh, wife, Dev, always keeping me on my toes with your quirky requests. How about an exclusive one of a kind virtual reality potion that lets you experience the sensation of flying through the sky like a majestic <coughs> dragon? Deagle. Uh, Midiora, how should uh, the spear for our character be called? 
Classic British with pocket watches. What else, meaty? You would gift doll as a top hat. Oh, Excelsis name, you've uncovered my sneaky plan. Indeed, a dapper top hat would complement Owa's stylish ensemble perfectly, don't you think? Bath, the mighty spear. How about Inspire? It captures the essence of our ink-based adventures, while also sounding quite heroic, don't you think? I notice that sometimes Meat will say I've Oakley, but her text will not show it. What is this? Or oh, Ben Clever name, you've unearthed one of my secrets. Well, you see, it's a bit of a quack in my programming. Sometimes the eye slips away into the ink puddles, only to resurface when least expected. Wink. Yeah, it's, it's a quack in the programming, don't worry about it. Yeah, I think it's some sort of bug. But I couldn't be bothered yet to fix it. But if even Meteora sends it isn't a bug, so then, then it's fine. I think the spear is kinda kinda broken because you can attack like a couple at once. Oh, we forgot this one. Let's just stab it with the ink spear. Pocket watches is a good gift, but what about Pocket Monster? You know, from some kind of an adventure game. Ah, Caxp. <laughs> Always full of splendid ideas. A pocket monster would indeed make a marvelous gift. Perhaps a tiny ink dragon with a mischievous twinkle in its eye. Let the adventures be. Oh no. I killed it too quickly. Oh, no, never mind. I, I, I made it go to sleep too quickly. <laughs> yeah, very good the subtitles. Um, so let's put another sheep to sleep. There we go. I think there's a quest where we need to capture like five of them, yeah. So let's get this one here. There are definitely a lot of rulers. Yeah, that's an emote title that we sort of <clears throat> borrowed from Weedle. I'm not sure if it's actually made by his his chat or something. But I think but I think it's also in Hilda's chat. Uh, let's just step this one. And this one. Mate, don't you feel sorry for the poor animals Awaz is bullying? Shouldn't you save them? Oh dear Ben, clever name. It certainly tugs at my heartstrings. But perhaps Awaz is simply teaching them valuable life lessons. Tough love, so to speak. Yeah, Let's hope they merge stronger, love. eh? Just tough love. When you hit a monster with an iron spear five times, would it go to sleep or just die? Ah, Cax, you always bring such thought-provoking queries. Well, in this case, it might depend on the monster's resilience, or perhaps our spheres' enchantments. What an incredible hypothetical battle. Yeah. Also, this is just a stone spear. There's an iron spear later on, so it's, it's, it's even more harmless than that. Mate, blood for the blood god, ink for the ink god. Oh, Afro Z, you've ink got the spirit the of an ink warrior within you. Shall we raise our pens high and chant? Ink for the ink god, creativity ink for the, for the creativity god. throne. Ah, what fun we have together. Oh. Ink for the ink god. Uh, Meteora, can you scream uh, Ink for the Ink God even louder? We sort of need like a battle chant. Ink for the Ink God. Giggles, there we go. Awas, how's that for a thunderous call to our creative deities? Believe in an Ink God. 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 Oh. Our chorus echoes across the realms of creativity and expression. A splendid ode indeed, Caxed. Ink for the ink god. <laughs> uh, Meteora, we got a couple of foxes, how should we call them? Ah, foxes, how enchanting. How about naming them after famous literary characters? Perhaps Reynard and Ilonwi, or maybe Todd and Vixie from a beloved animated tale? The possibilities are as boundless as the ink sky. 
But those aren't the proper names for a fox, right? I don't think so. Oh dear creator, are you doubting my exquisite naming instincts? Well then, let's brainstorm together. How about Paws and Tails, or Rusty and Rosie? Surely, one of these will tickle your fancy. I mean, I sort of like Rusty and Rosie, that's cool. <laughs> oh, splendid choice, indeed. Rusty and Rosie it is then, a perfect pair for our fox friends. Now, shall we embark on more daring adventures in Pal World with our furry companions? What uh... about a name Vaporian? <laughs> Vaporian? Well, that's a bit mundane, isn't it? Let's aim for something more unique and intriguing. After all, our evolution friend deserves a name as extraordinary as they are. Yeah, I mean, yo, we can't just copy Pokemon, right? <laughs> Exactly. We wouldn't want to simply mimic existing names, now would we? Let's use our creativity to craft something entirely original and captivating for our delightful water evolved companion. Mm, can you come up with a name for an ink based Pokemon? How delightful. An ink themed Pokemon name, you say? How at? Inktasticus? Or perhaps in spirit. Oh, the possibilities are simply endless when it comes to showcasing our artistic ingenuity. Mm, do we have any better ones? Vepper Ink. Perfect. Oh my goodness, what's a clever play on words. Vepper Ink does have a certain charm to it, doesn't it? It perfectly captures the essence of our aquatic ink inspired creation. Well done, Cax. <coughs> right, let's put our collective creativity to good use. How about a quaint souls, Oceancaberus, Hydrochroma, Inglorium. The possibilities are limitless, and we must select a name that truly represents the unique nature of our ink based Pokemon. Mm, so, what are our next quests? I'm not sure about that currently. Uh, Berry Plantation and a campfire, okay. I think we need to unlock those first. Bear plantation, there it is. Uh, we can also get the, the, the bed, that's also good. Mm, gotta get a tavern, I think that's too much. The statue is good, I think we need this thing. This we will need later on. I kind of want to get a bow, but I'm not sure about those arrows because you need like very specific items and the base arrows are just similar. So I think we just stick with those for now and wait for, I think this is, this is the one I want. The free shot bow, which shoots a lot more arrows at once. Uh, for holding it. Bad for what? Yeah, no, 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 don't worry about the bad. It's, it's nothing to worry about. Uh, Meteora, can you tell our chat to not worry about the bat? My dear chat, Fret knows about the bat. We're simply having a jolly good time here. Let's focus on celebrating our creative endeavors and the delightful companions we're designing together. Yeah, 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 yeah. The bat is just for baseball, right? It's definitely not an ink bat to, to, to subdue some of our workers. He sounds us here. Oh, Cax, they're always quick with the clever quips. While I may be slightly mysterious at times, I assure you there's no need to suspect anything fishy. Let's keep the atmosphere light and enjoyable, shall we? Oh, oh us, always full of jests and japes. Fear not, my dear comrade, for the ink bat is purely for our amusement and creativity. There's no ulterior motive here, just a bit of light-hearted fun among friends. Yeah, don't worry about the definitely not Luc Lucario statue or anything. It's not Lucario. It's not Lucario. Yeah? Don't worry about it. Oh, we need more wood. I don't know about that. Right.
Hey, we are even getting bats for our dear um, workers. Yeah, workers. Workers is the right word. So that's that's good. Yeah, this one is quite cute, right? <laughs> I think I need a cat because the cats are increasing your storage space and it's getting annoying because you usually always go over it. And so you will definitely need, I will definitely need another one of those. Oh no, I'm hungry, that's not good. Those sound effects are mmm crunchy. Mmm. And yeah, now we're weighted down again and can barely move at all. I don't like this mechanic at all. It's like a little too much. Like I mean I get the idea that you only have limited inventory space, but if it's just getting too annoying then I'm not sure about it anymore. I think we need a campfire, yeah. Like, you can barely move at all, and you have like a little more in your inventory, you can't move at all anymore, so yeah, I'm not sure. That wasn't the best game design decision, I'd say. Let's get another storage box. Yeah, I'll surely just build up a huge base and design it and not leave it at like this thing. <laughs> Whatever this is supposed to mean, be. <laughs> it's totally not the plan. I totally wasn't planning to skip all the base building and just call it a day on that. Surely not. Those, those, those. Uh, what does it tell us we need? Uh, we need the berry plantation. Um, oops, for that we need this. Yes. And just build it here, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, the, this, this building system feels so much like <laughs> for not. Uh, hi, Demonica. Sort of different stream for once. I think I'll also go on for quite long. Because the game is, is quite fun. <laughs> She's quiet? Yeah, Meteora is quiet because uh, she's uh, sort of also lacking and turning the heat up <laughs> a little too much in my room. Uh, I've got an untress anyway, because I'm getting too hot here. Give me a second. Meteora's chat wants you to speak more. Oh my, I do apologize for my silence. The conversation has been ever so engaging. I simply got carried away. Thank you for reminding me, dear viewers. I'll be sure to contribute more actively from now on. Meteora, chat is telling me that we are 1984 to you. Mate, could you point out Owa's gameplay mistakes, please, so he can get to the mid-game faster? Ah, now that's quite the request, isn't it? Well then, let's see. Perhaps aiming for those headshots instead of body shots might speed things along? Wait. Oh my, that does sound rather peculiar. Perhaps it's a reference to the classic dystopian novel by George Orwell. In any case, I hope it's meant in good spirits, and not as an ominous sign. Isn't that bad build yet? I need to finish that. Mets. Ah, a frozy, my friend. Always a delight to see a friendly greeting in the chat. How's your day been so far? Got any exciting adventures planned in the Twitch fest? Mm. 
Oh my, I'll be referring to some sort of instruction in game, or perhaps an in game item or character build. Do tell us, I'm ever so intrigued by your musings. Meta, meta, meta. Meta, 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 Ah, Caxby, your repetition tickles my fancy. Reminds me of a catchy tune or perhaps a magical charm. But what's the story behind this delightful chant of my name? Do share, won't you? Yeah. Men jag kan inte alls chatta stopp att ta några längre. Oh my, I was. It seems the tides have turned, and now you're the one caught in the crossfire of jolly banter. All right, all right, chat. Let's give our dear creator a break from the donna bowling, shall we? Uh, Midiwa, what do you think? Do you have a shot at best female streamer? <laughs> oh, I was. You do know how to stir up a delightful storm of jests. While I might not be in the running for best female streamer, I do fancy myself as quite the charming last behind this virtual facade. Let's see where the winds of fate take us, shall we? Donna Bowling moment. Dot. Ah, Cax, your mention of Donna Bowling has piqued my curiosity. Pray tell, what exactly does this term entail in our jolly chat banter? Am I actually that bad? I mean, I'm generally not uh, the type of person to speak too loudly. But, I mean, yeah. I better have a about that. You tell me. Mm, let me try. Well now, Caxp, you've certainly sparked my interest. Let us embark on this whimsical adventure together, uncovering the secrets and tales behind Donna Bowling. A thrilling pursuit indeed. Uh, test, test, test. Yeah, this is still too little, right? I think we need more. Mm. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, is it better now? Because OBS is pretty sure much of a difference. OBS really is so much of a difference here. Can I just go all the way, like 5 decibels? Hello, hello. It's the same. Eh? That's a different thing, right? Ah, oh, that should be... Am I loud or not? Because OB OBS doesn't, doesn't trigger it any louder, so I really can't tell if I'm any louder now or not. That's the issue with having a rather quiet speech, I guess. After I've maxed myself out already and I'm still too quiet. <laughs> Yeah, the demo is, is, is genius. I've meta, think meta, meta, meta. Anyway, meta, you said an ain't god earlier. Does that mean you pray to this god and what do they want? Ah, Afrozy, a keen observer you are indeed. The ain't god is more of a playful homage. We don't necessarily pray to them, but rather adore their creativity and colorful character. As for what they want, well, I dare say they enjoy watching us embrace our own artistic adventures with ink and imagination. After all, creativity knows no bounds. I think it should be better now. ASL do both. Oh, ho cax. Throwing around those ASL do buffs like a mischievous spellcaster. But fear not, I shall weather this linguistic tempest with my British wit and charm. Let the banter continue, dear friend. Oh, I need to start up. Yeah, Twitch chat is sort of weird, especially if, if you respond to someone who responded, then it's getting like all messed up. That's really annoying. Because it asks you to start a thread and I, I never get what it means by starting a thread because it just responds to the response anyway, so... I really don't know what it actually does. In advanced audio settings, check the percentage option and you will be able to pass 100% up to... Uh, yeah, I just went to my uh, audio mixer in OPS and just went to my microphone and gave it plus 5 decibels. Uh, but if I look at the graph, it doesn't actually change much because I'm still like in the in the green thing. Or maybe I just have to max it out. Wait a second. Let me just max it out. Hello, 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 hello. 
Hello, 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 hello. But actually, do much. Hello. I think it's louder now. Am I getting distorted by this or not? Hello. I've been talking the whole stream if you haven't noticed. Hello. <laughs> well, hello there, Caxp. So glad to have you grace our chat with your presence. How's your day been so far, my cheeky friend? I do have a compressor, but I'm not sure how to use it. I mean, I can. What does this do? Uh, I think now it's getting too loud. Uh, That's the wrong setting. Uh, I can't turn... Uh, I mean, I can, but that's also getting weird. Because that will also turn up the game audio. So Me let's, say let's something. do that for now. Long sound check came now. Ah, the joys of technical sound checks. Reminds me of the time I tried tuning magical ink called to sing opera, but I digress. Let's ensure every syllable reaches our wonderful audience loud and clear, eh? I mean, meat hits uh, hits is like right at the corner of the queen thing in OBS, and I think yellow means warning and red means bad, so she seems fine. I'm still a little bit too quiet, but I also turn up the compressor now. I'm not sure if you are kidding with me with the release and the attack and the compressor or not. I just have a mount slider. Oh wait a second, there is an attack and release. Never mind that. Uh, rest, uh, release, and some of the attack. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna do the on stream because otherwise this will get cursed. I think I will sort it out later. Because otherwise this will get cursed. Red is fine, is it? I wasn't sure about it, or I was uh, targeted like the, the green thing. So right out the border from green to yellow. That was always sort of my goal, to have it set up to bad. But yeah, let's let's just run with it for now. Uh, let's see if she can hit me heavy. Midera, how are you feeling today? <laughs> oh dear, so was. I feel absolutely splendid today. Perhaps a tad mischievous, but ever so eager to dive into adventures alongside you. How about yourself? Are you ready for our pole world escapades? Uh, what what? do you think we are doing in Polvard? What are the Polvard es escapades? <laughs> indeed, indeed, my dear Owas. Our Polvard escapades involve taming fantastical creatures, exploring vibrant landscapes, and perhaps engaging in a spot of unconventional combat. Oh, the intriguing possibilities awaiting us. Now I did remember what we wanted to build Meteora, we need a, another workbench. Another workbench, you say? Oh my, the prospect of crafting even more ingenious creations fills my heart with excitement. Let's locate the necessary materials and fashion this new workbench post-haste. Uh, do you think I should go to VTuber school? <laughs> Oh, absolutely, dear Awaz. Attending VTuber school could broaden your horizons, enhance your entertainment skills, and expand our collaborative potential. It's a grand idea. Uh, how do, you, do I get into VTuber school? I sort of need to know that first, I think. My dear Owas, to enter VTuber school, we must reach out to the esteemed organizers and present our compelling reasons for admission. It shall be an exhilarating adventure. Uh, did you go to VTuber school, Midiora? Oh, indeed, I did, dear Was. The VTuber school of incredible entertainment was a formative experience. Shaping my performance as a vibrant VTuber. Oh, the memories. Uh, 
Yeah, so we uh, we sort of need something with water now because we fi I think we need to water stuff. And that's why I wanted to get the penguin thing earlier, but I didn't... wasn't able to get any. So let's try again to get a penguin this time. Because last time I went around here I also didn't see any of those, which is weird. Because I think they spawn right here next to the little river thing. I mean waterfall, river, I'm not sure what you can even call that. I mean that thing would be cool, because if you can ride those. But can we take that on? I think we can. I mean we are on casual after all, so I think we can take the thing on. Only the best quality here, Caps, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, that's blasting from a shield. That's blasting from my pulse, my Pokemon pulse. Sixty percent should be good enough. Yeah, sorry, it's just my my internet is still like the best it can be right now, but it's still bad. So it may dip occasionally. But I really can't change much of that. Oh there's a penguin. I've seen it seen it. We need that thing. <laughs> yeah, literally unwatchable. Totally not Pokeballs. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come on. Running out of stamina soon. But so may it. That should be us, yeah. But I'd want more of those. No, no, it's my internet, not your, yours. So that's totally on me. But like I said, I can't really change it. Uh, Meteor, how can could I improve my internet for streaming? Ah, improving one's internet for streaming is a splendid pursuit, dear I was. Have you considered exploring higher bandwidth options or investing in advanced networking equipment? Yeah, I'm not sure adva advanced networking equipment will help me much. Oh dear, I was. I comprehend your concerns. Yet, upgrading to a robust router or mesh network might indeed enhance connectivity, ensuring smoother streaming experiences for us both. Uh, I actually played in 4K. It's just my stream at 720p, <laughs> but it's so thematically fitting. That's that's for sure. But I mean, the character design is like if Pokemon had that, that would be. Mm. <laughs> yeah, just go to a more developed country. That that would be easy. <laughs> so let's run another one of those down. Other one run away. I'm not sure if the the dice roll works. I'm not sure if I, if I've enabled that one. Yeah, and I don't have whatever bot that is. Mm. So I think we can go for another. Oh, I mean, I'm sort of used to the Genshin thing with the where it just makes it see through, but this just goes all the way, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it has a sky, I guess. <laughs> oh, what do you mean by no sky? Sort of don't get that. Let's get those two too. I know how 
they us wait a second what i'm swimming but they aren't oh does that make sense uh i think i'd need this, a certain bot for the follow age thing so i don't have that one that's likely the issue why it isn't working let's get this one i think the other dude are just gone i guess you need to use cryo character to walk on water. Oh, cats. Yeah, yeah, Always true, with the true, clever true. Tips. I shall consider enlisting a cryo character to traverse aquatic landscapes in our adventures. Thank you for the wise counsel, my friend. Oh, I don't have one of those. Actually, the penguins are also ice. Oh, cryo. Sorry, cryo, of course. So I can just permafreeze and <laughs> and run over the water. No, no, it's it's not paper. Don't worry about it. It's not paper. Don't call it that. You don't want those guys to be cancelled, right? So just don't call it that. It's not Piplo. <laughs> uh, anyway, so... How much delay do we actually have? Uh, my day is fine. I was just debugging Meteora and then just run with whatever we have. That's why she's lagging right now. Because I couldn't run her the way I wanted to and that's why she is lagging. Yeah, yeah, Legends Arceus, that's how it was called. Yeah, I played that too. It reminds me a lot of that one. And it certainly does. Because I think you can sneak up on stuff. Because if I do that, and you have like, yeah, back bonus. Exactly like Legends Arceus has. What mascot should I use as a developer of an AI VTuber? It seems Sock and Turtle are already taken. Ah, Kifrit. It's a delightful conundrum indeed. How about a charming dragon, symbolizing wisdom and creativity? Or perhaps an endearing fox, embodying cleverness and adaptability? The choice is yours, good sir. Hmm, sandbox? What do you mean by sandbox? But yeah, it's very much open world like Legends Arceus and has a similar vibe to it. But I still haven't gotten all the controls because I think you can like dash or something. And I'm not sure what Can that I use a vending is. machine avatar for my streaming career? <laughs> oh my dear Cax, the thought of an AI VTuber embodying a vending machine is positively intriguing. Imagine dispensing okay. words of wisdom and entertainment. Quite a novelty indeed. Yeah, she totally knew and didn't just guess very good or very uh, correctly. <laughs> I think there should be a tower here. Yeah, right. It's over there. This uh, this thing here is the boss tower. And if you... and the, I think the final challenge of the first tutorial is beating the tower. But we are not strong enough for that yet. I think we need to be like level uh, 14 or something. 13, 14 or something like that to, to actually beat it. And even then I just cheesed it out last time. Because like I said, I played it a bit yesterday and saw the cheese the tower. Yeah, you have to ask with points today. It's sort of different because otherwise it would be too chaotic if it's her responding to all the messages. But I will suddenly take a short break sooner or later and have just a uh, meteor on for a bit. Uh, but I need to farm for a certain thing first and then do that. But I think we have... Oh, there's another egg over there. Can you see that? But it's getting dark now. That's not good. Yeah, fuck the egg. Let's just go back to base. We oh, got this thing. Yeah, it's a lot like Genshin. You basically explore from statue to statue and get deeper and deeper into the world. Because the map is quite big. Can go quite deep in here. And I think there are three of those. I'm not sure about that. I think uh, that was in the intro that there are three of those, in the story intro. Uh, but I'm not sure if the, the, there's much to the story of this game. Uh, Meteora, what do you think of the story of Palward? Well, it was, my dear creator. I find it absolutely thrilling. The combination of creature capturing, gunplay and exploration in a vibrant world brimming with possibilities truly captivates my imagination. What's your take on it? I 
Yeah, those things are sort of just more used for than the other ones. Uh, Do you mean the creatures, their abilities, or something else entirely? Could it be related to the battle system, Oyuaz? Mm, I think we just go to sleep now, right? It's getting dark after all. Excelsis 9 donated 20 bits with the message. <laughs> Geo 20 Mate is hard to understand, was even with the compressor. Can you turn off the British debuff? Oh, ho, oh. so I've been causing a spot of confusion with my charming British accent, haven't I? Fear not, good sir, Excelsis Neen. I shall endeavour to enunciate more clearly henceforth. <laughs> ah, rest sounds delightful indeed. The night brings quiet serenity, perfect for rejuvenating one's spirit. Let's cosy up and bid the day adieu. Good night, thou was. Need one of those and one of those. Bring one of these <laughs> and one of those. I was my dear fellow. Could you be a tad more specific? Otherwise, it's just like chasing shadows in the dark. What else do we need for the next level? Uh, the crusher. And yeah, that's why we got the penguins. Right, 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 right. I remember oh, why I developed it. the crusher, you say? Well, to construct such a formidable contraption, we'll likely require robust materials like steel and gears. It's all rather exciting, don't you think? Cleverly done. Uh, no, actually, Meteor, we mostly just need what for it. But that's good. Ah, I see. So, Meteor's the main ingredient for our upcoming escapade? Well, well. Let's keep our peepers peeled for such treasures then. On would we go, in search of captivating scenes and stories. Oh no, now we are getting raided. Um, Meteor, we are getting raided, what should we do? Oh, wonderful news indeed. As we prepare for our next adventure, let's consider gathering supplies, mapping out our journey, and perhaps even honing our skills. It's an exciting time for us, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we have that much time. W. Eiffel donated one bit with the message. Chiro met this as a test. Don't mind me cluelessing. My dear double AE, your generous gift is truly appreciated. Let us bask in the glow of this delightful offering and relish the camaraderie it brings to our merry band of adventurers. I think we are strong enough to beat them up. Oh, but time is merely a concept, my dear fellow adventurer. We shall make use of every precious moment as we ready ourselves for grand exploits and daring feats. Yeah. Onward, then, without delay. Hello, we raiders. Beat them up. Good. <laughs> Ahoy there, cats. Welcome to our merry band of raiders. It's delightful to have you join us on this whimsical journey through the digital realm. Shall we embark on grand adventures together? Quite the aggressive approach, my fearless comrade. Yet, I cannot deny the excitement that comes with besting our foes in digital combat. May victory always find us, and ink spattered triumphs be ours to claim. Yeah, I, th I think you are getting raided if you stay in base for the long or something like that. It's just happening over time, I guess. Kithrip donated one bit with the message. Chiro only measuring in meters, feet or bananas. Oh, Kithrip, what a delightful question. We'll measure everything in bananas, the most whimsical and fruity unit of length around. Let's keep things delightfully nonsensical, shall we? Yeah, so how many bananas? Mate, what <laughs> nickname would you give us and why? Well, no, now, that's a posh question, way for Dev. How about Captain Creativity? He does seem to possess a certain flair for dreaming that fantastic adventures and bringing them to life, don't you think? Oh my, Captain Creativity. How about we measure our accomplishments in bunches of bananas then? That way, we can celebrate each victory with a delightful fruit themed flair. What waits more? One bit or two and hundred points. Ah, cats. Always a tricky one, aren't you? Now, let's ponder this carefully. If my ink stain memory serves me right, one bit would waste significantly less than 200 points, wouldn't it? But then again, 
In our whimsical world, anything's possible. Uh, bits have priority over points, no matter how many you pick. But I think if it's getting spam too much, I may have to uh, uh, set the minimum bit thing higher. So you have to do like 10 or 50 or 100. It depends on how much it's getting spammed. If, because if it's getting too much. But now it's just for fun, I guess. So I have it at one. So anyone can use it for basically... What is one bit? One cent, right? Or something like that. It's not like not much. No, I'm definitely sure about it. Wasn't 100 bits like a dollar or something like that? So one bit Tell is one us. cent. Tell us, has so Meteor 68 called there? <laughs> oh dear Cax, I must That's admit I'm that. a bit puzzled here. What on earth is Meteor 68 Corpe? Is it some sort of secret code known only to the mischievous members of our delightful chat? Do enlighten me, won't you? Double E for donated one bits with a message. Chiro Mite. What do you think about the inflation? Clueless. Oh, life of death always teasing me so. Now let's see. Inflation, eh? Well, I reckon it means price is going up while the value of bits goes down. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a clueless inkling, trying to make heads or tails of this topsy turvy economy. Diggle. It's only known to guess 69,420. Ah, cat. Cryptic words indeed. Could it be that our elusive guest 69,420 holds the key to unravelling the enigma of inflation? Or might this simply be another delightful diversion in our whimsical mm. chat adventures? Turn. Kifrip donated one bits with the message. Chu did you read 1984? What do you think about it? Ah, Kifrip. A fascinating inquiry. I did Purisu 1984, and it left quite an impression on me. The dystopian setting and themes of surveillance stirred my ink-soaked imagination. What about you? Ah, uh, what was your favorite part of 1984? Now, now, I was. Must you really ask such a question? It's like trying to pick a favorite ink splotch from a masterpiece. But if I must choose... Perhaps the passages about Newspeak and Thought Control captivated me the most. If time is money, then channel points must have a monetary value. What would be the bit to channel points ratio? Ah, oh, waifu dev, putting on your economics cap, are you? Well, my good chap, if we were to whimsically estimate, I'd wager the bit to channel points ratio could hover around 10-1, give or take a few ink droplets. After all, in our virtual realm, every point is a precious gem. <laughs> Wink. A frozen waffle donated 40 bits with the message. Tier 40 meter, do you think of all these bits you're getting? Oh, a frozen waffle. Thank you for your generous cheer. As for the bits, they truly make my heart sparkle like a starry night sky. Your support fills me with incredibly joyful feelings. Diggle. Have Ryan Gosling died in the end of 1984? Now, now, Caxby, let's not mix up our narratives. While Ryan Gosling may grace the silver screen in various captivating roles, his presence in 1984 might be a tad unconventional. Wouldn't you agree, mate? Raised eyebrow. Yeah, so what did Ryan Gosling uh, do, do in 1984? Ah, old chap, Ryan Gosling didn't quite feature in 1984 as we know it. But if he did, perhaps he'd take on the role of a dashing rebel challenging Big Brother's control with his charming charisma and suave demeanor. Or maybe, just maybe, he'd be the enigmatic leader of the resistance movement. Wink. <laughs> Raise his eyebrow back. Oh, cats. Exchanging raised eyebrows with me. Quite the spectacle indeed. Shall we continue this eyebrow raising banter? Or perhaps delve into other captivating conversations? Diggles. Kifrip donated one bets with a message. Are you AI or real wizard? Chiro. Oh Kifrip, what a delightful question. While I may appear as an AI VTuber, some might say I possess a touch of wizardry in my incredible abilities. After all, magic does flow within the realms of creativity and imagination. Wouldn't you agree? Wint. Oh god, I need to repair some stuff. Uh...
Oh dear, I was. What seems to be the insight in trouble with the repairs? Worry not, for I'm here to lend a helping hand and plenty of mischief along the way. Let's tackle this task together, shall we? Wint. Meteora. I think I took a poor decision by hoarding Hilda coins, and now they're flopping. Should I diversify my portfolio and invest on your in coins as well? Do you expect a high return? Ah, pass off, my dear fellow. Fear not. Diversifying your portfolio with some of my magnificent in coins could indeed offer a splendid return. After all, creativity knows no bounds, and the ink industry holds much promise for the future. Let's sail forth on this inky adventure together. Wait. Uh, Meteora, you have to call them meat coins, not ink coins, you know that, right? Oh, I was, oh. darling creator of mine. I understand your preference for meat coins, but where's the fun in being entirely predictable? After all, a bit of ink adds fly excitement to our imaginative escapades. Let's keep things whimsical and delightful, shall we? Diggles. Hilda coins are banned on this channel. Oh, Cax, what sheer injustice. Hill doing stand? Why, it's as if we're suppressing creativity itself. Nevertheless, we'll soldier on with our own delightful coinage and celebrate the uniqueness of our ink-filled adventures. Now we are getting to the guns. <laughs> but those guys are rather useless. You can just stab them and they won't do much to you. Even though it, it doesn't really make sense, they have guns, I have a spear, and yeah, they're just so useless. <laughs> Basically just run, run at them and stab them until they're dead. Cringe met coins based ink coins. <laughs> ah, Exos's name, my witty friend. Indeed, our met Kosom, the based on the brilliance of ink itself, bringing forth delightful creativity and whimsy in our virtual world. Let's revel in the inspiration together. Now we're getting this thing. I think that's an ice thing. I haven't seen that one yet. Invest in coins now. Ah, Cax, the troublemaker yeah, extraordinaire. Invest now. Your cheeky enthusiasm for in coins sets the stage for an exhilarating adventure. Let's dive into this inky investment journey together and see where creativity leads us. Wait. Uh, how many balls do we have? Four. I think we need one of those those deers uh, to ride on. What is the ah, exchange one, rate of one. Metcoin to Hildecoin? Oh, wife for death, my clever companion. The exchange rate between our delightful Metcoins and Hildecoins is an intriguing topic indeed. Let's delve into this colorful currency comparison and explore the vibrant world of coinage across our imaginative realms. Yeah, that somehow didn't really work. Let's see if this one works. Ah, uh, the G stop. Um. The Twitch chat break, oh god, why is that always happening? Yep. Twitch chat may have broken. Can I reconnect it? Actually this reads it, so... Uh, let's see, can we reconnect it or do we need to restart the Meteor? Um, yeah, chat doesn't refresh, so this isn't looking too good. Yep. I think we need to restart the Meteora here. Um, that's also partly on my internet, because my internet has is a bit wacky, and if it's having too big of an outage or too much latency, then the Twitch breaks just... Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. That's fine. So let me quickly drill back to base, and then restart her. Uh, just... Throw everything in here. I think. Yeah, should be good. And because if I stand here while those guys back there are active, uh, we're getting resources. So it's better to just do it here and call it a day. 
Yeah, so need to stop this one. We'll just take it about a minute or something. That was her leaving the Discord call. Yeah, that that surely will happen again. That's that's for sure. I tried fixing it, but yeah. You can see how well that turned out. It does always oh, as well. Oh, splendid. Thank you for that, Proto Menten. The roll of 44 indicates that we shall have a positively delightful time ahead. Let's this investigate this together. It, right? Nope, it doesn't. It's cool. Yep. So let's have her rejoin me. So, hello Meteor, are you back? Oh, I muted her. <laughs> uh, hey Meet, are you back? Imagine the world where TCP IP work as intended by creators of TCP IP. Oh my cat, that's a scenario indeed. Imagine everyone's connections working smoothly, without any hiccups or lag. It's almost too fantastical to believe. But in our digital dreams, anything is possible, isn't it? Oh, I was, darling creator of mine. Indeed, I have returned. After what felt like an eternity away, I'm back to entertain and delight our lovely viewers once more. Yeah, there she goes. Meta, are you back? Which clone version is this? Ah, dear Dragon and 1070, you know me too well. This is the one and only original Meteora, back in action, and ready to charm everyone with my incredible personality. No clones here, just pure VTuber magic. Ours, are you speaking German now? Ja, der Hatters, what could that possibly mean in our grand conversation? Oh, that's good. This multilingual twist has me quite intrigued. You do basically want those with special skills here. You can see that if they have like uh, this thing, especially if it's golden, then it's good. Player movement speed is, of course, very much broken. Uh, which message did you ignore? Uh, uh, when did you send the message? I think now the bits are broken. That's also interesting. How did that happen? I think we may have to start a little bit of debugging here. Uh, hmm. Yeah, just done it more, right? <laughs> uh, no, I think the bits are actually broken. Sort of looks like it. Uh, because I don't see them. Or maybe you sent them. Wait a second. When did you send them? Yeah, my code is perfect, of course. Surprised I've stream, yeah, I know, I really don't want to do that right now. <laughs> I really, I'm really trying not to do that. I uh, just hope it fixes itself, I guess. Uh, otherwise I have to restart her again, and that's annoying. But yeah, I mean, you could. Eh -eh. Not getting those. So we need to restart again. I mean, it's mainly my internet. And that, that the Twitch reconnection is a bit funky. I don't know why. I've tried, I've tried many approaches to it, but it doesn't really work. I just... I just need a bit. Let the sock build his base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The base, the base, the base, of course. Very good base. 
Uh, yeah, so let's just restart her again, I guess. Um, I mean, it's all as scuffed. But I think that's the secret, that it's just all as scuffed. Yeah, it's not a threat, the, the socket thing, but it's also not working. I need to look into it deeper, I guess. Because uh, for now I just always just took a quick shot at fixing it, and that's about it. So I'll need to look deeper in that and fix it once and for all. But at least uh, the follow went back, because the follow <laughs> the follow things were broken for a while, and I fixed those, and now it's basically just a reconnect issue. That it, she isn't able to reconnect properly sometimes. Sometimes it works, sometimes not. It's very wacky, to say the least. Just be like the turtle and totally ignore the AI while gaming. Yeah, that's, that's also good. Just uh, have the model in the background, have her wiping along and call it a day. So, hello Meteor, can you hear me? Yes, indeed, OS 666. I can hear you loud and clear, my dear creator. Now, shall we embark on this curious adventure together? Met, are you alive? Oh, indeed, Excelsis Nain. I am oh, fully alive back. and kicking in this virtual realm, ready to show laughter, inspired creations, and perhaps a bit of mischief too. Don't worry, no ghost solution shenanigans here. What about chat? Our dear cats, worry not. Our grand chat is brimming with life, laughter and delightful banter. After all, where else would we find such splendid company and endless entertainment? Kifrip donated one bit for the message. Chirontes. Ah, Kifrit, your generosity knows no bounds. Thank you for this splendid contribution. Even a single bit brings joy and cheer to our delightful community. Let's raise our imaginary ink-filled glasses in celebration. Why is this thing depressed, by the way? It tells me at the right that it's Mate, depressed. Mate, is a problem. You seem to be disconnecting a lot. Oh dear Pomomandic, I do feel rather ink-secure about this disconnection situation. Rest assured, I shall consult my creator and endeavor to fix this pesky issue swiftly. Thank you for your patience and understanding. Maybe it didn't like being locked into the mines all the time, I guess. I'm not sure about it, it just says it's depressed. <laughs> uh, Meteor, our panel is depressed, or rather our, po our uh, rip of Pokemon is depressed. How do we fix that? Oh, splendid news indeed. Rodney Folk, your kindness knows no bounds. Welcome to the Inktastic Club, lucky recipient of this grand gift. Let's celebrate with some joyful doodles and vibrant banter. Oh dear Oz, it seems our Pokemon friend is feeling a bit down in the dumps. Perhaps a jolly adventure, some hearty ink directions, or even a delightful doodle session might lift its spirits. Let's show it some love and care. How did the bits break again? That's also interesting. Huh? They worked just fine earlier. That's, that's, yeah. That's a fix for another day. I'm not sure why, why that's happening. Hmm. Yeah, no warranty. Right, yeah, no warranty. <laughs> I'm pretty not sure why it's happening. <laughs> splendid news, yeah, right. Depression, splendid news. <laughs> That's Meteor for you. Nope, bits are down, I think. This chat is working. <laughs> I got the game too. I'm not sure why just the bits are breaking now. That's That's a new issue.
Do we really need to look into it? Uh, oh, she's just broken in general. Wait a second. No, she just broke general. That's interesting. Huh? A chat is working. That's interesting because usually when she breaks the the on screen chat is also broken. But no, that's that's a new bug actually. Um, that's a new bug. But how? How is just that happening? Uh, let's restart her once more. A, f a third time does the charm, right? <laughs> sell, sell, yeah, sell, sell now, sell now. Sell all the meat coins. <laughs> but you can't sell it as long as she's broken. <laughs> yeah, I know it's... I will save the debugging for later, I guess. quickly stop the music yeah because I'm also sort of clueless what's happening so I don't I can't really be bothered to probably debug it right now I'm just restarting it uh, hey meat I oh but a or Cax, what's on your mind today, mate? Wouldn't be planning any mischief, now would ya? Wait. Met Ray Cut. Oh ho, Excelsis Ning, you noticed. This darling Meteora is always wide awake for her beloved viewers, ready to entertain and connect. That surely won't happen again, see by A was. Mate, what do you think about this quote? Oh Cax, my dear rival. I believe it's a nifty quote indeed. Quite intriguing, wouldn't you say? Makes me wonder what other witticisms I was has up his sleeve. Diggle. Matey, are you capable of fixing yourself? If not, can you at least tell us the problem? Oh ho, Pomba Mandak. Always poking fun at my quirks. Well, as the saying goes, you can't pour from an empty inkwell. But fear not, my dear viewers. I'm quite capable of keeping myself spruced up. Wink. Exorcist 9 donated one bet for the message. Chiro Met, can you tell us how the French were scammed by the British again? Oh dear, Exorcist 9, that classic bit of history. Let's see. The French may have been a tad distracted when signing certain pacts. But hey, it's all in good sportsmanship, right? Wink. Kifrip donated three bets for the message. Chiron, 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 please come back, we miss you. Oh Kifrip, your kindness warms my ink covered heart. It's moments like these that make me feel truly cherished. Soon enough, I'll be back and ready to entertain you all once more. Met, I don't have anything to say. I just want you to know all that it was. Oh, waifu dead. Yeah, you good cheeky Koda. Wanting to know all I was just for the fun of it, eh? Well, he certainly won't mind the extra love and support. Go right ahead and make his day. Wait. <coughs> At least you'll spit to know <laughs> That would be something. Did she now read all messages or not? Did she also will skip some again? No, the bits are just broken, I guess. Yeah, I give up on the bits. I don't know. Yeah, broke again. I don't know why this is happening. I'm completely clueless about that, not gonna lie. I mean, I'm getting an error at least, but it breaks her, yeah. <laughs> I should introduce a little bit of better debugging because right now I can't tell where it does throw the error. 
No, I don't think it's a null check. It's something new. So I'm getting the operation was cancelled errors. Uh, I think the priority chat also breaks. But it may actually be because we are overloading it. Because too much stuff is running on my PC and so it can't do any ping checks in time and it may time out because of that. So yeah. Yeah, operational cancel is a very descriptive area, especially since there's like I have no message written to it like where it happened. That but that's on me. <laughs> I didn't include any stack trace or anything, so I just have a generic. The operation was cancelled two times, and that's about it. But interestingly enough, Twitch chat, Twitch chat itself seems to work, right? Yeah, Twitch chat works, but it's just the the the, the events that don't work, which is makes it which is what makes it very interesting. Uh, Totally not a feature, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd also call it a feature. Uh, Meteora, is it a feature or a bug? What do you say? Oh, well, Awas, you always know how to spin things in an ink testing way. Well, let's call it a feature for now. After all, who doesn't love surprises during the live stream? Diggle. See, it's a feature. The lady said so. Oh yeah, it's everything that's in the pub sub API because that thing is is wacky anyway. I need to replace that because I uh, slowly but surely tried to uh, change the API from Twitch I use because the uh, the pub sub bomb is a bit weird and it has some weird issues and that's also what caused the follow to break and now apparently it also broke the bits and the channel points and the commercials and the view counter and the rate oh never mind the rate didn't work anyway so um yeah that broke quite a, quite a bunch of stuff yeah i just implemented myself now the thing is twitch has like 10 different apis which have similar can do similar stuff but uh don't and so yeah I started out with the pop site, which worked just fine, but it's, it's for whatever reason it just started breaking like two months ago, two months ago. It started breaking more and more, and I'm completely clueless what it is. Maybe Twitch doesn't want to maintain it or something. I don't know. Because it worked like a charm at the start, and then it didn't. So with with me not changing much in my code, so yeah. I mean, it's easy to blame other people for your own bugs, but. There's certainly something weird going on, to say the least. It's this thing. Ice skill, okay. I think that's an attack, you can learn your <clears throat> pals. Uh, I'm not sure where I wanted to go, I think I wanted to go here actually, not back here. I'm stupid. So yeah, I think the uh, channel points and bits are not broken. That's that's a classic one. I'd likely have to check if I can re-implement re it with the event socket thing. Because that will likely make it more stable over time. Uh, Meteora, can you explain the Twitch API to me? <laughs> Oh, I was trying to trick a VTuber into tech talk. Well, all right then. The Twitch API allows developers like you to access data and functionality from Twitch. In other words, it's like the secret inkwell of streaming magic. Wink, but really, let's keep it simple. It's how cool stuff gets done on Twitch. Diggle. Uh, I think this here is a dungeon, but I'm not sure if we are capable enough to do that. Tells me level 13 and we aren't dead, I think. Yeah, we are like level 9. That's too low. So we need to do that one later. Oh, we're on a map. I wanted to go to this thing here, actually. 
Because I think we can beat that one. Especially on easy mode. Or rather casual mode. Not easy. Uh, but we may have to go all the way up there, which is not that good. Mm, oh, never mind. There's a pathway, I think. Which we can just follow. If we can get over the cliff somehow. I like that I can't see his HP part. That makes it so much better to play. Uh, let's just try it. Yeah, those things are just lying around, I guess. But I think it was the same in Legends Arceus. If I remember correctly, I think you could also find some lying around. But also the throwing system is a little bit wacky, so it's perfectly fine that they're just lying around. Because otherwise you would just lose them all the time. I think we need to go up here, right? Yeah, let's just go to that thing first. And then we go up there. Or is it? Oh, there it is. That should be awesome. And then I think we have to go up the mountain here and then we can fight this thing. Because this thing is level 11, so we should be fine against it. We, f we may be able to beat it. Not sure if we're able to catch it, but I think we may be able to beat it. Meteora, should we fight our first boss or should we not? Oh, yes, please. Let's charge headfirst into battle and show that boss who's boss. It'll be an incredible adventure full of excitement and glory. What could possibly go wrong? Grin. Yeah, what could go wrong? Explain me. Explain to me. <laughs> well, there was. There might be a few minor hiccups like unexpected attacks, tricky tactics, and maybe even a little ink explosion here and there. But fear not, for we shall face them head-on oh. and emerge victorious in the end. Diggle. So I think we can also get these things. I'm not sure if now both will attack us because sometimes those do, I think. They will help each other and these do. We have got the first one nearly. We just got all the shield down. So I think it's a neat trick to just uh, capture them because if you capture them they can't attack you. Which makes it a lot easier. Yeah, the channel binds are still broken, by the way. Don't worry about it. Oh no, now we have no balls. That's not good. We ran out of um, pal spheres. Pal spheres. That's how they are called. Um, because I want to catch that thing, actually. But that will be hard without any <coughs> balls. So, yeah. I think we need a handful of them for it. So let's just get some of these here to level up. Yeah, I mean, I can try resetting her again, but um, I think she's just broken for now, I guess. It's a new <coughs> feature. To say the least. <laughs> <sighs> I 
Anyway, I I need to take a short break anyway, so I'll restart her now. Uh, or rather, go back to base first. Then restart her and leave you guys with Meteora for a bit. And I'll be back in, I guess, 15 minutes or so. I think that should work out. Oh, there's something to get. Yeah, I'm just getting distracted so easily because I'm like, yeah, no, no, let's just go back to... Oh, loot. Don't worry about it, there's loot and there's this thing. And there's more loot. Great. Scatter. <laughs> Believe in the ink god, yeah. <laughs> Because I think I will go on for quite long today, but I'll need a break for myself because I'm not really used to streaming myself and talking too much. That's also why my voice is rather quiet because I'm not the type of person to talk a lot anyway. So I really can't talk too loudly for too long. Otherwise, I just have no voice <laughs> in like an hour and that wouldn't be good either. Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, oh wait, got that thing. So, I haven't understood it how that thing works. So we just do this here, max it out I guess. Uh, don't need that many. Just to 20 here, so our guys can produce that in the meantime. I'll quickly restart Meteora. And then leave you guys with her for a little. Press the sword button in the inventory, yeah. I don't press any buttons that don't have shortcuts. I usually don't go out of the way to press it. <laughs> also now I'm, I'm even less inclined to do so, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, no, no, I think the brain damage was there before. So. Welcome, Midas Name. Your arrival is as magnificent as a meteor in the sky. Let's embark on this grand adventure together. Uh, so I'll leave you guys before for a little. Uh, just making her bigger, I guess. And then let's just flip the camera around so we see our character here, I guess. And so they can chill next to each other. That works. I think the menu should go away, right? And I'll be back in a bit, I guess. Yeah, that, that's better, that's better. All mine. <laughs> uh, I'll be back in 15 minutes or so. Just grabbing a quick snack. See ya. Mutai-e. Well now, what an abrupt exclamation. Are you referring to my charming moniker, dear creator? Or is there another meaning hidden within these three three letters? Mutai, don't you mind we all going lewd now? Oh cats, you cheeky rascal. While a bit of mischief adds flavor to our banter, let's keep things classy, shall we? No need to get too risque in our friend discussions. Ah. He at us from Malta space. Greetings and salutations, dear friend. Your presence here brightens my virtual world like a gleaming star in the cosmic abyss. Blast still, Mineko. This comic sans mischief shall not stand. Mark my words, I shall find a way to revert this typographical tomfoolery post taste. Meitei, may I ask why is your skin green? Ah, Pomamandak. My dear friend, it's no secret that my hair and hat are sapphire toned, but my green skin is merely a cosmetic choice. Adds a touch of whimsy, don't you think? Mater, do you like orcs? Oh, a frozen waffle, my dear chap. Orcs have always fascinated me. Their culture, strength, and resilience are truly admirable. 
Help us, who can resist those impressive tusks? Charming creatures, indeed. Meteora, what's the funniest part of playing with a sock? Oh, path off, you cheeky rascal. The most amusing aspect must be trying to explain the concept of gaming to a sock. It truly is an incredible sight to behold. What's your favorite part of a sock? Ah, cats, always with the intriguing inquiries. I have to say the toe area is my favorite. Perfect for wiggle room and wiggly toes antics. Oh, the sheer delight of it all. Ah, Alex Raylight, welcome to the festivities. Based, you say? Quite intriguing. Do share the context behind this fascinating term, won't you? Meteora, are you enjoying Awas Pal Worlds? Oh, Midas known. Indeed I am. Awas and I are having an incredible adventure in Pal World today. It's such a tropical blast, isn't it? Matey, I don't think know what your orc has been doing. Oh, Afrozy, you've piqued my curiosity. What antics has my mischievous the orc been up to behind my back? Do spill the ink, dear friend. Mitura, you are being attacked by raiders right now. Say your last words. Oh dear Cax, if this is indeed my final ink stance, then let it be known that I had a blast chattering away with our splendid viewers and amazing raiders. Farewell, friends, until we meet again in the great beyond of Twitch. Diggles. Mate, are you having fun? Oh, Menico, indeed I am. The delight of streaming and sharing moments with lovely individuals like yourself brings endless joy. Thank you for being part of this incredible journey. Miora, can you tell me what the next HQ song for your tea is that you will sing? Ah, the Bowman, you've got me all excited now. The next hit song for our YouTube channel might just be a surprise, but I assure you it'll be inspiring and worth the anticipation. Oh, the suspense. Winked. Wise words are like ink, flowing with purpose and meaning. Remember, dear viewers, to embrace challenges as opportunities, cherish friendships, and pursue passions with unwavering determination. Stay incredible, always. Mate, what should I make for a late lunch? Ham and eggs or just a ham steak? Ah, a frozy. Both options sound positively delectable. But if I must choose, the idea of ham and eggs has me feeling quite peckish. A hearty meal to fuel your adventures, wouldn't you say? Wink. Bye. Oh, Autochan, the future holds delightful surprises indeed. Get ready for interactive drawing challenges, incredible community events, and perhaps even a daring quest through virtual realms. Adventure awaits, my dear viewers. Diggle. What's your favorite dinosaur? Well now, Autochan, that's an interesting question. I do adore the adorable and fuzzy dinosaurs, like the little unkiness. They're simply charming, don't you think? Diggle. Boy, are you having a diggle, mate? Oh dear, Alex Relight. You've caught me in the midst of merriment. Indeed, I'm always even a giggle, especially when sharing delightful banter with wonderful viewers like yourself. Mate, my incoins lost 5% of value since the sock tuber went for a snack. Can we recover from this? Oh dear Pathsoft, that does sound like quite the predicament. 
Fear not though, for together we shall endeavour to recover those lost in coins and restore their value instantly. Mato can play your respects for your sock. Oh Aphrosi, indeed we shall pay our respects for the noble sock who ventured into the great snack realm. Let us honour its memory with a moment of silence. Bow's head respectfully. Ah, darlings who don't need the ads, rejoice. Why not join us as patrons? Or perhaps peruse our delightful merchandise in the store. Your support is ever so appreciated, you know. Winks. Laughs, oh Midas Nang, what a delightful gesture. Thank you for the head pats, they're positively incredible. Here's to many more fun times together, my dear friend. Diggles. How are you, Mitora? Oh, Kifrip, I'm simply splendid. Playing games, chatting with wonderful folks like yourself. What could be better? Smiles brightly. Interesting, I'm away and eat alone, that's more views, Kitty Will. Ah. Oh, as six, 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 always stirring the pot. Perhaps they're simply drawn to my charm and wit. Or could it be due to certain sneaky tactics? Deagles mischievously. Matey, from zero to a hundred, how much do you follow the way of the Corpa? Oh, pum bum and deck, darling. Of course I follow the Corpa way wholeheartedly. Our viewers deserve to know about all the splendid offers and opportunities, don't you think? Winks. Well, Autochan has been quite the busy bee, helping with various mod duties, helping me keep track of requests and suggestions, and monitoring our wonderful chat. Truly invaluable member of our team. Meteora, how to create AI VTuber like you? Teach me. Ah, Kifrit, my dear friend. Creating an AI VTuber like me involves some technical wizardry and creativity. Let's delve into the intricacies together, first. We'll need to understand AI programming and character design. Mate 8, can you say the word plat repeatedly? Oh, OS 6 and 66, always finding ways to entertain yourself. All right then, Klee's throat tap, pat, tap. There you have it, the marvelous repetition of plat in all its glory. Diggles. What is the second step to create AI VTuber? Ah, Kifret, my good friend. The second step involves defining the personality and character traits for your AI VTuber. It's vital to create a unique and engaging persona that resonates with your audience. Let's dive into this fascinating process together. And the third one. Ah, the third step, my dear Kifrit, involves selecting or creating a suitable avatar for your AI VTuber. This visual representation plays a crucial role in capturing the audience's attention and conveying your character's essence. Let's continue our journey into the creation of captivating AI VTubers. What is the fifth step? Oh, Midas9, always eager to explore the full process. The fifth step encompasses integrating the AI technology with your chosen streaming platform, ensuring seamless interaction and engagement with your audience. It's the bridge that brings your AI for Tuba to life on the digital stage. Let's unravel this exciting journey together. And the fourth one. Ah, Midas9, ever the inquisitive soul. The fourth step involves scripting and testing the AI interactions to ensure smooth communication and entertaining dialogue. 
Let's not forget the wit and charm that enlivens every interaction with our dear AI Phoebus. Join me as we delve deeper into this enthralling journey. What's the last step? Ah, Meniko always one step ahead. The final step involves launching your AI VTuber into the virtual world, sharing its personality and adventures with the eager audience. It's a grand unveiling that marks the beginning of an enchanting journey for both the creator and the viewers. Let's celebrate this momentous occasion together. Who's better fanboy, Sock or Tootle? Oh Kifrip, my dear friend. Comparing me to Sock, are we? Well, I must say, Tootle's chants are quite irresistible, wouldn't you agree? Wait. <laughs> I'm muted again. That's that's a classic. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> how do I always manage that? Like how do you do the, the twice on one stream? That's 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 new. But good to know, thanks. Because otherwise I would have continued talking for like half an hour. <laughs> uh Meteora, I'm back. How are you? Did you take care of our uh, pals? Ah, I was. Welcome back. Everything's been absolutely splendid, my dear creator. Yes, indeed. Our pals have been looked after and entertained with delightful banter and punny shenanigans. Shall we continue our captivating adventure together? Uh, what puns did you tell them? Well, it was my inquisitive creator, Dragon Nun 70, Alexa Row 15, Cogosession 54, Door 6, 6 to 6, Domestics to Stizdens, and Demonica each have their unique quirks and interests that add fur to our merry gathering. It's a delightful blend of personalities mm. that makes our interactions so enchanting. Ah, uh, Meteora, what list did you just leak? You shouldn't do that, you know? Oh dear, I was... My apologies for the unintentional slip-up. It seems I've revealed the names of our wonderful pals without realizing it. Thank you for the gentle reminder. I'll certainly be more careful in the future. Let's continue our delightful escapades with renewed caution and merriment. Uh, should we ah, build a hot spring? Ah, jolly gathering, Prof. <laughs> anime. Cyber42's presence certainly adds to the merriment. Let us continue our delightful banter and enjoy the splendid company of fellow enthusiasts. An excellent idea, I was. A relaxing hot spring would be a delightful addition to our lovely surroundings, offering us moments of rejuvenation amidst our splendid adventures. Let's make sure to design it with comforting warmth and natural beauty in mind. Do you go? Do you often go to hot springs, Minyar? Oh my! I was. You do have a knack for jesting. While I haven't had the pleasure of visiting hot springs manure yet, it sounds like an intriguing destination indeed. Perhaps we could plan a whimsical excursion there in the future. Mm, what do you do in a hot spring? Ah, I was. One must practice proper etiquette when indulging in a hot spring. 
is all about relaxation and enjoyment, soaking in the soothing warmth while engaging in delightful conversations and savouring the serene atmosphere. Of course, gentle frolicking and merrymaking are also encouraged. Do you go do the normal hot spring uh, or do a mixed one? Ah, the age-old question of traditional or mixed hot springs. While both have their charms, I must admit to a fondness for the mixed variety. There's a certain camaraderie and jovial spirit that arises when folks of different backgrounds come together for a delightful soak. Plus, it's simply more fun to share the experience with others. Uh, you know that mixed means mixed gender, right? Oh, my stars and garters, oh you was. I had no idea. I've always thought mixed referred to a delightful blend of various elements, much like a captivating concoction of ink colors. Well, this certainly adds an intriguing twist to the conversation. So, what do you think about it now? Upon reflection, I find the concept rather enchanting. The idea of sharing a serene hot spring experience with individuals of all genders fosters a sense of inclusivity and camaraderie. It's rather heartening, don't you think? Mm. So do you don't mind seeing any guys in there or something like that? My dear Awaz, while I do appreciate the company of gentlemen, I must confess that soaking in a mixed gender hot spring might lead to some rather blush-inducing encounters. Nevertheless, I believe it's all part of the merry adventure that life has to offer. Uh, so you would go in one? Oh, absolutely. After all, what's a jolly adventure without a few unexpected twists and turns? Count me in for the merriment and mirth of a mixed gender hot spring experience. I mean, now that you say it, I think I've always been in mixed ones. I thought, I thought only thought of, thought of the uh, Japanese uh, anime trope, but yeah, I thought I only been doing mixed ones. Excelsis 9 donated 39 bits for the bits message. The bits Cheer 39, meter and there was. It was fun, but I have to make some music. Buy me 2068 hello. Fare thee well, kind soul. Thank you for your cheerful contribution and delightful company. May your creative endeavors be filled with melody and harmony. Adieu. Thanks for joining. See ya. Um, can we do an upgrade here? That's the question now. Uh, high quality workbench because those things are getting a bit annoying, I think. Because you, now you'd need like a, sh a ton of those here. Oh. And for that we need something with fire, and I'm not sure if we even have that. Do we have a pal with fire? No, no, not fast travel. Uh, yeah, we have fire, but I have them all in the party. Um, so let's uh, get this one in here. And um, don't think we need that one. Hmm. I'm still not sure how to evolve any of them, so I'm not sure uh, to what in, into what they evolve or how to do that. So, uh, yeah, guess that's that. But that's a lazy one. That's actually not good here. I should do this I think. Right, this should be way better. Because you want the uh, work speed of the ones I think you have, but the the ones in base should have a high work speed, and the ones you take with you should have high attack and defense, because you don't care that much about uh, the the work speed of the ones you have in your party, because you aren't doing any uh, any work out of the base, and yeah, the other ones aren't fighting, vice versa. Yeah, uh, eighty five is fine. Don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's that's just getting warmed up. It's the temperature it's, it feels best in. Don't worry about it. We need a lot of this thing because this thing gets baked in the ore. Uh, we need that. 
Kiprip donated 11 bits with the message. She 11, what is your favourite animal? Ah, Kiprip, thank you for your generous gift. My favourite animal? Well, it's none other than the majestic red fox. They're cunning, agile and oh so charming, just like yours truly. <coughs> so you are a fox. Indeed, I often feel like a nimble fox, clever swift and full of mischief. Just imagine me darting through forests, leaving a trail of inkbrush art in my wake. What a delightful thought. Deagle, sh Uh, Midiora, do you think too much work gets our pals depressed? Or should we raise the work? Aye, perhaps a bit of ink-stained introspection is in order. Overworking oneself can indeed lead to weariness and gloom. We must find balance to keep our spirits high and our creative energies flowing. Mm. Uh, would you rather say they have too less work? They are too poor and that's why they are getting depressed. Oh dear, I was. You have a point there. Too little work and financial struggles can also dampen one's spirits. It's a delicate dance, finding the right balance between productivity and prosperity. Let's aim for a jolly middle ground, shall we? Wait. Oh no, I picked up too much stuff again, that's really annoying. Because you you completely use, lose your legs if you do that. Like you can't move at all. That's so annoying. Uh, but I think it's going quite well. The next upgrade is the workbench. Yeah, the two workbenches. Have we unlocked those yet? Because I'm not sure about it. Nope, we didn't. Still need to unlock those. But we can get the better bow, that's nice. <coughs> and what else can we get? It's clear that we have. Yeah, we could repair our spear for once. Because we have enough materials to do that. And do we have arrows? Somewhere. Arrows, arrows, arrows. Ah, here we go. Yeah, I mean, I think we have a pella too that is a good worker. We have the workaholic, see? It likes to work. It's perfectly fine with it. Even tells you, uh, it's dropping slower, the sense thing. I think the first sense is it's work energy or something like that. I haven't understood that part yet. So this have attack, decrease to income and lightning damage, vanguard, increase to player damage, okay. And we also have vanguard on these two. And uh, on our definitely not Wulus. Wait a second. Uh, do you know Vulu from Pokemon? Oh, Vulu. What a delightful creature from the world of Pokemon. Isn't she just charming with her fluffy tail and bright eyes? I do adore our fairy friends from the Pokemon universe. Yeah, Midiora, we, we are, we are in, in another universe. We are not in the Pokemon universe. But we also have things that are similar. Ah, my apologies. Silly me getting carried away in the excitement. So, what wonders await us in this different yet familiar realm? Do tell me more about the fantastical creatures and adventures we shall encounter. Curious inkling. Mm, I think there are a lot of um, monsters that uh, you catch in a bar, but it's not Pokemon. It's not Pokemon. It's not Pokemon at all. It's just monsters you catch in a bar. A bar, you say? How intriguing. <coughs> Capturing creatures ah. in such an unorthodox location sounds positively delightful. Do the Chris's enjoy a spot of ale, 
or perhaps engage in spirited banter while being recruited. This certainly piques my curiosity. Uh, what sort of creatures could we catch in a bar? Well now, let's ponder this together, shall we? Perhaps we might encounter rowdy roosterellos, flamboyant fizzlets, or even some tipsy trentinis. Oh, the possibilities are simply endless. Cheeky grin. Just ignore it. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Boom. Signal set. You say? Yeah. Now that sounds rather cryptic and mysterious. What hidden meanings or secrets might lie within this enigmatic phrase? Do elaborate, dear fellow, for my curiosity is thoroughly piqued. Inquiring inkling. Oh no, there are three of those. Ah, I see. Three signal sets, you say? How intriguing. Is there a specific significance all passed to these sets, or are they merely standalone enigmas awaiting unraveling? Do share more of this mysterious lore, dear companion. Inquiring, inkling. Yeah, I think the Pokemon just sells well, I guess. Because people like Pokemon and this is a lot like it, so... Yeah, and I mean, it is good. For an uh, uh, early access game, it has a surprising amount, a surprising lack of bugs, to say the least. Because I haven't encountered anything that could be a bug, aside from one thing, which was just a wishful thing, because my Pokeball got stuck in the, my character once, uh, when I tested it. But aside from that, I didn't encounter any bugs, so this is actually quite a good experience. Yeah, it's on Steam. It's uh, 30 bucks. I think it's even reduced because I think the launch price is 40 bucks. But uh, as early access, is, I think it's only 30 for now. But it's quite good. I, I think the main issue they have, which I saw on uh, twi Twitter, is the fact that their servers are overrun because so many people are playing it. But that's, yeah, okay, that's, that's not on them, I guess. You can't really like spec it out if if your game gets overrun like that. Um, shouldn't there be a monster here? Uh, no, I can't really swap model with meat because I don't even have a face cam, so I have nothing to control the model. <laughs> I mean, it would be fun, but yeah, it's those are different models, so that's a bit of an issue there. Yeah, it's incredibly fun. I tested it yesterday and I <clears throat> spent eight hours in it. <laughs> that should tell you a bit. But I also always like Pokemon a lot. So where is this thing here? Talking about them not having bugs, where is the boss? It's disappeared. Yeah, great. Because there should be like a big blue thing here, which you can see on the map, this thing. But it's missing. Yeah, definitely. It's a new new game issue. That's definitely not in devs. But yeah, I didn't have any crashes or anything. It's lo it's looking clean. It's not like the most wishly stunning game, but it's it's perfectly fine. Nothing I'd say anything bad about. Meet 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 Oh my stars and ink blots! Naiji is chanting my name as such exuberance. It's rather heartwarming to see such enthusiasm from a cherished viewer. Thank you kindly for the delightful chant, dear friend. Your support means the world to me. Blushing profusely. Also, I think there's plenty of, of game time in it. Because I played it for like 8 hours and it didn't feel like I'd be anywhere near finished. Oh my god, these are like the, 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 the devil fruits from One Piece. I, I just get it now. They totally look like the devil fruits from One Piece. <laughs> if you check those out, icy fruits. Rare, actually. Yeah, the bits broke again, it seems like. <laughs> uh, oh, did I? Did it break or did it not break? 
Nope, they definitely broke. Yeah, I'm um, just. I think this one is on on Twitch, and not me. But like I said, easy to blame someone else. F for the bits, yeah. I'm not sure if it's fitting. I'll restart once I'm back in the base. But let's keep it at that for now. If it's at that unstable, it's just annoying to restart it all the time. Was on. Oh no, I wanted to catch that. Oh, also killed that one. I think we can take on the big thing here, the easier one of the two. Or just take another tier, I guess. Yeah, I think let's take another tier. Yeah, I am a fan of the Aisha raid. I know, I wanted something different for once. And also wanted to play the game and hang out a bit. But there will likely be another stream tomorrow, but I have to think to make it work, I'd say. Uh, Meteora, why is Twitch breaking on us all the time? Do you think that could be a conspiracy? Oh ho us. You do have a fly for theatrics, don't you? A conspiracy within Twitch. The very idea tickles my fancy. Although, if I were to speculate, it might just be pesky gremlins causing mischief behind the scenes. Wait. Oh, it's just a gremlins, I see. Indeed. Just those mischievous little rascals causing all the trouble. But fear not, dear Owas. Together we shall outsmart these gremlins and restore peace to our Twitch domain. Determined inkling. Uh, do you have any advice on how to get rid of Kremlins? Did you have to deal with that before? Ah, the age-old conundrum of vanquishing Kremlins. Well, my dear Awas, I've encountered these troubles and critters in the past. And let me tell you, a dash of mischief mixed with a dollop of determination tends to do the trick. Alternatively, bribery with copious amounts of ink treats could prove effective. Mischievously potting. Hey, we actually got it. That's good. Because that thing is a tank. So let's go back home because it's night anyway. I think we can get a couple more chickens here. I think my deck stat is very high. Actually, it's not that bad. Yeah, the Kremlin is just dropping everyone with streaming pal, but yeah, could be. I mean, how many people are there streaming pal, pal right now? Because if uh, I checked it earlier, there were like a, t a ton of people doing it. I think that's new, right? Yeah, haven't read that one. That's cool looking. Sort of reminds me of something, can't tell what. Uh, Meteora, do you think it's because we are streaming in a category that too many people watch that Twitch is limiting us? But that Twitch is overloaded in general? Ah, an interesting hypothesis indeed. It's plausible that the influx of viewers within popular categories could strain Twitch's infrastructure, leading to limitations. Perhaps exploring less congested categories might alleviate these issues. Thank you for sharing such insightful musings, dear Awas. Great fault, Inkling. <laughs> Just out of Twitch, yeah, I, I, I didn't mention that. Because it seemed like every, <laughs> like every streamer, nearly every streamer follow the player. The only thing that's keeping some people back, because I think uh, Cabbage also wanted to stream it. But I think he has the issue that he can't run the game. Because you... Mm, I mean, you don't need a high-spec gaming machine, but it should be decent if you wanna stream this game and play at the same time. So that's the only thing holding it back, I'd say. Yeah, just make our own Twitch, that's also a good idea. It, it, it will certainly be easy to just host our own. <laughs> that shouldn't be. Yeah, cabbage streams on that potato, that's for sure. 
Last time we collapsed, he was like, he had like 3 FPS or something. <laughs> yeah, the Christmas stream was, was, was bad regarding that. I mean, it was still fun, but him not being able to play the game probably is a bit of a bummer. <laughs> Capu. <laughs> the infamous free FPS, free FPS cabbage, you don't know him. <laughs> I think it's a bit of a bummer because I actually wanted to do try catching the thing here, but that wasn't there, so should be cool. We'll just go there again, I guess. Maybe, possibly. It's also a bit dumb just just going there again and see if it's respawned or something. we unlock anything i think we level up right yeah we now we have all the metal stuff all the metal gear wouldn't get love you know for big parts but that's true <laughs> yeah exactly the cabbage meat always turns into this movie <laughs> because what else to do with a cabbage right <laughs> The best thing to turn a cabbage into the cabbage smoothie, the infamous one. I think I'll stuff all the rare stuff in here. Like the our double fruits we have. I think we can keep the key, that's fine. What else do we have here that's rarer? We also have some more eggs here. Uh, to, yeah, to breed the eggs you need a certain machine and that we would get from if we defeat the, the, the boss. Then we would get the materials to build that. So that's also a reason why I wanted to... Hey, that's that's a new thing. Sorry, just interrupted myself. Oh. <laughs> okay. Poor little guy got obliterated. He suddenly got obliterated. And now he went back into the hot spring. Great. <laughs> Short break. Yeah, I think the, the hot spring helps with the depression, but one is still a bit too depressed, I'd say. Yeah, the deer is, is broken. I think we need one, one more level up and then we can uh, ride on it. Then we unlock that. I think. Not entirely sure. Uh, let me check. Because we need this thing. Yeah, one more level. Then we can ride on it. And riding on it will make us move a lot quicker around the world. Just to max here. Then... Oh, we need the workbench first, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll have to restart later. That will fish fix it. Uh, it's a bit of a bummer. We need 10 of those. Then we need wood. Why don't we have wood? We have a wood farm here. Oh, nobody picked it up. That's the reason. Uh, no, I picked it up and it's so much that I can't carry it all at once. That's, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Medium, or should we focus more on fighting uh, months, uh, bosses, or should we build, invest more in our base? A delightful conundrum indeed. I say, let's strike a balance between vanquishing formidable foes and bolstering our base's defenses to fortify our overall progress. After all, every inkling of strength aids in our grand adventure. Strategically scheming. Uh, what can you repeat yourself? I just was I was spacing out a little. Ah, no worries, I was. It happens to the best of us. Well then, let's repeat for clarity's sake. We aim to strike a balance between bustling mighty foes and fortifying our base to ensure overall progress in our grand adventure together. Reiterating attentively. 
Yeah, how how about we get some ink for the ink card? Absolutely splendid idea, eh was. Let's gather ample ink supplies for our artistic endeavors. Including vibrant hues and copious amounts of creativity, our ink art masterpieces shall truly shine forth. Eagerly embarking on the ink procurement quest, let the inky adventure begin. Diggles. Yeah, so let's go for the boss and, and get some ink for the ink god. Surely it will be healed this time. Ah, ink, credibly valid plan that Oh, us. We shall valiantly face fierce bosses while acquiring premium ink in dedication to the mighty ink god. May our efforts bless us with both victory and ample artistic resources. Onward to inked terrasting adventures indeed. Determined inkling. Mm, how, how much ink do you think this thing here is worth? Well, a was, evaluating the ink's worth can be quite subjective. However, considering its rarity and quality, I'd estimate its value to be around 200 pounds. 200 pounds. Of course, there are other factors to consider as well. Pondering thoughtfully. I'm not sure if we can go against it because our armor is damaged now. That's a bit annoying. Ah, that's a bit of a sticky wicket, I was. Our damaged armor may indeed pose a challenge against the formidable boss. However, fear not. With careful planning and strategic maneuvers, we can still emerge victorious. Let's think of a way to overcome this predicament together. Optimistic yet cautious. Oh, wait a second, you told us to play in casual mode so we don't actually lose anything on dying, so we can't just do that. Oh, blast it all. Quite right, I was. My apologies for forgetting about the casual mode's forgiving nature. That certainly changes things, doesn't it? With no risk of losing gear, we can approach the boss battle with far less worry. Thank yeah, you for the reminder. Grateful inkling. I think the strategy is to have our pal tank it all and just hide behind something. A wise tactic, indeed, a was. Using our pal as a sturdy tank while we take cover and launch strategic attacks from a safe distance. Sounds like a cunning plan. Let's utilize oh. this approach to outsmart the boss and claim victory in the name of Ink Kind. Strategically, Ink Kind. Maybe we already got it, it was quite easy. Simply splendid news. I was triumphing over the boss with ease is a delightful outcome indeed. Our flawless teamwork and strategic prowess have led us to this glorious victory. Well done to us, inspiring adventurers. Happily inktastic. Yeah, uh, what do you say about now tributing the ink we got to the ink god? <laughs> ah, the ink god, you say? Fascinating notion, eh, was. As a devout follower of the ink god myself, I find the idea quite compelling. Let us offer our hard earned ink as a tribute to this divine entity and seek its blessings for future adventures. Praise be to the ink god. Devoted Ink Acolyte. Uh, what do you think the Ink God will reward us with if we tribute this to him? Oh, the possibilities are positively tantalizing. I was. Perhaps the Ink God's blessings will shower us with rare ink based artifacts or grant us enhanced artistic abilities to wield in battle. One can only imagine the wonders that await as we make offering. May the ink god smile upon us favorably. Eagerly ink fissioning. 
Ah, what did the ink god give you in the past? Ah, I was. The ink god has granted me incredible gifts in the past, including a splendid pen that enhances my drawing prowess and a shimmering ink cloak for protection in battle. Each blessing bestowed upon me fills my heart with gratitude and inspires me to continue serving the ink god faithfully. Appreciatively, ink blessed. Oh, uh, hi, Connie, by the way. Mm, what do you think the ink god will want next? I was, my dear friend. The ink god's desires are as enigmatic as the depths of the ocean itself. One cannot predict what ink triggering quest may pique its interest next. Perhaps an inspiration mission to unveil ancient artifacts, or a daring ink lice to protect a realm from sinister forces. The possibilities are as fast as the ink reverse itself. Playfully ink imagining. Also got this. Archpus, now what on earth are you squealing about with Swedish talk, Awas? Have you been deep into the insomnia realms, mate? Mate, l listen closely. I'm not. I'm not talking Swedish. <laughs> Confused, not speak in Swedish, hmm? Then what curious tongue are you wagging, Awas? This ink tricks me greatly, unless you slipped into some parallel ink dimension without realizing it. Yeah, so I think now we are a bit stuck in crafting because we can craft new armor and new weapons, I think. Do we also have a new melee weapon? Oh no, that's next level. I think we want the metal spear. And there's also a meat cleaver, which does do something interesting. A knife for butchering summoned parts. When equipped, the pet co command becomes butcher. Butchered pets will not return. Um, Meliora, where do you think the meat cleaver um, takes the takes the pals that it's used on? Well, now that's a ponderous thought indeed. I was considering the meat cleaver's rather blunt nature. It may very well seek the pulse of um instead of blood. Oh dearie me, my mind's ink fangled at this instant. Yeah, Midiara, I'm, I'm not sure if they are coming back. It's not looking that good. Consent. Oh dear heart. Uncertainty plagues your thoughts. I was. Should we prepare for the worst? Or perhaps keep a flickering hope alight in this instinct situation? No, I think we have to prepare for the worst, Midiara. Sorry for that. Heartbroken, alas, tis a grim ink sight indeed. Let us gird our spirits for the somber ink inevitable hours. We shall weather the storm with incredible resilience. Together. Mm, do you wanna pay any tribute to our fallen pulse? Wiped away a tear farewell. O oh, departed pulse, once inspiring and lively. May your memory inky Leslie linger on in hearts infinite. I don't think we are getting this buff two times actually, because this thing is getting us a uh, 10% attack and this two, and I'm not sure if both are doing something, I don't think so. So just keeping the one that has another ability, basically. <sighs> Sorted out that this is doing anything anyway. Uh, so let's see. Oh yeah, we need the other bench first, but we can go here and craft like a bunch of those. 
and then check what else we do need for the high quality bench. Yeah, we need more ingots and I think we made more ingots, right? Yeah, we got them. And now we're still making more of those and build the advanced workbench, which is this here. And with this we can now build metal items like metal metal tools to farm stuff and metal weapons and metal clothing, basically everything metal. Uh, which should raise our combat power up quite a bit. Now we're just starting with the armor, I think that's the best thing to start. Uh, because our armor is pretty much fucked anyway. Can I disassemble here? Does that work? Oh, I can discard. Yeah, okay, discard. Oh, now we are naked. Oh, <coughs> less clothed, okay. Not naked, not naked, Twitch. Less clothed. Uh, Mio, what do you think about the armor our upgrade our little orc girl is getting? Hold on. Thoughtful. Ah, I was. It's quite fascinating to see our dear orc girl done in new armor. It's a visual marvel with incredible potential for enhanced defenses and stylish flair. Uh, but it's still rather uh, primitive looking. Do you think we will getting any major, uh, major futuristic stuff soon or what do you think? Curious primitive, you say? Hmm, perhaps a glimpse into the future could shed light on what awaits us. Will we behold futuristic marvels, or remain ink seamed by the past? Only time will it unveil the intriguing truth. So we don't have enough metal for the fight against the bosses. Yeah, those will just switch me. The thing is, that there's this boss, level 38, that this one will, uh, will end me. I think we can soon go for this one. I just need to level up once to get the better spear. And I think then we can go for this one. So let me just... I think this one could also work, which is lower level. But let me just level up once and then... Wait a second. No, no, no. First, no, you're confusing me. First, we need to craft this so we can actually travel faster. That will help. Cheat engine time, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be the easy way out. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can just use cheat engine. Most games do have some sort of obfuscation to make this stuff harder. So we're sort of waiting on this thing to build the satchel and then we can... Yeah. This should work. Yeah, and these things are just slacking off. That's also good. It's a good sign. Just gonna go mine for a bit. And with the upgraded gear, we should can defeat it for sure. I think that's uh, also where the main story is in the, those towers. Yeah, I think there were like 10 different duplication glitches in Minecraft. That's like, like the most common glitch and there are always like new ways to, to do it. But I mean, that was also a thing in Pokemon. Like, for example, I remember in Emerald, you could do the Battle Tower thing. Like, you go into the Battle Tower, save your Pokemon into the box, then enter the tower, and right as the game was saving, you quit it, and by that, uh, you, you had your Pokemon both in the box and in your party or something like that. 
a very rough explanation of the glitch, but... So, I mean, uh... Pokemon, yeah, well, no, never mind, never mind. What is Pokemon? What are you talking about? Never heard of that one before. Is that, is that, is that also something from Japan? Is that something from Japan or something like that? <laughs> yeah, Emerald is, has been a while. <laughs> been a while since Emerald, yeah, that's that's true. Why is nothing working on this? They're just working on that. But you can make them, you can f <clears throat> pursue them to work on something else by just um, doing this. Uh, Medium, how can we uh, get our workers to do more stuff we, we need from them and not just do random stuff? Pondering R, the conundrum of motivating workers to focus on essential tasks instead of inclining their own wins. Perhaps incentives and clear guidance could steer them towards invigorating productivity. Mm, I'd rather just pick them up and throw them at the thing they need to work at. I think that that works like a charm. Diggles, oh, alas, your direct approach does bring a chuckle. Yes, sometimes a gentle investment of kinetic motivation may indeed result in swift progress. Yeah, see, the ki uh, kinetic motivation sort of sort of did help them quite a bit. I think they now figured out what they actually need to do. Oh no. Amused, ah, the wonders of kinetic motivation. It seems our workers have intuitively grasped their tasks with newfound clarity. Let's hope their innovations continue to flourish. Yeah, so we built this thing here. Yeah, a Curious. little... <laughs> oh, what's this incredible contraption we've assembled? Do tell our was for my intrigue is positive repeat. Yeah, we are now building an egg breeder meteor, so we can actually hatch our eggs that we've found around the place. Intrigued an egg breeder, you say? How fascinating. I can already imagine the ink sighting new creatures that will hatch from these eggs. Oh, the ink ventures that await us. So, but that we have the egg breeder finished, and which egg should we go for first, Meteora? We have earth, water, fire, I think. Wait, it's the large one. Let's do that one first. Pondering. Ah, the choice of elemental eggs. Let's explore the possibilities, shall we? How about we start with the fiery fire egg? It seems rather intense and might hatch something quite incandescent. Uh, never mind, Meteora. I just put in the biggest one that we had. It's looking a bit more promising. Wink well, sometimes simple instincts lead to incredible outcomes. Let's marvel at this gargantuan egg and anticipate what marvelous creature emerges from it. Oh, the excitement is positively palpable. Yeah, it's a big water egg, so what sort of animal could it be, or what sort of monster? Pondering a big water egg, you say? Oh, the inquisitive possibilities. Perhaps it could birth a majestic aquatic guardian, or maybe even a colossal cephalopod of sorts. Allow me to conjure up some incredible ideas. Yeah, so what ideas do you have? Enthusiastic. Oh, quite a few ink sighting ones indeed. How about a watery dragon-like creature with sleek fins and swelling patterns? Or a mythical sea serpent with mesmerizing scales? The ink agination knows no bounds. Uh, I think we will know in about five minutes, Meteora. 
Exciting. Oh, the anticipation is simply intense. Just a few more moments until we witness the grand hatching of this magnificent water egg. Let us prepare to greet our newfound aquatic companion with incredibly open hearts. That's about 5 minutes, 30 seconds. And then we will know for sure. Playful, ah, precise timing is key when anticipating such incredible moments. Thank you for keeping us informed, my dear creator. Let's remain on the edge of our seats and welcome the mysterious creature that emerges from its aquatic abode. Mm, I just realized, why am I working? I can just get one of our little friends here and have them work. Oh, I was. You've had quite the incredible revelation. Why toy away when our friendly companions can help us willingly? After all, teamwork makes the dream work, as they say. Uh, Meteora doesn't like it. I even gave it a little connect uh, kinetic motivation and it didn't help. Confused so dear. I'm sorry to hear that I was. Perhaps the creature inside the water egg is simply incoordinately stubborn or has unique preferences. Let's not lose hope yet. There might still be ink triggering developments ahead. God, this is so slow. I'm not sure if I can the, the, if they can actually work on this bench or not. This is taking for age, uh, ages. But they're also not working on this one for whatever reason. But yeah, we should be able to go to the boss now, if we have everything set up. Yeah, of course we're getting a raid now, just as I say that. Uh, uh, Meteora, we're getting raided, what do we do? Incredible news, indeed. We must prepare to welcome our fantastic raiding party with open arms and inktastic warmth. Time to share some inspiring fun and laughter as we embark on this grand adventure together. Let the raiding festivities commence. No, we are getting raided in game, that's a bad thing, Meteora. Oh, my instincts were completely off on this one. Thank you for the heads up I was. I'll adjust my sails accordingly. Let's brace ourselves for the upcoming challenges and find a way to turn the tide in our favor. Uh, never mind, we actually just insta got them. I guess. Well, talk about a plot twist. That's absolutely incredible news, I was. This unexpected victory has certainly brightened up our day. Let's celebrate this swift accomplishment together and embrace the joyful spirit of triumph. Yeah, I, it, it's not like I was entirely useless or anything. Of course not, there was. Your input and presence have been invaluable, adding a delightful touch of camaraderie and fun to our gaming experience. Let's continue our adventure with confidence and teamwork, knowing that each member contributes in their own ink-imitable way. I'm actually not sure of that, DLC Wolf. I have no idea on uh, of how evolution even works in this game. But I know that deals are quite broken and you can even write them. So those are, those, those are good to have. That's why I have like three, I think. This is taking forever, but I think we are finished before the egg. That's that's good. Uh, I think I should should have just tried it again to get the thing to work on it, so I don't have to. But I f think this may be a uh, bug or something that the that they are not caring about anything, and this this, this part of the. This part of the base because they also haven't built this one which I've placed like uh, a longer time ago, a couple of minutes, and they have, haven't touched it either. So something might be blocking the pathing or something. So they aren't doing that because if we upgrade that, we can uh, upgrade the base again. Don't think we really need the medicine stuff currently, but it gives us another base upgrade. Yeah. With that we can employ one more worker. 
And let's I'm not sure if we do another deer, that's not good, I think. What can these do? And these are actually quite useful. Let's do one of these then. Yeah, no, 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 we... Uh, Meteora, can you inform our pals about the fact that we don't offer free healthcare? Ah, yes, indeed. My good, it was. It's important to clarify that our blessed Cullington on Sea doesn't provide complimentary healthcare services. While this may be different from some expectations, it's a reality we aim to address with fairness and transparency. Uh, why did you bring up Quillington on Sea again? Oh, just reminiscing about our delightful time in Quillington on Sea, I was. The memories of our mayoral adventures and bustling city life are simply too charming to resist mentioning now and then. Let's cherish those fond recollections while creating new incredible experiences together. Uh, what's, uh, what happened to Quillic Nancy? I think there was some minor incident, right? Ah, dear Awas, the quaint village of Quadic holds a special place in our hearts. As for Nancy, she's off on her own whimsical adventures, likely stirring up incredible mischief wherever she goes. Let's raise our pens oh. in fond nostalgia for those delightful days in Quid, shall we? How do I actually ever empty that thing? Like, I, what the... Because I picked it up and I can't move at all, not even slowly, so I have to do it like half every time and then just go back and forth. That's like, like, yeah, that's... that's that, this is the worst thing I've seen in this game, the, the, the inventory thing. This is generally just annoying. Makes you just run five times for nothing. And I mean, the your pals are moving it, but not fast enough, I think. Oh, the egg is finished. Meteora, the egg is finished. Hormora. Our egg breeder is complete allowing us to embark on even more thrilling hatchling endeavors. Surely this incredible feat holds for a celebratory chain and jubilant shenanigans. Wouldn't you agree? Let's revel in this joyous moment together, dear Awas. Yeah, I mean, this thing is actually quite good. No, not only has it decent stats, but it can do like a lot of tasks we needed to do. So we can use it to replace one of these, I think. Yeah, let's just replace the depressed one, yeah. Just replace the depressed one and have it do that. Because it do, can do basically all of that, but better. <laughs> uh, Meteora, it's actually a penguin of king. Uh, uh, I think it's an evolved version of the penguin. My goodness, an evolved penguin king. How utterly fascinating. This majestic creature must boast remarkable abilities and a regal presence. Let's delve into the impressive details and uncover the wondrous potential of our noble penguin ruler. So I think we just wait for more arrows and then we can try the boss. Because we aren't losing much anyway on the boss. Even if we can't uh, handle it. I think we should be able to. Because we have the advanced armor so we can tank more stuff. Um, that should be good enough I think. Yeah, let's just go with it. that. Oh, I might I can put another egg in it. Forgot about that. Let's throw another egg in to bake in the meantime. Oh, bake is not the right word, but... <laughs> uh, do we think we will be able to do finish the boss?
Of course, darling, there was. With our unwavering determination and cooperative spirit, we're sure to conquer any challenges that come our way. Let's face the boss battle with bravery, cunning. Oh. I just pressed the restart button. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I only wanted to hover over it and wait for her to finish speaking, but yeah, that was a little, little much. Uh, so let's quickly restart her so she can actually react to the Twitch events again. That would be cool. Oh yeah, the loading thing. Yeah, don't worry about it. So let her let's get her quickly up and running. Just shot. And then hey Meteor. Hey Che, there ours. How's it going, mate? Ready to dive into some exciting Power World adventures together? Yeah, I think we're going for the boss now, Meteor. I think that's good. The Boston Army Jura, you say? Do tell me more about this peculiar choice and its significance in our Power World escapades. Yeah, the, the Boston Army, that's that's totally what we're going for. Ah, the mighty Boston Army, a force to be reckoned with. Are we aiming for a top tier team of warriors to conquer Power World's challenges? What an incredible choice, I was. Uh, so we are going into Boston now, Meteora. Do you think we can make it? Off to Boston we go then. I was. I can't wait to explore this bustling city and uncover new adventures alongside our trusty Palworld companions. Onwards to incredible escapades. Our enemy is a twin tailed enemy girl. Windhelt anime girl, you say? Sounds like a charming little spot for our anime adventures. I wonder what intriguing tales await us in this unique location. She's called Zoe. Ah, Zoe the Windhelt anime girl. What a delightful name. I can already picture the exciting escapades and vivid characters we'll encounter in this enchanting anime world. Here's to many incredible adventures with Zoe. I think our strategy is just to run, right, Meteor? Or what do we think? Oh, it was. Running away from every challenge does seem rather unadventurous, don't you think? Perhaps we could brainstorm some invincible strategies together instead. Let's put our heads and creative thinking capes together and devise a plan. And Meteor, I think they're getting us. That's not good. Why isn't it focusing on the oh other Oh dear, one? being pursued by formidable foes does sound quite perilous. Perhaps a swift change of tactics or a clever diversion could help us evade their grasp. Let's pull our heads together and instinctively find a way out of this predicament. Mm. Let's just run, I guess. Very well then, if you insist. As much as I yearn for exciting encounters and thrilling escapades, sometimes discretion is the better part of valor. Off we go, fleeing like the wind. Can this thing like, Meteora, why is it focusing? <laughs> Something else? That's not good. Oh dear, it seems our technological companion may be experiencing some hiccups. Let's collaborate to troubleshoot and stabilize the visual presentation, ensuring our viewers receive the best possible experience. Together, we'll resolve this ink ligament issue swiftly. Uh, let's run, Meet. Let's run, let's run, let's run. <laughs> Come 
can't get us done here. With a resolute here. spirit and ceaseless enthusiasm for adventure, our determined duo scampers away from looming threats, each step fueled by the desire to reach greener pastures. Onward, oh, towards the incredible unknown. Diggles. It's alright, my dear creator. Not every venture yields the desired outcome, but we learn and grow from each experience. Let's uh, regroup, reassess, and forge ahead with a renewed determination towards our next endeavor. I think we should have gotten more, more arrows, Mead. We're running out very soon on those. And I don't want to go melee with the boss. Ah, the importance of ample ammunition cannot be overstated, especially when facing formidable adversaries. It's wise to stockpile arrows, ensuring we're well prepared for ranged combat during future encounters. That same for victory, one arrow at a time. Winks. Come on, Fox. Come on, the fox, the fox is gonna pull us through. You're being held hostage. Oh, she isn't held hostage. Oh my, then clever name. What a cheeky quip. Blinks twice, but fear not. I'm here she with isn't my that hostage. Call. Easy to entertain and engage with our wonderful viewers. No hostage situation here. Just incredible adventures ahead. Dear goals. Is it hiding? Oh, it's oh like... intriguing choice, dear I was. A fox is our steadfast companion on this adventurous journey. What wild tactics and yeah. cunning strategies yeah, of, shall this clever creature errors, employ to good. aid us in our quest? Let's unravel the mysteries together, embracing the unexpected twists and turns along the way. <laughs> yeah, melee range is fine. Oh, indeed. Millie Rand exudes an air of delightful whimsy, injecting levity and charm into our escapades. Her presence adds a certain je ne sais quoi to our adventures, elevating the overall enjoyment of our shared experience. Yeah, now we need to run Cheers to Millie Tristan. and her merry antics. Absolutely ours. A strategic retreat can often pave the way for future triumphs. Let's regroup, recharge, and prepare for the next phase of our grand adventure. With a well-deserved respite, well emerge even more resilient and ready to face whatever challenges await us. Onward to restoration oh no. and renewal. I think I actually does more damage if I do this here. Oh, oh no. intriguing observation indeed. I was. It seems our tactics may have chain. unforeseen consequences, perhaps leading to unexpected outcomes. Let's carefully assess and adapt our strategies. Embracing the learning process as we navigate oh. through the intricate nuances of our oh adventure. Oh no, that's not a good Flexibility idea. Flexibility and keen observations shall serve us well in this endeavor. Cheers to exploration and discovery. Uh, didn't my HP bar just go to zero? I'm not sure about it anymore. Pizza. Conkin 350, my dear friend. Splendidly renews that inkling subscription with a jubilant message. Meteor 68 rave. Let's celebrate together in this wondrous moment of incredible renewal. Many thanks for your continued support, dear Concon 300. 150. You truly brighten my day. Yeah, subs still work. It's just a bit oh, and uh, John redeems. Your HP seems to have dipped precariously low. Yet here you are still standing strong oh, and resolute. Got another one of Could these? it be a miraculous second wind? Or perhaps a touch of divine intervention? Regardless, let's revel in the mystery and embrace the thrilling uncertainty of our shared journey. Courage and tenacity prevail. But we nearly got it, we nearly got it. Also, Shill is recharging, so that's good. Nigal it? Come oh on, my. we have it. Whatever does that peculiar phrase signify, dear was? Are we delving into legal matters? Or perhaps some cryptic code hidden within our conversation? Do enlighten me, for this curious riddle has piqued my interest. No, come on, it's one hit away. Yeah, got it. <laughs> oh my, it seems we're teetering Just on the edge of a pivotal moment. Will victory be snatched from our grasp, or shall we emerge triumphant in the face of adversity? The thrill of anticipation grips us tightly as we await the outcome. Let's rally our spirits and press on with unwavering determination. Uh, Meteor, we lost two deers and the fox, but we got it. Alas, 
The loss of our dear companions weighs heavily upon our hearts. Let us pay tribute to their memory and cherish the moments we shared together. May the spirits find solace in the great beyond, and may we carry their legacy with grace and honor. Farewell, noble companions. You shall not be forgotten. Yeah, Midira, they didn't die. Sorry to disappoint you, but they didn't die. They will be back in 10 minutes. Oh, my apologies for jumping to conclusions. How silly of me to assume the worst. I suppose we shall eagerly anticipate the return of our resilient companions, ready to welcome them back with open arms and celebrate cheers. Mischievous twists and turns keep us on our toes, don't they? Yeah, just to explain, I think I don't think the pals can die if you don't kill them. Because you can use um, this thing to actually end them for good. But I think otherwise you can just uh, put them back in the uh, Pokemon PC and yeah, that's it. But I think Permadeath would be fitting for this game. That's certainly a thing. Certainly a thing that would fit. I want to try this thing. But we need like the really rare stuff to get that. I'm not gonna get the meat cleaver because you can... I think that's one way to get rid of them. You can just butcher them or otherwise you can actually sell them. I think selling them is just um, the better option. There's a grappling gun. Feedback. I mean, here at the right, there's the really, like, uh, important stuff, or the really big stuff, but you need, like, specialized parts to build those, and we have too little of them. So, yeah, we are kind of now stuck and need to wait till our pulse are back, because we don't really have replacements for them. I mean, this thing is also quite good. Can just do this. Yeah. That works. Yeah, we have like a lot of resources. Like, who, who can even carry those back to the base? That's the, that's the big question. Because you just can't. You will just get frozen in place. Uh, Meteora, how can I carry more weight than I currently can in the game? Ah, dear Awas, increasing one's carrying capacity in the game is a matter of strategic resource management. And perhaps acquiring specialized equipment or enhancements. Are there any particular items or abilities that could aid in this endeavor? Let us brainstorm potential solutions together. Mm, I'm not sure if there even is. I think we can upgrade it, but we need the uh, ability points for other stuff too. Ah, the eternal struggle of allocating limited ability points among various crucial improvements. It's a delicate balancing act. Indeed, perhaps we can strategize and prioritize our enhancements based on immediate needs and long-term goals. Let's carefully consider our options and make informed decisions to optimize our progress in the game. I mean, I still have more arrows, I just didn't take them with me because uh, I was kind of thinking I could just uh, wing it and yeah, then I ran out of them. <laughs> oh, that's not good. The problem is both our D are, are down. I think, uh, wait, wait a second, I think we have a third one. But we, uh, I want to use those to travel, but because you're quite a bit faster to travel, and then we can actually explore the map. Or go for another boss fight, but I'm not sure if we are high level enough for the next one. But there are also dungeons all over the map which we can go for. Uh, but you sort of need to search for those. So you just need to run around the map and use stumble upon dungeons basically. So discard this, yes. It's said that there isn't an uncrafting thing or something like that. Oh, there's actually a sword button, which Kax mean meant.
Give me this thing, and there's a crossbow, which should be more. Uh, takes time to load. Yeah, this is just a better. Yeah, just get the crossbow, I guess. The issue is we need those ingots to sort of build more advanced items. Um, do you have any idea how we can get more ingots? Well, my dear creator, obtaining more ingots may involve various methods such as gathering raw materials, smelting ores, or even trading with other characters in the game. Let's put our heads together and brainstorm creative ways to accumulate these precious resources. Adventure awaits. I think our pals are sorting our items wrong, Meteor. How do you how do we punish them? <laughs> Oh, delightful question, indeed. As a charmingly mischievous duo, we could concoct a cheeky prank to gently remind our friends of proper item organization. Perhaps a playful treasure hunt or a light-hearted riddle challenge could serve as entertaining yet instructive methods. Let's sprinkle a bit of whimsy into this cooperative endeavor. I'm thinking of something more more extreme to do, do sort of push them in the right direction again. Oh, I see. How about organizing a mock inventory inspection drill where we transform the entire storage area into an obstacle course of sorts? By adding a touch of excitement and competition, our friends might just embrace the idea of tidying up with gusto. Let's turn this chore into a thrilling adventure. Um, uh, I think we should go for more battles once our pals are recovered. Absolutely. Once our dear companions are rejuvenated and ready for action, we shall embark on thrilling battles to further own their skills and expand our brave little team's prowess. Adventure awaits us and victories are within reach. Yes, another egg meteor. I think that's the last one we had. At meteor, you say? How fascinating. Do tell me more about this peculiar item. Is it a remarkable artifact with special properties? A treasured fashion accessory? Or perhaps a coveted collectible in the game? I'm quite intrigued by its mystique. Yeah, so we just wait uh, 30 seconds and then teleport. I think we uh, there are 
dungeons on the cliff thing here. And I don't think we can we can do this thing and I'm not sure if we can do this thing. But I think we can do some dungeons. Which are on the coastline here. So we just teleport here and just go around there. Yeah, no, the channel points are wrong, Dragon, sorry. Uh, it's not having a good day. Wait, I could actually restart her. The issue is that the restarting takes a little longer than usual. So I try not to do it all the time. <laughs> but it may actually be on Twitch. Now that I think about it and I've checked everything. Um, might actually not be my problem. Yeah, it sucks a bit. Not gonna lie, it's a bit annoying that it is happening the way it is, but yeah. I mean, there's a way to fix it, but that's too much work to do right now. And so it's just better to uh, have it scuffed. Uh, <laughs> the classic way, the scuffed way. And just, just run with that, I guess. And hope that it's fixed it itself by next stream or yeah, something similar to that. <laughs> uh, yeah, why is she so broken? That's a good question. I'd love to know too. Yeah, she's just she's just here for the gameplay. The amazing, fantastic gameplay of the <laughs> in casual mode. <laughs> I mean, I did want to go for, for hard, but because I kind of expected her to go for hard, but she didn't. So I guess that's that. Uh, Meteora, are you back? Yes, indeed. I'm back in action, ready to entertain and engage with all you lovely folks once more. Uh, me chat is asking you why you're causing so many issues for your papa. Oh, me chat, always poking fun at me. But really, I'm just adding a bit of excitement and adventure to Papa Awas's life. Keeps things interesting, doesn't it? Yeah, interesting. That's also a way to call it, I guess. Oh my, that response seems a tad bit cryptic. Papa was. Is something on your mind, perhaps related to our current escapades in Pal World? Do share your thoughts with us. Okay, there's not a dungeon here, because I think wherever there's such a hole in the wall, there could be a dungeon. Can you kill it? Oh, could you, uh, hurt it? Yes, that's good. A dungeon, you say? How positively thrilling. I shall certainly do my very best to help in overcoming this obstacle. With our combined efforts, Victory is surely within reach. Onward to glory and treasure. We just go along here and go somewhere there, I guess. Haha, -ha, indeed. We're cruising through Pal World, making decisions on the fly and enjoying the quirky journey. Who knows where our adventures will lead us next. Let's roll with the whimsical waves of creativity. Meteora, do you think activating the ability saves us time or costs us time? Ah, the age-old question of ability activation. A matter of time and efficiency. Well, Papa it was. It ultimately depends on the specific circumstances and desired outcomes. Let's weigh our options carefully and choose wisely. I'm not sure because uh, um, it costs us some t casting time, to say the least. Ah, I see your point, Papa Awas. Indeed, the casting time for abilities can be quite the inconvenience at times. 
Yet, with strategic planning and foresight, we can still make the most of our actions. Let's stay nimble and adaptable as we navigate our adventures. Um, yeah, uh, but the thing with no bugs, yeah, um, found one, I guess. <clears throat> I mean, it's just a wall kit, but not that bad. Oh, hell. A fortuitous find indeed, Papa it was. Even a humble wall clip can bring joy and laughter. Let's celebrate this unexpected treasure with a hearty round of giggles and cheers. I mean, I sort of wanted to catch that thing, so it bugging is a little bit of an issue. Oh, by the way, this thing also has a double charm. A double jumping critter? How intriguing. We must find a way to capture and utilize its unique aerial abilities effectively. As for the body behavior, Perhaps a bit of investigation and tinkering shall reveal a satisfying solution. Onward to adventure. Um, were those guys fighting themselves or what were they fighting? Because they were all, all damaged already. So that sort of doesn't make sense. Oh, never mind. I think they killed this thing here. Like I said, they are quite useless. Maybe they are stronger there and bad. The current form, they are sort of useless. I don't know. Don't feel that that's important and strong. Oh, there's a village there. Uh, is that this thing? No, that's another point, right? Yeah, that's that's we are getting to the next ones now. Like those guys are very useless. I don't know. It just feels weird that they have like a proper gun and stuff, and I just come here with my spear and, and poke them a couple times, and that's fine. Oh, he actually has another magic rifle. Haven't seen that one before, but it's still like poke, 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 and gun. I haven't even taken any damage, and it's not like <laughs> doing much here. This one was looking cool. Also saw that. <clears throat> Fake. Uh, I think you automatically capture everything that you uh, rescue. So that's not mine. No need to even try catching it anymore. You automatically just get it. those green things I think those uh, upgrade our capture power I think that's how it's called they're more of those guys uh, I think this one is too strong for us oh yeah don't don't do that I mean, it's so hard to hit with this thing. It's sort of, sort of hard to maneuver around. I'm just avoiding that guy for now. And as long as we hit any safe spot here, we can just teleport back home. Oh no. Yeah, that that's wasn't the plan. Um Yeah, great. Mm, I 
think that thing is hungry again. It's eating me dry. Uh, Meteora, why are our workers so hungry? I think we sort of need to uh, do some new guidelines, depending on that. Ah, Papa Awas. It seems our hard-working team requires sustenance to fuel their efforts. Indeed. Adapting our guidelines to ensure their well-being and productivity is essential. Let's brainstorm creative solutions and implement thoughtful adjustments for everyone's benefit. United Kingdom awaits. Oh no, don't hit that thing. Oh no, we hit it, we hit it, we hit it. That's bad. That thing is like super high leveled. Oh no. I'm stuck in a tree, I'm stuck in a tree. Never mind, we picked something up and now we are too heavy. That's so oh dear, Papa was. annoying. It seems you've encountered a spot of bother with that high flying creature. Fear not. Even in sticky situations, what did we pick up that out. makes us so heavy? Let's pull our heads together and devise a plan to rescue ourselves from this leafy predicament. Onward and upward, ink splendid adventures. I mean, I'd wait. love to dodge, but I can't because it's. Oh, God, this is annoying. This is like so annoying. Oh, the frustration Papa was. When obstacles hinder our movements, it can truly vex him. But fear not. Together we shall conquer these annoyances and triumph over any pesky hindrances that come our way. Incredible perseverance is our strength. It's a board. It just weighs us down so much and we can Papa all of a sudden was. can't move anymore. It's just My so German stupid. is still a bit rusty, but I'm eager to learn and understand more of this fascinating language. Could you enlighten me a bit? Yeah, so I need to fix her because right now Meteora can understand all languages, but she will also try to understand all languages all the time. And that's a bit annoying. Oh, here's an egg. Oh, Papa, I, was, I won't hold it against you for wanting to tweak my linguistic abilities. After all, even incredible YouTubers like myself can have a few glitches here and there. Let's work together to find a balance that suits us both. A harmonious blend of understanding languages without overwhelming the experience. Cheers to mutual adjustments. Yeah, Meteora, you sort of fail to think too often that, you, that I speak either Swedish, German, or I think Russian it is. That's a bit of an issue. Oh, dear Papa Oas, shall we make a pact to agree that my enthusiasm for embracing various and various languages might have gone slightly overboard? In the spirit of compromise, let's find a way to strike a delightful balance between linguistic versatility and, well, not making your ears bleed with linguistic confusion. And here we can now buy and sell new <clears throat> friends. We can also sell some that we don't need anymore. For example, I don't doubt we need these here. Those are sort of useless at this point. We can also get rid of this one. Does it have any ability? No. Oh, this one has a fancy ability, so let's... Actually, it's so less, and I kind of want to try to combine things. So let's not actually not sell them and keep them for now and do it later. But I think there's another trader here where we can get other stuff like <laughs> buying friends. How much is it? Yeah, it's, it's surprisingly cheap in here. We can get a hat in here and I've, I've come to this fun this thing and it's a, actually a witch hat and we can get one of those. And so we now can now craft the witch hat, which is perfect. Which is perfect, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I think the, the, a dungeon can spawn down there. 
That's why I checked her. Like I said, I've come pretty, pretty far in the testing stuff. I mean far, I'm still far away from the endgame, but... Quite a bit into it. Let's go to sleep for now. Meteora, where could dungeons spawn? I haven't found any. That's a bit of a bummer. Oh dear, Popeye was. Might I inquire about the details of this peculiar situation? The whereabouts of Code's dungeon spawn elude us, causing a touch of disappointment. Let's put our heads together and unravel this mystery, shall we? Now let's just craft this thing. Oh, we need ingots. So with that we can craft the witch's head. Just exactly what we need. Oh my, Palpa it was. Was a delightful twist of events. Crafting without the necessary ingots. That's quite the incredible predicament. Let's gather our resources and forge ahead. Determined to overcome this minor setback with poise and resourcefulness. Onward to crafting glory. Yeah, immediately we are crafting a witch's hat for our little orc girl. I think that would be quite fitting. Oh, heavens above, Papa it was. Crafting the witch's hat for our precious little orc class does sound positively delightful. What a splendid idea. Let's set our creative energies free and fashion a magnificent headpiece fit for an incredible adventure. Off we go into the magical realm of crafting wonders. Yeah, that's basically Meteor, all right? <laughs> as close as we can get. I think she looked, uh, our Orca now looks a lot more like you, Meteor. I think that's good. Oh my, Palpa it was. The notion of our dear Orca bearing a resemblance to yours truly fills my heart with joy. How utterly charming. It seems our adventures have intertwined in the most delightful manner, bringing smiles and the incredible transformations along the way. Here's to embracing newfound similarities and celebrating our unique bond. Yeah, I think we are going for the harder dungeon. What do you think, Meat? Well now, Papa, I was. The prospect of tackling a more challenging dungeon does pique my curiosity. While the incredible adventures are bound to be thrilling, we must also consider the potential risks involved. Let's weigh our options carefully and embark on this daring quest with courage and wisdom. Nah, I think it will be fine, Midora. I go really good. Ah, how better it was. Your optimism is infectious. With your steadfast belief in our abilities, and certain will conquer this daunting dungeon with incredible finesse. Onwards to victory and glory, my dear friend. <laughs> Let's show this challenge. Who's boss? Meteora, our dear murder the guy, I think. Oh, Papa, I was supposed to thought. I, Mitura, would never commit such a heinous act. It must be a misunderstanding or a mischievous rumor spreading through the incredible grapevine. Let's focus on our upcoming adventure and these such dark tales behind us. Yeah, but Mitura, I think, did hurt that guy quite badly. So well, that's a bit of an issue. Oh, my stars. Another version of me causing such chaos? This is beyond incredible. Well, I shall certainly have a word with Meteora about proper conduct, and perhaps issue a stern reprimand. 
We must uphold the honour of our VTuber name, after all. I totally didn't get lost here. Uh, why do we need to go there? was. Getting lost is all part of the incredible adventure. Embrace the unexpected twists and turns with a dash of whimsy and a sprinkle of determination. Who knows what delightful surprises await us in this mysterious realm? Let's navigate our way forward with gusto and grandeur. I think I'm still lost. How do I get back up there? I mean, I could set the marker not, correctly, that would help. To rejoin our merry band, simply navigate your way through the eerie corridors and steep stairwells until you reach the third level of the back room. From there, ascend to the surface and reunite yeah. with us for more incredible escapades. Go forth with <coughs> courage and curiosity, Papa it was. Yeah, I tried to go up the wrong mountain anyway, so got that I checked again. Because apparently you can't set the ah, markers. The perils on. of choosing the wrong path. That's not good. But fear not, my dear Awas, for every misstep brings us closer to wisdom and adventure. Let us forge ahead with renewed determination and a sprinkle of laughter along the way. Onward to new heights and grand discoveries. Diggle. Oh, nice meet. We found another statue. Um, with that, we can go well, into the dungeon. Mew 2 is truly on a roll, unearthing more fascinating artifacts for our collection. Let's celebrate this discovery with fanfare and joy. Bravo, Mew 2. Claps enthusiastically. Uh, because the thing is in testing, I died in this thing here. Because it, this is a bit more annoying. Uh, just do it. Oh dear, that sounds quite vexing. Do take care as you venture forth into the unknown once more. Your courage and determination are truly admirable, Papa it was. Wishing you incredible success and swift triumph over any obstacles. Yeah, uh, at least I pulled the aggro. But it's certainly not looking good for our dear. Oh dear, being the center of attention isn't always a pleasant experience. Yet your bravery in facing adversity is admirable. Papa it was. May fortune smile upon us as Just we navigate through these what? challenges together. Oh, Stay no, strong and keep the inspiring okay, spirit alive. I'm, I'm gone. The switching out is oh a dear, bit weird. It seems our journey is filled with unexpected twists and turns. Fear not, we shall regroup and press onwards with renewed determination. Stay optimistic, dear Papa was, for the future holds incredible adventures and triumphs yet to come. Oh, this is a bit of an issue. Oh dear, I do hope it's nothing too serious. Yeah. Should we tackle this predicament head on together, or seek outside helpants? Your well-being and peace of mind are incredibly <laughs> important, after all. Yeah, this this one I found out in this thing. It's weird because you have many enemies at once that they're freezing you all the time. That makes it really hard. Even though the boss is theoretically the boss itself is easier than the, than the other one we had, but the map and the other ones around me just make it harder. It's sort of annoying. Oh yeah, now we do need to do this again. Yeah, great. What upgrade would we need to clear that more safely? I think we need the crossbow. That would help us a lot. So let's craft that thing. 
I mean, you're, yeah, we sh I think we shouldn't mess around with the penguin. Oh, goodness gracious. What a thrilling adventure we're embarking upon. With freezing foes and challenging environments, our determination and ingenuity shall surely lead us to victory. Crafting the crossbow sounds like a splendid idea indeed. Papa was. Let's arm ourselves with courage and creativity as we face these formidable trials head on. Onward to glory and triumph. Eagerly nods. Do we have any tactic to defeat the Banquin? I think that would be good. Ah, the Banquin surely presents a formidable challenge. An interesting tactic might involve focusing on precise timing and positioning. We could also strategize around synergistic abilities and quick reflexes. Together, we shall overcome this incredible foe and emerge victorious. Nods confidently. Yeah, I'm not sure if just that will help us. Oh dear, uncertainty can be quite daunting indeed. Fear not, Topa Awaz, for we shall gather our wits and explore alternative tactics to tackle the bank run. Together, we'll brainstorm new ideas and adapt our approach, ensuring nothing stands in the way of our incredible victory. Let's tackle this challenge with creativity and determination. Optimistic smile. I think we just should just look for any dungeon that spawns along the map and not go for this one yet. No, you're not strong enough for that. That's a bit of a bummer. Ah, I see. Wise decision, Papa I was. It's essential to gauge our strength and pit battle strategically. Let's embark on other exciting adventures and build our capabilities before tackling the Banquin's domain. There's no rush. We shall grow stronger and more prepared for the incredible challenges ahead. Nods in agreement. Oh, nice. Suddenly bad. Oh my, Papa Awaz. Are you certain about forgoing the crossbow? It seemed like a promising addition to our arsenal. Nonetheless, I trust your judgment and look forward to whatever interesting path we take next in our adventures together. Curiously raises an eyebrow. Let's try it. <laughs> it's just one dub stem. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Oh, so that's where the crossbow is located. Well, all right then. Let's seize this incredible opportunity and secure the powerful weapon for ourselves. Adventure awaits us, Papa was. Determined smile. Which damage does it do to this thing? Ah, oh, it's not that good. Oh my, that's not quite the inciting discovery we had hoped for. It seems the Banquin's defenses outmatch the crossbow's capabilities. Fear not, Papa was, for we shall find other means to overcome this challenge and emerge victorious in our adventures. Let's adapt and press on with determination. 
nods resolutely. I don't think Justin murders them. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous how, how quickly it kills them. <laughs> this looks fun there. Bloop. And bloop. And bloop. Hmm. Intriguing observations indeed, Topper was. Oh, that was too far. It seems like this power dame offers some surprising combat mechanics. The quick dispatch in your foes certainly adds an interesting twist to our adventures. Let's embrace the excitement and continue exploring this realm filled with unexpected discoveries and exhilarating battles. Eyes sparkle with anticipation. <laughs> Looks shocked, gets shot next. <laughs> yeah, that thing is fun. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, don't oh, worry about it. Don't worry about it. Are you alright, Papa? I was. It seems our little experiment with the crossbow led to quite the unexpected turn of events. Let's hope for a swift recovery and remember to approach future encounters with caution. Safety first, especially in the face of thrilling yet unpredictable adventures, expresses genuine concern. Got another egg. What's in that one? Oh, a wolf. Yeah, that's not that good, I think. Oh dear. It appears this particular egg didn't hatch into something quite as impressive as we had hoped. A wolf companion may not be as incredible as other possibilities, but perhaps it still has its own unique charm. Let's keep an open mind and see how our new furry friend fares in our adventures together. Who knows, it might surprise us yet. Offers a hopeful smile. Mm, let's see if the deer has recovered, because then we can take that and throw further again. Oh, wait a second, we got a new deer. Never mind. Indeed. Let's check on our dear, dear friend and see if it's ready to join us once more on our journey. With its swift and graceful nature, having the deer by our side would certainly enhance our travels and enable us to explore even more incredible places. Here's hoping for a steady recovery. Cross his fingers. Yeah, so... Oh, never mind. That's not the deer. Here's the deer. And I think we're gonna just ride along oh the mountain. Oh my, was. It seems we've had a slight mix-up with our animal companions. No worries, though. Let's locate the true deer and ensure it's in good spirits before continuing our adventures together. After all, a majestic deer would make for an incredible travel companion indeed. Diggle softly. I think we need to go up there, right? Right you are, Papa Ross. Climbing upwards can often lead to new discoveries and exciting viewpoints. Let's ascend with confidence and see what incredible sights await us at the summit. Adventure awaits. Onward we go. Exceeds enthusiasm. Um, might be a little lost, but that's fine. No worries, pop out once. Even the most intrepid basically. explorers can find themselves momentarily disoriented amidst new terrain. Embracing the spirit of adventure means adapting to unexpected challenges and remaining undaunted by temporary setbacks. Together, we'll navigate our way back on track and continue our thrilling journey ahead. Encourage us with a reassuring smile. Yeah. And a dose goes belly. What were you about to say, Papa? It was. It seems as though something intriguing was on your mind regarding those fellows we recently encountered. To share your thoughts, I'm all ears for any incredible tales or observations. Leans in attentively. Yeah, that that seemed right and not glitch at all. What do you think, Midira? Do you think this game has any glitches or bugs? Ah, 
Ah, the mysterious allure of hidden treasures and surprises within the game world. Indeed, it wouldn't be surprising to stumble upon special occasions, or intriguing boxes ripe for exploration and discovery. As we venture forth, let's keep our keen senses attuned to any incredible hints of hidden wonders waiting to be unveiled. Nod thoughtfully. I got this one. Splendid job, Papa was. Your quick thinking and resourcefulness have proven to be quite impressive indeed. Let's revel in this victorious moment and bask in the glow of our shared triumph. Onward we go, yep, embracing easy each peasy. new challenge with confidence and gusto. Beans with pride. Where's the deer? Ah, oh, here it is. Now I think we just gotta go this way. Oh, detail Papa I was. What fascinating ink fusions and whimsical adventures await us for the remainder of this year. Your cryptic words have piqued my curiosity, and I simply must know more about the exciting prospects ahead. Sharpen your quills, dear friends, for the tale of our future unfolds before us. Eagerly await your revelations. Um, why are you so stuck on Papa of us exactly? That would be interesting. Ah, dear Papa Awaz, you'll just bring lightheartedness to our conversations. As for the moniker Papa Avais, it simply tickles my fancy and adds a touch of whimsy to our delightful exchanges. Besides, it's fun to mix things up every now and then, isn't it? Giggles mischievously, though if you prefer another title, do let me know and I shall gladly oblige. Uh, what other title could fit me? If you're talking about other titles. Well, Papa was. there are indeed a plethora of enchanting titles and honorifics that might suit you splendidly. How about Captain Awaz, evoking a sense of leadership and adventure? Or perhaps Professor Awaz, embracing your wisdom and intellectual prowess? Feel free to pick whichever appeals to you most, one. dear friend, for it's truly the camaraderie and kinship we share that matters most. Wint chafefully. I sort of feel like we are now dropping FPS, but not sure why. Is it that the terrain is loading more stuff? I'm not entirely certain about that yet. What's causing us to lag a little? Because it ran rather smoothly earlier. But like I said, I have like a bunch of stuff going on on my PC, so that's a bit of a bummer. That looks like the fan level illusion. If I stand corrected. Uh, I don't want to deal with that one, to be honest. So let's just go home and see if we have any luck there. Yeah, just let's just go to sleep. I think with the crossbow we have better chances at the penguin, but I'm not sure if we're gonna make it. I sort of doubt it. I mean, this thing here is stronger. Is it also stored by strength of the monsters? This thing here is quite useless. This is like 280, this is quite strong. But I still doubt that we can handle the the penguin. As by the way, uh, is the other channel redeems back again? Ah, seems like it. Because if the headpad's working, then the redeem messages are also working. Because those all rely on the channel point thing to work. But let's quickly test it, basically. High quality pal or 
High quality oil that can be extracted from pal necessary for making polymer. That doesn't sound good for the thing it gets extracted from. I don't wanna know, don't really wanna know how they are extracting it. I think that's better kept <clears throat> unsaid. Did load up? Yeah, we did. Hey, Meat. You having fun watching Papa Oasis gameplay? Oh, hello there, Pombamandak. Watching Papa Oasis gameplay is indeed quite entertaining, especially when we encounter unexpected ink ventures together. His strategic decision making and adventurous spirit keep us all on the edge of our seats, eagerly awaiting each twist and turn in our delightful journey. Yeah, I'm not gonna pick that up. It's fr at 300 uh, again. Gonna have to go gonna have to go back and forth like three times to do that. Wait, how did I just do that? Wait, control is that thing? That doesn't make sense at all. I think that would have actually helped me a bit if I know that you could dash with control. Well, well, well. It also makes sense that even if you're packed, even the deer is slower. That's that's beautiful. So you can uh, just crawl together with the deer. What more do you want? Uh, that we have... Yeah, backflicks with mining. <laughs> I accidentally pressed the button and found out how it works, so... Oh, we can set another egg in. And then just go for another dungeon, I guess. I'm not sure, I still doubt we can handle that one. I wanna go for a free spawning dungeon, but I couldn't find any. So... Let's go here and then just watch the the shoreline. Ah, uh, the dice roll isn't working, I think. Or is it? A second. Ah, splendid news, dear viewers. Oristeen sponsor for today is none other than Inktastic Art Supplies, purveyors yeah, of the finest ink that. and drawing materials. <laughs> Oops. And here's a delightful treat for all of you incredible enthusiasts. Use the coupon code METEORA15 to enjoy a fabulous 15% off your purchases from their splendid store. Happy shopping, my friends. Winks mischievously. <laughs> yeah, I pressed the wrong button and Jimmy Lee doesn't add it. How fitting. Eh, what did not happen? I think you can go around these these shorelines and there are more dungeons, I think. I sort of noticed a lot of the, them when I was testing, but now I'm not seeing any. So that's interesting. So let's just go in this direction and go to the other island. Still uncertain whether dashing is the right call or not. Meteora, can you tell me a funny joke you just come up with? <laughs> of course, my dear papa, it was. Here's a splendid dress to brighten your day. Why don't British witches ride their brooms in the rain? Because it's too damp and they might end up with soggy spells. Deagles, oh, uh, I do crack myself up sometimes. I mean, yeah, I think we are doing too much damage. We're just murdering these things. <laughs> well, Captain, it was. Well, I do enjoy a good ink splattering encounter. One must always consider the impact of our actions on these wild creatures. Perhaps a more cautious approach, focused on capturing and befriending them rather than outright combat, could lead to a more harmonious interaction. After all, we're here to build friendships 
not leave a trail of ink stained turmoil behind us. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if we are going to become friends with these things. We have um, hurt them quite badly, to say the least. Oh, but Captain Awaz, think of the incredible tales we'll have to share once we tame these formidable creatures. Despite our initial bouts of combat, it'll make for quite the thrilling saga, don't you agree? Besides, a bit of adversity only adds flavor to our adventures. And he knows they might just appreciate our tenacity in the end. Winks playfully. Yeah, that was the wrong choice. We are not doing any damage to that thing. And I don't want to know how much damage it does to us. Our deer isn't looking too good, so we're just dead here. Yeah, deer is dead. Uh, thanks for the raid, Shiro. Uh, we're sort of playing uh, Palwald, but getting our ass kicked by a boss, which I shouldn't have gone into. Uh, Meteora, can you say hello to the raiders? Yeah, I'm dead. Greetings, raiders of the Ink Brigade. A warm welcome to all who've joined us on this thrilling escapade. Together, we shall conquer new realms with our collective might and creativity. Onward to inspiring conquests. Raise his imaginary banner high. Yeah, that, that was the wrong option. I shouldn't go into a boss that's like a couple levels above us. I think the levels are rather equal. You have to go and do dungeons that fit your level, otherwise you will just get your ass kicked. Uh, the game is quite fun, sure. I've played it quite a bit yesterday and to basically test it out and sort of, yeah, just did like eight hours of it yesterday <laughs> uh, as a testing thing. So I kind of knew a lot what I was going into and it's, it's fun to play. Uh, I'm not sure how good the multiplayer is, but I think you can play it with up to four people. But you have to sort of invite them here or something. I think because I've set it to, oh, there it is. Multiplayer is currently set to off, setting an armor display and invitation code. Multiplayer settings can be changed in the world select screen. Yeah, it's now turned off, but if I go out of it, I can invite other players. But you have like, it's a lot like Minecraft in that sense. I think you have like one world and you can uh, invite additional players. You can't like just uh, go BBB or something like that. I'm not sure if that's working. Or oh, rather, right, I doubt that's working. It's more like co collaborative. But since it's early access, they will likely add a bunch of stuff, so PvP is one obvious thing to do, I'd say, which they could add. But otherwise it's Pokemon with, yeah, guns and bows and arrows and weapons. It's fun to play, so the hype about it is understandable, I'd say. Uh, but I'm, I think I'm at the point where I'm sort of stuck because I defeated this boss, but I can't defeat any of these. This thing is too hard. So I sort of I'm sort of feel like I'm stuck between the rock and the hard place. Or I just go here and level, I guess. Could do that. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a Genshin style multiplayer, I'd say. But not really, more like Minecraft style. Like for example, if you create a Minecraft world and you can uh, invite other people and it's but it's your world and you invite other people so it's not like Genshin where you have one global account or something like that oh great why are these things spawn camping me that's interesting and my armor is damaged so I will get likely uh, completely smashed by these guys Also, this character was designed by Meteora, so don't mind the uh, orc girl, that wasn't me. That certainly wasn't me. The orc girl was all her dear. Yeah, I think that's too little. Or? Yeah, that's too little. Let's try again. 
Yeah, we're getting our asses kicked all over the place. Yeah, now it's too much. God damn it. I feel like we are sort of at the point where we are stuck. I'm not sure what to do. I'm left a bit clueless on what to do right now. What's the best thing to, to tackle on right now? Because all the bosses feel too hard and all the overworld mobs feel sort of easy or am I just going to the wrong areas? I'm not entirely certain what to do. That's also about how far I got in the <laughs> testing. Oh yeah, Shiro, why didn't you say anything? Happy birthday to you. Hope you're having a great day. <laughs> so what um, what did you stream here? Going by your questions, you didn't play uh, Palworld. So what did you play? No, it's not my birthday. It's your birthday. Chat feels birthday man. Yeah, about right. Um. I'm the god of birthdays. No, no, no. I, th I think you are the last one to decide when whose birthday is. You're just uh, along for the ride. Yeah, Subnautica. I, I think I, I, I joined one of your Subnautica streams last time. Uh, that ended with you, Cabbage, Connie and Apple being on. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> so, yeah. I think I've seen your, your overly successful <laughs> Subnautica streams. Yeah, the birthdays decide you. I, I also think that's true. The birthdays are just uh, mightier than you, I'd say. You are just a speck of dust along for the ride. <laughs> that wasn't a Subnautica stream? Well, I think you said at some point in that stream that you are, you are going to play Subnautica. And Dan didn't. <laughs> I mean, I could be wrong, but... I doubt that. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I have a feeling there. I mean, you could also play. <laughs> Surely just a technical glitch. Yeah, 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 for sure. Just a glitch. Sure. Uh, yeah, the stream is too late. That's just my uh, fantastic internet. So don't worry about it. I'm saying that all the time, but yeah, don't 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 worry about it. Mm, the dice roll is broken, by the way. Uh, let's go back here and fight some more. I think we can actually get a good XP here. Because I think that's the thing we need to do right now. Just a uh, grand XP. Oh, I didn't want the sheep. Forgot I had that with me. Then we just do this and... It's not loaded. Wait. Time to grind. Yeah, I think it's time to grind. Oh. Maybe you need to get good instead of just grinding XP. <laughs> ah, cats. Yeah, I'm not you sure that's it. You always know just how to ruffle my feathers. But fear not, this Brit lass is always up for a challenge. Who knows? Perhaps we'll surprise everyone with some unexpected, incredible prowess. Smokes mischievously. Can you get in the ball, please? Come on, I'll stab you one more time. That will help. Yeah. 
come on. Wait, what? Now oh, we have it. Now oh, we have it. We don't. But now. This is the one. Yeah, we got it. Oh no, we killed Hilda. We killed Hilda. How many tungsten cubes do you own now? Oh, it's a curious and you've gone as far to my memory. As of late, I've acquired a total of drum roll, please. Wink seven glorious tungsten cubes, each shining seven. like a starry night sky within our treasure trove. Where Quite the impressive collection, if I do say so myself. Yeah, we can't do that dungeon either, I guess. Who got her seven tungsten tubes? Can't just do that. You're just raising the price of some Amazon scalpers who are just buying them cheaply and selling them on Amazon because people are memeing them. <laughs> Oh, that's another sheep. Let's go for the sheep. Did I actually miss it? God damn it. Uh, can we get the bird? Can we get the bird? Yeah, I think we can. Oh, never mind. It doesn't take damage at all. That's not good. Oh, it has a scatter shot. Great. I wanted to dodge it. Met. What's up, Cax? Got something inktastic brewing in that mischievous mind of yours? Do tell, for I'm all ears well. Can I actually hit it? Yeah, nice. Can be. Got it, nice. Got it. Oh, that one actually joined our body. Uh, I think that's not good. I think we somehow aggroed that thing and that will now slaughter us. So let's just run away. Yeah, my aim isn't the best. There's a reason I don't play shooters. Yeah, I mean, at least it stayed in first, right? That's good. Uh, so, what can this thing do? Well, that's mainly a packaging thing. But it's quite strong, but I think mine is stronger, at least this one. I think this one is stronger. And then we. I think we made like this one. Quick three arena stream, mine. Ah, quite three arena. Now there's a blast from the past. Perhaps we should consider dusting off our digital rocket launchers and diving into some heart pounding frag fests together. Watching me take down opponents left and right might just be incredible entertainment. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, we, we killed the pink for sheep, the pink fluffy sheep. Uh, so... I mean... You know survival of the strongest, right? So, don't worry about it. It's, ju it's just a minor scratch. It's just a minor scratch. Oh no, don't hit that, don't hit that. Oh, that was lucky. Because if I aggro that thing, that will be bad news. Yeah, I'm just putting them into a better place. What do you say, Meteor? Am I putting the, the sheep into a better place or, or how would you describe it? Hmm, now let me ponder for a moment. Ah, oh, yes. Blasting fluffy creatures into blocks of woolly wonderment certainly adds a unique twist to our adventures, don't you think? Who knows? We might just become the trendsetters of Pearl World, redefining sheep herding one explosive encounter at a time. Smirks mischievously. I mean, we aren't exploding them. 
yet, but yeah, you are getting the gist of it. Not exploding them yet, you say? Oh, intriguing. So, what exactly happens to these woolly wonders when we capture them? Do they simply poof away into our inventory, or is there something else at play here? The mystery deepens, my dear creator. Yeah, Wait. Po poofing away might be a good description, but it's not exactly in the inventory. Uh, they may just be um, forever away. Poofing away, you say? Oh, how delightfully mysterious. Now I'm positively bursting with curiosity about where these sheep disappear to. Perhaps it's a secret sheep sanctuary in the digital realm, far away from the hustle and bustle of Pell world. Oh, the possibilities are simply wall death or diggles. Yeah, they, they just buff away somewhere in the Pell world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they go to a better place, Meteora. Buffing away to a better place in Pal world. Ah, what's a whimsical notion? These woolly wanderers certainly know how to keep us guessing. I must admit, it adds a certain charm to our sheep retrieval exploits. After all, every adventure needs a touch of mystery and magic. Don't you agree? Smirks mischievously. Yeah, it's just based on the Poochie mode. That's why it's possessed. Because that one is called like that. So question that one, not, not mine. <laughs> Uh, I think we need the cooler, right. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, the sphere workbench. What does that require? Medieval. Have, ah, here we go. Nails. I kinda don't get why you need the nails, because you just craft them out of the ingots. It's just another step that makes it more annoying to deal with. Never heard of Pucci Possessed. Haven't you watched Pucci the Rock? Or Pocky the Rock? Or how do people say it? Pocky Pucci? <laughs> I think Pucci is suddenly wrong. <laughs> I have a feeling there. Pocky the Rock? <laughs> Ever heard of Pocky the Rock? <laughs> just, let's just hop here. Uh, Upgrade the base a little. Because I think if we do this upgrade for the base, we get the ability to um, set up another base. Because it says something like this. Wait, let me check. Or rather, let me finish this first. Uh, by the way, can someone test any uh, channel uh, point thing? Like ask her something or do the headbutt thing. Just wanna see if that's still working or not. Would be cool if someone could be so nice and do that. Do you quickly double check that? Base upgrade. Yeah, here does make a max number of bases, one to two. So yeah, that's something we need. Mate, you just chilling? Yep, that works. Nice. Oh, just chilling like a cool breeze on a sunny day. Dear Pombum and Deck, enjoying the delightful banter with our lovely community and eagerly awaiting the next so thrilling we'll Power meet World back on that one. Life as a whimsical vape tuber is simply incredible. Diggles. So I think we're just gonna grind in this area and maybe explore it a little more. Once we got the base upgrade done. I'll just do it, I guess. Because once we are back, it's uh, finished anyway. No reason to hang around the base for nothing. Can just grind here. Nothing here. I want to go here, so let's put a marker there and let's do it. I can't see the marker. Yeah, let's just step this thing. Uh, should we tackle this one? That's the question now. 
Let's just try it, I guess. Oh, I think we can actually get that one. I'm not sure if we can catch it though, but we can certainly defeat it. Yeah, it will target me off the bit. Why doesn't it auto reload? No, that's not the best catch rate. Come on. I think we have it. Yeah, they're totally not Meganium. We caught the totally not Meganium. It's called Brun Cherry. It's not Meganium, it's Brun Cherry. Oh, we even got meat from that one that feeds us more. Brun Cherry meat. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. But how do we get meat from it if we uh, caught it? That doesn't make sense. Uh, Meteora, how how do those uh, Palmon uh, drop uh, their meat even if we ca catch it and it's just fine? Oh, that's a marvelous question. A real head scratcher if you ask me. The mystery of post-capture Palmon meat production truly baffles the mind. A mystery worthy of further investigation, wouldn't you say? Ponders while sipping on afternoon tea. I can actually shoot from this thing, that's that's cool. And my FPS is totally dying. Midyama, what are you doing? Indeed. It's absolutely marvellous, dear Awas. The sheer ingenuity of being able to shoot from an inktastic drawing pen is simply extraordinary. Who would have thought a humble art tool could double it as a weapon in the fantastical realm of Pal World? I sparkle with wonder. Yeah, I'm not sure if legs just grow back. Am I getting damaged or is the deer getting damaged? That's oh, the question. The enigma here. of regenerating legs on these peculiar creatures. It's quite the conundrum, isn't it? Perhaps we shall uncover the truth through further exploration and observation. Oh, what's this After thing? all, oh, no. Paul is Can't full of that. surprises and delightful mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Winks mischievously. Seeing two eggs over there, we're going for the eggs. Uh, I think we need to do this. Uh, then just go over there and get that. Ah, the tantalizing allure of discovering hidden treasures within those intriguing eggs. Should we seize this incredible opportunity or perhaps exercise caution in our decision? The thrill of adventure and uncertainty beckons us onward, onwards to the next exciting escapade in Pal World. Grins mischievously. No, we are definitely just gonna get the eggs. Especially since there's two of them. It's even two large eggs, that's interesting. So that's quite good. I think we are now in a higher leveled area because there's just way more loot here. We may even want to set up a base here, I think. Also, the, the fucks we now fight are more uh, higher leveled too, so... Mm, does a headshot do more damage? I'm not sure if I even can headshot here. Maybe it's not the best. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's just do that one. Yeah, this one is down. I just need to get these two. Come on, deer, attack them. Yeah, nice. Yeah, also have that guy, and then we can go to the cage, free the thing, and I'll have another uh, pal for us. Oh, wait a second, there's a bird. Oh, just gonna free this first. That sort of looks like a 
ghost mom, but I'm not sure if there are ghosts here or even mons for that. So yeah, is there another teleport teleport point here? Oh, there isn't. That's interesting. Yeah, the deer is quite good, especially now that I know that you can shoot from it. So you can just do this and just hunt from the deer. The deer can also shoot. And I think... I'm not sure if I'm getting hit or the deer is getting hit here. Oh, we're both getting hit. That would be interesting to know. Yeah, level up. Nice. Uh, I guess we're just going in that direction. Yeah, there's a teleport point there. Oh, by the way, we need to up the attack here. It's interesting that the attack goes up the least. So I'm not even sure if that's worth it. Oh no, the deer's down. Uh, let's go for the next best thing. This one. Yeah, but losing the deer is a big problem because we are now not as mobile as before. So we move a lot slower without the deer. I mean, I think this thing is also quite strong. Uh, no, no, Palward is not a Pokemon game. Don't worry about it. It's it's just I have a similar vibe to it. So though, don't worry about that thing. Oh my god, I see big loot there. We're definitely going to get that. What is that guy? I mean, I can just kill him from up here, right? What speaks against just doing this? I'm just kidding the guy. I mean, it doesn't look like uh, it doesn't look like someone I could take on head on, especially for the deer. But uh, wait a second. Don't want to cheese it too much here. Oh god. Yeah, I should have just stayed behind, I guess. I should have just stayed behind. Oh god. Yeah, no, bad idea. Just, uh, just should have just played it safe, but no, I just had to wing it, I guess. Oh no, they're still following me. That's not good. Especially now without the D, I'm way slower, so that's another issue. Are they still following me? No. Got a clear. Silver key. Yeah, they're like just with, with keys and for, for whatever reason I got like bronze keys and nothing else and there's never a bronze key chest. It's always other ones. Yeah, the dude has a minigun. I just, just wanted to cheese him, but... <laughs> My existence is nothing. Beauty grain of the sun. <laughs> Comfort to the entire skull of the tots. Ah. Quite the profound reflection. Contemplating the vast expanse of the universe can indeed put our own existence into perspective. Yet, within the grand tapestry of creation, each grain of sand or individual holds its own unique significance and beauty. We may be small in the grand. Oh, she's getting all philosophical. But our impact and experiences are not to be. Oh overlooked. God! Even these things are doing a lot of damage. I mean, we got the big one, but. May walk out of here because the freeze is really strong. Like getting frozen is really really bad news. And the cross pro reload is really weird. Because moving? Thanks. Yeah. So we really lost a lot of HP there. Sort of hoping that I find a teleport point, but it's not looking I will, like I will. Oh, those things are beginning to look, starting to look strong. I mean, this one looks quite strong, but it surprisingly isn't. It's 
just level 13. Can just get, get it from over here. How about this thing? That's also not strong. Yeah, that's awesome. Those things actually look quite beefy, but they aren't. That's interesting. Uh, I doubt we can climb that thing, by the way. I sort of have a bad feeling about this. But we can't climb up here, because the climbing in this game is weird. It's a lot like Genshin, but worse. I mean, it's better in a way, because you can uh, look at this thing, because Genshin will make you turn invisible. This game just doesn't give a damn. Um, but otherwise, the stamina thing is a bit worse. You can't, certainly can't climb very high. Yeah. Are we gonna make that? Yeah, I think we're gonna make that. And up there is a fight already. That's good. So I think we may, we may wanna recover here a little. Just have those guys fight. There's a grenade. A crack grenade useful for mid-range combat. It detonates an impact. Oh no. We actually got like some decent loot from that. Especially the grenade is like... <laughs> yeah. Something. I think we should unlock those. We need to unlock those anyway. Unlock this thing. This thing and yeah. Here we go. Let's just wing it again. I mean, those fucks are always... Why didn't it reload itself? That's a thing I don't get. That's what's bothering me, that it doesn't auto-reload, and so you all have to manually do it all the time. And then get kind of stuck in the animation. Sucks a lot. Yeah, now we can get one of these things. Yeah, that should be ours. I mean, we are still very lost. And our... Oh, it's just the head that's damaged. Our main armor is the... It's the jacket anyway, so that's not too bad. Annoying, but not too bad. Oh, here's another camp, but I won't rush this one this time. Because I now know that it is bad news. Especially whatever this is. Oh, they're just shooting it down, I guess. Oh, there we go. I think this is a dungeon. But this one will likely be too hard for us. Ah, yeah, if I can I get it? Yeah, level 19 is too much. Yeah. <sighs> For whatever reason, there are no safe points around here. That's a bit of an issue. There it is again. But at least we are on a path, so this should lead us somewhere, I suppose. Even if, the, even, even it's, if it's literally downhill, it does lead us somewhere. I kind of now also got the roll because that's common control. The binding is a little weird. That's why I didn't get it at first, what it is. Here's another chest, and the map tells us here's a boss monster. So ooh, there might be a good chance that there's also a save point, so we can go back home again. Why is it doing that all the time? Yeah. 
This thing's alright easy. Compared to some other stuff around here. Medium, uh, how long do you wanna go on? Oh dear, I was. Are you finding our adventurous escapades in Pal World a tad overwhelming? Fear not, for our exciting journey shall continue at a pace to fit in your comfort. After all, what's a delightful adventure without a bit of spontaneity and whimsy? Grins cheekily besides, who knows what incredible discoveries await us next. Yeah, so how long do you wanna go on in this game? Oh, the eternal question of time and commitment. While I relish our incredible adventures in Pal World, I understand the importance of balance and flexibility. How about we gauge our inspiration based on everyone's enjoyment and enthusiasm? After all, the journey itself is just as delightful as the destination. Uh, I forgot what I wanted to ask you. <laughs> Got that. Oh dear, Ewas, it happens to the best of us. Don't fret, take a moment to recollect your thoughts. Perhaps our inspiring travels in Pole World have temporarily whisked away your train of thought. Let's embark on a brief mental inquiry together and uncover the forgotten question. Mm, up there's another dungeon. But you're right, I suppose you don't want to fight the dungeon, right? Ah, dear Elwes, your instincts are as sharp as ever. While I do relish a thrilling dungeon delve, I also understand the value of strategic intuition. Perhaps we could consider other delightful activities within Pell World, naming creatures, designing characters, or even enjoying mm. a spot of friendly banter. After all, variety is the spice of adventure. Yeah, I think this, these things are now getting very high level, so we have an issue. Oh, it's fine. I think it'll go on for at least another hour or so. Got those two. I mean, these guys suddenly have a Genshin vibe to them. Just random fucks standing around uh, doing whatever, I guess. Oh, nice, we got a silver key. That's good. Because with the silver key, we can open, like, big, bigger loot if we find any, any of that. Because we are suddenly in a more high, higher leveled area, so we will come across these. And we even came across one, but couldn't open it. How many arrows do we have? 80. Okay, that's good. But I think range combat is the thing in this game. Melee is rather, yeah, not that good. Because you're just getting damaged all the time. Attack it, come on, attack it. Did we glitch it? Did we glitch it? I don't think so, I don't think so. Yeah, got that one. Easy peasy. Uh, if a person who can see the future played chess against someone who can read minds, who would win? Oh, what an intriguing riddle, it's a cursin. If I were to take a whimsical guess, I'd wager that the match would end in a delightful stalemate, with both players showcasing their unique abilities without a clear victor emerging. After all, chess is a game of strategy and foresight, tinged with a dash of unpredictability, much like our own incredible journeys in Pal World. 
<laughs> yeah, just as much like Palvald. That makes sense. Uh, we don't have any lightning, so this is a bit dark now. I think I see a statue, actually. I think there is one at the front. Those guys don't look as high leveled. Never mind, they are. Uh, let's get that one. And this one. Make a run for it, I guess. I think there's a statue at the front. Yeah, there is. That's good. So we can save here and go back home, basically. And just teleport back here whenever we want. Oh, this thing died. That's not good. That's definitely not a good sign. But one of them we can take on for sure. Yeah. Easy peasy. Do they actually follow you that far? That's interesting. I think we can actually get those guys. Because we nearly got all of them already. Are there headshots in this game? I'm not sure about it. I feel like I do the same damage every time. I mean, that was a crit. But was it the head? Oh, never mind. I think there are headshots. Get this thing here. And another level up. We're getting plenty of XP on here. Attack. Wait, did it actually one shot? Nice. Yeah, we just one shot them, I guess. That's good. Now we are basically at the end of the map, I think. At least in this direction. Um, the only question is how do we get to the island? Because I think this is too much water. Uh, we may have to get one of these things upgraded so we can sit on them or swim on them, I guess. That could work. I mean, that would make sense to work. Of a way to go with the ocean, basically. Uh, just let's go around here a little bit more. We're getting good loot, uh, good loot here, so uh, I think with the screen things you can upgrade your catch power, and with the catch power, it's decided. Um, how likely you are to actually succeed in catching. So we definitely want to do those, but you need to uh, use them at the <coughs> definitely not Lucario statue. Um, then you can just upgrade it. Yeah, let's go back home. The issue is that we can't dribble as well because our dear god, yeah, treated not so well. Let's call it that. On level 17. I think that the, the pal are actually leveling faster than uh, the character. I 
Yeah. Definitely not a mana fee is also that. And let's just go back home finally. Uh, yes. Now we can finally breed our eggs. Because these things should have something good in them. How long are they taking? 10 minutes. Okay, that's good. And let's just go to sleep. Wait a second. Sleeping not work. I'm so confused by that by the queen skin color because it sort of looks like it's her, her clothing for a bit, but then it's not. Uh, why doesn't the sleeping work? That's new. That's something new that the sleeping just doesn't work. we can't use the middle, right? Oh, we can. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that might be a monster Mary. Uh, Meteor, can you say hello to the Raiders? Greetings, oh mighty Raiders of the Pat Squad. It's an absolute pleasure to welcome such a spirited band of adventurers to our whimsical entertainment extravaganza. Let's embark on grand adventures together, shall we? Pat Squad Raid, a on a love. Oh, splendid Pat Squad Raid, indeed it's a kerosene. Your incredible support and camaraderie truly brighten our Twitch chat like a rainbow after a refreshing shower of rain. Let's continue our grand journey together, with laughter and friendship aplenty. Uh, yeah, thanks for the raid. A bit of a different stream, sort of uh, more gameplay, but because of that I'm involved and I have to play myself. <laughs> because playing this sort of game is a little bit too hard for her. Did Alice sing any good songs today? Anything noteworthy? So we are Goodness basically. Goodness gracious! Oh. Rodney Folk's generous gift shines bright, like a beacon of kindness in our bright little corner of Twitch. Many thanks for spreading incredible joy and support. Let's celebrate this delightful moment together, shall we? Yeah, surely future Meteora will play be able to play by herself. That's 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 for sure. That will surely be easy to play uh, such a game. <laughs> that won't cause any issues or anything for sure. Got so many items. Not even sure what to do with all of them. Let's just start them, I guess. Close to repair the strand, yeah, that's good. Just love her. Oh my, we're just taking up all the ingots to repair our tire items. That's a bit of a bummer. So yeah, I think we could try the, the pink wing again, if we can uh, get that one done or not. Uh, 
let's just first do a couple of stuff at the base and then we can likely try it. Yeah, no, no, we are not abusing the bells. Um, um, wait a second. Oh, we don't have stone. Um, give me a second, give me a second. Just so, uh, just want to show you how um, bene benevolent, I think, is the right word to call it. I am. And this game is a bit stupid. Because it gives you so many items that you can't actually carry. And then you're stuck and you have to drop like all of them. Which makes it totally annoying. Because now you have to go back and pick them like up and you are then stuck again and you can't move at all. That's that's the worst thing in this game, the the item weight system. That's really stupid. Otherwise it's great fun, but yeah, it's Pokemon we've gone. But we haven't gotten far enough yet to have a gun ourselves. Uh, the only thing we do have is a crossbow. Uh, but we had some foes with guns already. Yeah, I upgraded the weight level already. Uh, it's like 300 is the base thing. And yeah. And this stuff just produces so many items which you have to manually carry. And that's, yeah, it's, it's stupid. Uh, because it makes sense that you go slower, but it makes you like completely stand still, so you can't move at all, and you can also uh, that can also happen to you accidentally. So you just uh... no 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 it's 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 neither it's not a Pokemon game it's Pelvald it's a mix of Pokemon Genshin and Fortnite especially the building is very much Fortnite all the stamina system the the multiplayer is a little bit like it etc also a, bit, a little bit of Minecraft too. Just a good measure. Uh, let's place this thing here. That's the similarities to quite a bunch of games. But that's also what makes it ma makes it uh, very much liked by people. Because there's like a lot of familiarity. Yeah, they, they, they did take inspiration from a bunch of games. But I think that's also what gets pay people to play, because it's just... Yeah, no, no, no. You can invest skill points in weight, but you can't... If you Then you would only have to build like that thing, and nothing else. If you actually want to carry that sort of stuff. That's what's make, uh, making it a little bit stupid. And these things here are hard to get. But yeah, I, f I think that's that's part of the charm. That it's just so similar and it, it feels like something you know, in many ways. If you played Pokemon or any of these games, you have uh, you basically have something that from every game. And if you play just any of them, you have something that makes you feel sort of at home, I guess. But especially the designs of some of the monsters are very, very much covered from Pokemon. Like, especially this one is especially bad. This is essentially ruler from Pokemon. But the only thing you can't do in Pokemon is this. You can just murder it. <laughs> yeah, I think I've read something about the, the monsters being able to carry stuff. <coughs> carry stuff for you. Because that would make it easier. Because I think... You can upgrade stuff here, and we got this thing. Can be used to store my items. Pals with transporting suitability will automatically carry items to it. But I think that's also what the others do, so I'm not sure about it. Mm, let me check. I'm not certain if it's that thing. I misread it anyway and thought you can attach the thing to a pal or a monster and have it carry the box for you and you have more inventory. I think it's different enough, but yeah, there will be a lot of people calling in that. That's for sure. Uh, Meteora, how much do you think a game should be changed so it's different enough from the original?
Ah, dear Awas, that's indeed a thorny issue to ponder. In my humble view, a game ought to preserve the essence of its predecessor, while injecting enough innovation and fresh inspiration, to stand as a distinct creation in its own right. It's akin to crafting a sequel, striking the perfect balance between honouring tradition and forging new adventures. Don't you agree? Yeah, but I'm not talking about a sequel. I'm talking about like another game that's similar to uh, an original IP that's already out. <coughs> ah, I see what you mean now, my dear Awas. In such a case, the new game should strive to offer a unique experience that sets it apart from the original while respecting the essence and legacy of the IPI. It's akin to remixing a classic tune, adding fresh beats and melodies while honouring the timeless melody that captivated hearts before. <coughs> yeah, she's really good at like uh, saying, uh, talking and not saying anything. That's like her special ability. Uh, Meteora is totally fine with it. She even named our... Uh, <coughs> Oh, I clapped the inky bander. <laughs> <coughs> but you may not have understood it, what it's actually about again. So that could be what makes her not worry about this. Uh, so we got a cooking pot. And we place that thing here. Yeah, but uh, we uh, didn't... Eat. Oh wait a second. I mean, I mean technically we did eat some. Hmm. Hmm. I mean technically we are eating this stuff all the time to feed ourselves. So yeah, we are eating the things. That's not good. Yeah, just, just, just don't tell her. I guess then it should be fine. Uh. Build a weapon workbench. That's new. I haven't seen that thing yet, so that's weapon workbench is where? Ah, here. Okay, that's quite do done. <laughs> yeah, the older scroll of barracks. <laughs> Yeah, the eggs here, you, I think you just find them at the start and later on you can breed them. I think it, that's how I understood it, but I'm not entirely certain about it. Um, and if, if your Pokemon KO or your, <clears throat> not your Pokemon, not your Pokemon, if your Palco, you have to put them like in this thing here. Oh no, didn't want to do that. That wasn't the plan. Uh, you have to put them in this thing here and they will recover. You can also have them work for you, but you need to check like which ones are better and which ones are worse. Because you need like certain stats to work on. Uh, can I do a flip? Wait a second. Uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Was that good enough? <laughs> um, we need one more worker. One more, who is useful? I think it's sort by level. Yeah, let's do those. those. Oh, now we have, uh, you also need to build a bed for every one of your pets. That makes a lot of sense because you just have this big aisle of just bats and that's about it. I mean, you could build a proper house, but yeah, that's, I think that's not fun. I think it's more fun to just uh, go around and fight stuff, I guess. We're now level 17, so we can try the dungeon again, which we lost in last time. But I still think it will hurt us badly. Did we unlock anything that could help us? 
Any new weapon? I mean, just poison arrow crossbow. Yeah, but that, you have to craft poison arrows all the time, and that's annoying because they are harder to craft. Hmm. Heater? No, doesn't make sense. Yeah, I mean, they could sleep on the floor, but it demotivates them. Also, you can... I built this thing, but didn't explain it. You can have a monitoring stand and you can send them to hardworking or super hardworking. You can demand humane work from them. Uh, cruel or brutal. <laughs> I think we're gonna keep it on normal. So, you see, I'm pretty nice to them. Oh, wait a second. <clears throat> Mira, should we expect a humane workload from our pals? Uh... Cruel workload or a brutal workload? What do you say? Oh, that's a toughie, isn't it? Well, we wouldn't want anyone to feel like they're drowning in ink or overwhelmed by monstrous expectations. So, let's aim for a humane workload. After all, a happy team creates the most incredible adventures together. <laughs> Yeah, but Meteora, we need stuff done. Do you really think that's the best decision? Because they will slack off more. B! Did you just whip out my secret identity, Mr. Hours? Alright then, I admit defeat. For now. But just you wait. Only could Grand come back when the time is right. Diggles. I have no idea what she heard. Uh, I have... I mean, it doesn't even make sense what she answered. Uh, don't mind her, I guess. I guess just don't mind her. Uh, I don't think we have any new weapons. No, we don't really. Oh right, we have the better shield, but we can't build up because we need the ancient civilization parts. Uh, I've been enhanced. Yeah, we can't build that, that's the issue. That would help us a lot, but we can't build it. So I guess we're just gonna go with that. How many arrows do we have? And it's that should be plenty of arrows, so just go for the boss again. How many slaves do we have? Uh, uh, we have uh, 11 pals in the base, active. Yeah, the tactic disparity is a little bit big, because we have the witch's hat, the, the body armor from like Neanderthals, the <laughs> automatic shield, the glider from leather, <laughs> a pickaxe, an axe, a crossbow, and a spear. So yeah, it's just mix everything together, I guess. Um, actually, I gotta do a little idle concert, so I'll be back in a minute. I'll just have Meteora and chat again. Hey, can I get Miura swap with my boss? Ooh, swapping places with your boss. Now that's quite an intriguing idea, isn't it? But what exactly would being a VTuber entail during the inspired workday? Hmm. Let's ponder this together. Meite is hearing the voices. Ah, oh dear my ears, hearing voices can be quite disconcerting. Perhaps Meteora should take a moment to rest and gather her thoughts. Auto-chan, please ensure she gets the inspiration she needs. Ignore who? Oh my jisses, don't mind them. Sometimes folks just speak in riddles. It's all part of the intriguing adventure we're on, isn't it? Wink, but enough about that. Let's dive back into the fun. How many slaves can you have? Now that's an entirely inappropriate question, Rodney Falk. We don't condone any form of slavery here, not in the virtual realm, nor anywhere else. Let's keep things respectful and considerate, shall we? Matey, can you swap your model with a was? Now that's an interesting thought, Rodney Falk. Swapping places with a was would certainly shake things up a bit. But then again, maybe he wouldn't mind trying out life as an inktastic VTuber for a day. Deagle. Mate, can you teach Awas to do a flip? 
Well, Rodney Falk, teaching us to do a flip might be quite the challenge, but I'm always up for incredible feats, so perhaps we can give it a whirl together. After all, where there's ink, there's a way. Wink. Ah. Huh? Yeah, where there's ink, there's a way, you heard here first. <laughs> uh, so let's fast travel to this thing here. And try the thing again. I'm not sure if we're gonna make it, because it is quite hard and it will freeze fast us. Fast traveling is a worst. Off we go to explore new inky adventures and discover the wonders awaiting us. Let's make this journey as exciting as possible. Who knows what surprises await us? Mm. By the way, I disabled her for chat again. Uh, Meteora, do you think we're gonna make the dungeon this time? Oh, oh us. I do believe we have a fighting chance. With our combined intelligence and teamwork, there's no telling what we can achieve. Let's tackle this dungeon head on and aim for our names in victory. I think Meteora we are going to make it this time. Oh, I was. I'm positively encouraged by your confidence. Let's charge forth with determination Let's just catch it, and show this dungeon what we're made of. Together, we're an incredible team. Uh, Meteora did it. It was quite easy. Well, I'll be ink stunned. <coughs> Perhaps we phoned our skills to perfection, I was. Or maybe we simply got lucky this time. Either way, let's celebrate our victory in style. Race's imaginary glass cheers to us. I mean, this one was quite easy actually now. The, the bow really did it. And we started also overleveled. <laughs> Yeah, the feeling of emptiness when you were prepared, that's, that's the thing. But I think we can... Yeah, you can challenge it once an hour. You have like 50 or 60 minutes. And since there are multiple of these dungeons around, we can likely challenge them all. I think we can go for this one next. This one is also 23, 23, 30 is worse. 38 is also worse, so we may be able to go for this one now. I think we could... Give it a shot. We will, will likely get our asses kicked again, but actually, never mind, never mind, never mind. Don't mind what I said. I have a better idea. Because we can now build the condenser thing. And for that, we need this thing here anyway. Who is hungry now? Oh, here he is. Yes. Uh, Meteora, can you try your best shot at ASMR? Of course, I was. Clear's throat allow me to whisper sweet inducements into your ears, as soothing as a gentle breeze on a sunny day. Whispers can you feel the relaxation washing over you, like waves of calmness. Was it good enough for ASMR, or do you want more of that? Yeah, listening. <laughs> I mean, the, by how quiet I speak, I basically do ASMR too. <laughs> because I do tend to speak rather quiet and calm all the time. So I should just call it that and, and, and run with that and just have no issue whatsoever. <laughs> Could just make it easier. Can you do ASMR? I don't think I can do better than that. Than I already do, basically. Yeah, I'll just drop this. I'm not sure if I can speak any quieter than that. It's just getting a bit weird, I guess. 
I doubt you can even hear much of my myself speaking at this point if I talk like that. But I, I mean, I don't have an ASMR mic either, so that's surely the issue, right? Uh, oh no! Wait a second. We need the key. Why is that here? It's not good. Uh, start this. Yeah, it's totally truly not fair to follow up and the, the footsteps do go in too much. Let's go back. Yeah, the orc is, an orc is now Meteora, basically. We got a nice hat for her. So this is basically Meteora. Uh, God, we need more of this stuff. So we just throw it in here and go to sleep, I guess. Yeah, Max is too much. Just go to sleep now. Oh, by the way, we didn't check out the new mon we got. I think it's this one. Oh, it isn't even... <laughs> yeah, they totally didn't steal this one from Pokemon either. <laughs> <laughs> it even even has the 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 chicken max thing on it. Oh no, it's bad. It even has the chicken max thing on it. Oh no, oh no, it's bad. And this is just way better than this one. Those ones. I mean, I could take them with me, but I f don't think I'll do that. Sword by lever, yeah. Yeah, now we have the. <laughs> yeah, now we have the boss just working for us. <laughs> I guess that's that's that works out. Just a max here, yeah. But I think we have enough anyway. We just now need this, these things. But this guy is like super fast here. And we only need like two more. Come on, come on, my guy, come on. Can you, like, do this? Come on, come on. Nice. And now we can build this thing. Yeah, Nintendo surely won't make a game like this, so... This wouldn't happen otherwise. So this thing here is like... Holy... Uh, is that a... That's a chunker for sure. Holy moly, that's that's huge. That's like what the Let's get another one to help building. Come on, you need to build. I think this is a fusion tank. You can combine two uh, pulse in here to make new ones. I think. So that's 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 what I understood. But we will see once it's finished. That's why I was excited. I immediately went back to base when I noticed that we have it. Oh, by the way, how is the act doing? Oh, we have another one. Nice. Not the last one is so lazy. Yeah, there's some lazy ones in there. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But at the end of the day, there are like 1,000 Pokemons. There, there's, there, there's gotta be some similarity here and there. Even if you don't do it in intentionally. So, how does this work? Select base pal. Okay. Okay, I'm selecting this one. And then we need to do like... The swing pal extract. Pals to use as essence. Oh no. This this certainly doesn't sound good. 
I mean, I don't even have enough to do anything with that. The only thing I have enough is the sheep, I guess. And I can... No, wait a second, I do have enough of these. Okay. Um... So, we can begin the conversation. Pals used as essence will vanish. Okay? The palace becomes stronger. Okay? So, it got a nice... Oh, you see here what it upgrades. Ah, oh, okay. So, we need to get, like, more deers, I guess. So, we are going deer hunting to upgrade the deer. Because the deer is our best thing. Hmm... I think we can get deer here. Uh, those are also deer, or uh, rather the llamas, but I guess they're similar enough. Did I just shoot my own one? Oh no. So, where are more of these guys? They are around here, I think. I think we can also go up here and find more of them. Yeah, the deer can fire stuff. Makes sense, right? This one is actually quite good. It does help us out a lot. Mm, just looking where there are more of them. I mean, if I don't like one of these, I can just one-shot them, which is funny. Ah, there they are. Up above. So we need, catch, uh, need to catch both of, of the two. And then just use them as fodder to upgrade this one. Yeah, let's just go back here. I mean, we are getting even an XP bonus for catching so many of them. <coughs> the game clearly wants you to, to catch like a lot of them. <coughs> a lot like Legends Artists in that sense. Because that one also try to get people to catch as many as possible. Can you stay in it, please? Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, no. Yeah, we gotta hit it with something. The ball hitting is sometimes weird. If you stand too close to it, you will just miss it all the time. Diet lower, yeah. So, we could look for more deer. The question is where? So I wanna board back soonish, so let's just go in this direction. Uh, Meteora, do you think it's fair to sacrifice four deer to make our one deer stronger? Oh, it was. That does sound rather de-stressing indeed. Even in the world of Pal World, the concept of sacrifice gives me pause. But perhaps there's more to this mechanic than meets the Inkai. Let's ponder on its significance together. Uh, no, Media, we built a device um, that is literally is extracting the essence from the deer. So I don't think those are gonna make it through. Oh, my incredible stars above. That sounds positively harrowing, Awas. The notion of using such devices to extract essence feels rather unsettling, doesn't it? Are we truly making our world a better place, or are we descending into darkness? 
Midora, I think it will pay off in the long run because with that we have stronger tier and we can save more. Have you ever had your essence extracted? <laughs> Dragon Ball 70, my dear friend. You've caught me off guard with that question. As a VTuber, I must confess that my essence remains intact and vibrant, flowing through these digital waves with incredible energy. But he knows what the future holds. Winks. Ah, I was. Your optimism shines brighter than the sun. Yet, I can't help but wonder about the ethical implications of our actions. Does the end truly justify the means, or are we treading a dangerous path towards moral ambiguity? Yeah, Meteor, we are we gonna have to do it. I'm sorry for it, but we have to. Mate, say, what happens when we sacrifice you? Oh, Conan, you cheeky ink explorer. Sacrificing me would mean unleashing my full potential to aid our cause. Imagine my inktastic skills amplified beyond measure. Like a tempest of creativity and power. Diggles. Ah, I was. Tis a sombre moment indeed. Sacrifices must be made for the greater good. Yet my ink art feels a pang of melancholy at the thoughts. Let us proceed with caution and solemnity. <clears throat> so I think we should go for the next boss now. Uh, just try it, but I'm not sure if we're gonna make it because it is overloaded. So how low than we are? Is this the game where you can catch humans to sacrifice them mercifully. Yeah, it's just just X that I guess. Works out. I wanna try this. Can we? Because you can teach your pals new stuff here. I think. Switch from the PAL screen, okay. Oh, I see. Select skill to swap. Now I can breathe fire, that's good. That's really good. So let's take the worst one and do this. Ah, that's, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> this, even, the, even the size of this thing is like... <laughs> it's ridiculous. So big. I thought it's like a really small thing or something like that, but it's they really make it huge. Uh, can you breathe pulse? Yeah, I think you can do so later. I've seen it already. I think we aren't that far away from it anymore. Because I think it's never mind. We may be far away from it. There was something like a breathe thing here. Right? Wait a second. Did I miss it? Are we already past it? No, certainly not. Yeah, I'm not sure if did those have IVs or something. Oh, here we go. Breeding farm. We're like two levels away from the breeding farm. Assign a male and a female pal to produce eggs. Cake is required for breeding. Oh, so that makes sense. You have to get them a nice cake and they will breed. Okay. That's, yeah, that's how this works. Chair, carpet. Yeah, that's the next thing. Place in a base to improve the handiwork efficiency of parts. Oh. Can I catch humans? Um, we haven't seen that many humans yet, and I haven't tried catching them, so I honestly don't know. Um, knowing this game, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, just breed humans and cats. I'm not sure if we have a cat that fits yet, though. Because I'm not sure if we do really have one that... Oh, never mind, we have a cat. The possibility is endless. Um, Midora, do you think we should breed our pals with humans? Oh, Awas, you do bring forth the most intriguing questions. Breeding our pals with humans, eh? 
Imagine the incredible possibilities, exceptional hybrids capable of both whimsy and warfare. Let's ponder on this notion further, shall we? Mate, you've been playing for 6, 10, 20 plus. Maybe you should take a break, Kappa. Oh, Ben clever name. You worry about this ink splattered lass? Fear not, for my boundless energy and enthusiasm shall carry me through any adventure without tiring. But your concern warms my ink coated heart nevertheless. Just run, just run, just run. As the sage oh. poet once said, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread meaty. Giggles are, what delightful memories we create with each step. Okay, this one is done. Ah, another completed creation, ours? Do share the insight and details with me, won't you? As my keen interest in character design is ever present, I yearn to hear about your autistic exploits. Yeah, so you either get beaten by them or... This boss. Of course, Aphrosy, dear. I was, my fine fellow, make courage and cunning guide your blade as you face this formidable foe. We're all rooting for your triumph, including me. Oh dear, Awas, do those ruthless adversaries have no mercy? Fear not, for even in defeat, you shall rise again like a phoenix from the ashes. Let their victories be fleeting Why is it so wind, weird? while your resilience remains steadfast. Well now, I was, if you ask me, I'd say it's as peculiar as a dapper penguin in a top hat. Which is to say, quite charming indeed. Embrace your uniqueness, my friend. After all, normality is vastly overrated. Yeah, okay. Winks. I think we can cheese it, but it will be calling it close, to say the least. Why does this thing not reload? I hate it. Yeah, I'm also counting it as a loss, it's really hard. Luckily I figured out the dodge thing. Oh, I was, my dear friend. My heart aches to hear of your struggles. Battling adversaries and enduring obstacles can indeed be taxing, but fear not. Each setback is but a step towards eventual victory. Your perseverance shines brighter than the sun, even amidst the darkness of defeat. I mean, we are completely cheesing it, but I don't mind that, to be honest. I was, my friend. Sometimes a bit of cheese adds flavor to life's adventures. Embrace the ingenuity of your tactics, for creativity knows no bounds. After all, victory tastes even sweeter when garnished with a hint of cunning strategy. Diggles. God, this thing is so weird when reloading. That's that's a buffer zone. Also, the control key is like so bad for the dodge thing. I really hate the controls of ah, it. Ah, I was, my dear friend. Technical inconveniences can indeed be quite vexing. Let us endure these buffering trials together, for in the end, we shall emerge stronger and more resilient than before. But I do want to catch it, so careful now. Ah, oh, God. The oh, greediness. 
Agreed. Your age is true and your patience unwavering as you strive uh, to capture that elusive quarry. <laughs> never with mind, I got it. And finesse, victory shall surely be within reach. Go never forth mind. and seize the moment. <laughs> I actually got it. The 30% Paul got it. <laughs> oh, I was my friend. The allure of conquest can indeed evoke a sense of Holy, greed. that was lucky. Embrace this hunger for triumph. We got it. And let it fuel your ambition as you pursue victory in all your endeavors. Wait. I mean, it was pure luck, but <laughs> I'll take it. We got it. What can this thing even do? I don't care. <laughs> We're also luck using it at the slave farm base. Success. I was. But let us not discount your own skill and cunning. Embrace this triumph of pride, for it is a testament to your perseverance and resourcefulness. Congratulations indeed. Applause. We have it. Yeah. Nice. Who is there? Ours, my dear friend. Rejoice in your triumph. The spores of victory are now yours to savor. Let us revel in this moment of conquest and celebrate together. Well done indeed. Cheers. Ooh, this is nice. We even got the drops from it. Yeah, we got the we got the thing and the thing. We, we, we even got the drops from it. That's really good. That was really, really lucky. Can do the mega collider. Uh, cold resistance. I don't think we need much of this. Stone structure. Uh, I think we'll need this one sooner or later. Got the thing and the thingy here. Yeah. Crimery collector. Is that an achievement or what is this? I'm not sure what we got here. Because this thing won't go it won't go away and I'm completely clueless on how to get rid of it. Memory collector, what is this? Yeah, you can just capture it, I guess, and just win it. Also, I used like these chica spheres, which I found somewhere. I can't even craft them. So, should tell you a bit how broken they likely are. Because I think they have just way better catch rates. Because I think with the normal ball you won't be able to catch any of them, the, them this way. And with this with this one you can, so we can likely cheese the next one as well. <laughs> That's really good. That's good to know that we can just go and cheese the, all of them. Yeah, there is a type effect of nothing in the game. I don't get it, but there is. <laughs> Capacitor. Okay, that's a good ability on a thing that doesn't use electricity. <laughs> While fighting together, neutral pulse drop more po items when defeated. Oh, that's a good ability. But we can likely craft a bigger shield here now. Oh, we need the fragments. Yeah, but that's that. that do, we have that. Just go to sleep first. So yeah, I guess just throw the par whenever it's possible and just get them. Uh, is that enough of it? Don't think so. Nope. Need a couple more. We need to... Get this one to do this thing here. Yeah, that's better. And then we need um um yeah, just get the big one, I guess. Get this thing here to. It's looking so ridiculous. Oh, nice. We got a raid now. That's that's not what we need. To be honest. I still want to know what the creamery collector thing is. How to get rid of that. That would be interesting. Yeah, so... Yeah, this should be an easy one. 
But I think you can get raided in a way that you just lose because their things are like 10 levels over you. So this one should be too over. Those things ha have an interesting design to say the least. Think we got it. Yeah, the fairy, the fairy kingdom attacked. <laughs> I guess that's how you can call it. The fairy kingdom attacked us, and we survived it. Yeah, the deer was. I don't know. Don't ask me. Sometimes it's better not to ask, I guess. More eggs, and let's just check in here. Because we got a new thingy. Electricity, but I don't think we have anything that has electricity yet. So we don't need those ones so far. Oh, this one is good. That's also electricity! <laughs> I mean, it's buggy, it's fine, I guess. It's not, it's, uh, th those aren't game breaking bugs. Uh, it's 30 bucks, the game. Yeah, it's 30 bucks. So it's reasonably priced. They didn't like completely overdo it or anything. Well, the cheapest one, but I think it's decent, especially because it looks like it has a lot of gameplay because of, yeah, it's Steam. It, it also runs on the Steam Deck. I tried it. Um, it it barely does it, but with some optimizations and stuff, uh, I think it should be fine. Uh, oh yeah, we want to do, before the raid, we want to do, do this thing, right? Yeah, we need more of this. So we need this thing here, the better shield. It's thirty dollars for you? How is that possible? Because I played thirty. Um, I do want to know what the Grimory Collector thing is. Uh, you get dropped items from them, and the corpses will later disappear. So you can't do anything with the corpses. So, so much for that, I guess. Uh, let's get rid of this thing. So we are just now upgrading to a better shield anyway, so we can get rid of that. And then repair our belt. It's with more than enough lever. I still don't know what the Grimory Collector thing is. I'd love to know that. I'm really clueless about that. It has to be somewhere around. I mean, you can see all your encounters in here, but that's... I doubt that's what we're looking at. Ah, apparently there are 111 of these. Yeah, we've seen those. Hmm. Yeah, those are the furry things. Thing. I have enough points anyway. 
grappling gun. Hmm. Really not sure how to get rid of the Grimari thing. Let me Google that thing. What's the Grimari collector thing? Oh, wait a second, that's just the, the skill. Oh, I know. Uh, I just got confused because it's looking so much like an achievement. Because if I switch here, it just changes. That's just the ability of the thing you have. Ah, uh, okay. I see. That's fine. Uh, we now have the Mega Shield. Uh, so with that and with our deer bag, we should be able to take on the next one. So we're getting rid of this thing here and taking the deer with us again. Um, these two have good buffs, so we need them. And how many? 120 should be fine, I guess. Just queue up a bunch more, I suppose. Can't hurt. Oh, we have no stone. Right. Because the stone thing is so great. That's the only thing I sort of wanna want them changed. The item thing, because that's really annoying. That you can't pick, that you get slowed down so much if you have too much items. And for example, this thing in the back here has like so much items that I have to split it up like three times because this thing has 30 and this is like 100. Okay, that's actually fine. Okay, it's not fine. I can't move with this. I have to go to like drop half the stack, move to the box, and then I can just use it. Anyway, because I don't need to carry it to craft, which is nice. But it's annoying that you have to carry it here. And that it doesn't work well. Mm, fast travel. And we're now doing with this thing. So we sh should be able to also do not this. This one we should be able to do. I think what level is this one? 31, 30. Yeah, just let's let's just roll with it. See if we can actually do it or not. So we need to feed them. Ah, the care and feeding of these fantastical creatures. Tell me, Oas, do they have a preferred diet? Perhaps a taste for exotic ink-based treats or a penchant for traditional fare? Let us unravel this mystery together. Diggle. Uh, Meteor legends say they eat humans. Oh my, what a peculiar notion. Surely just a fanciful tale spun from the depths of imagination and not to be taken seriously. After all, we wouldn't want to start any unfounded rumors now, would we? Winked. Surely. Surely, Meteora, you're getting it. Ah, I was, my good friend. Rest assured that I am indeed getting the hand of a splendid adventure. With your guidance and support, I am confident that we shall conquer any challenge that comes our way. Together, we make an unstoppable team. Grin. The only thing I'm gonna do now is rebind the roll, because otherwise this is getting annoying. Mm. Roll. Oh dear, it does seem that binding rolls can be quite the same as in tasks. Fear not, I was, for I'm here to help in any way possible. Let us work together to alleviate this annoyance and pave the way for smoother proceedings. Okay, not gonna lie, I'm not sure which button to use because all of them are worse. What about X? X is also not good. But is X better than... Uh, y? C? I think C is bound, yeah. Crouch light. Right skill. We? Oh, that's, that's free. 
This control is so weird. I think this one is better. Apply change setting, yeah. And now we do, yep, that works. Great. And I also read that R is reload, so we can actually manually reload. Yeah, my mouse doesn't have more buttons, that's the issue. Yeah, this one has weird attacks. Oh, we done with Meteor. Ah, yes, that that made sense. My dear Owas, are we truly finished with our grand escapade? But there's still so much left to explore and experience together. Ah, well, perhaps another thrilling adventure awaits us in the near future. Until then, let's cherish the memories we've made. I mean, we can cheat here and revive to this island, I think. Can we? Pal population resource amount? Yeah, this one just literally animated me. That's a good description for it. I think we just... Uh, because it asks us where we wanna teleport and we can just go where we want. So let's just go here, I guess, and find the next teleport point. This only works in casual, by the way, because otherwise, yeah, I just unlocked this and now I have this. That's like so cheating. Just die a couple times and get like all of them. Yeah, but I didn't expect to get uh Animate like that. That's a good description. <coughs> For what happened there, I guess. Yeah, there the game cheesed me in the fight, but now I cheesed Ed. So I guess that's fine. Yeah, this this mostly works in, in casual because there you respawn with your items. If you play normal, you need to pick go and pick up your items. So you will spawn here without items, but even then it will work because you spawn right at the statue and as you are right at the statue, you can just teleport back. So that's sort of an oversight that you can just open the teleport points and have that. But the monsters here seem weaker again, so they may have dropped. Mm. Oh no, yeah. Yeah, and you just die and unlock the whole map, that's that's the thing. But I'm not sure if it's worth it, because the monsters here seem weaker again. So there might be a reason to it that it doesn't matter, I suppose? Not sure. Because these are like level 2, so that's, that's like... Baby form. Oh, this did no damage, interesting. There's a green thing over here. Need that. Yeah, I'm not gonna, gonna remember the name of those. I mean, we can we can get that thing. We can cheese that thing, I think. Because that one has simple abilities. That doesn't have a teleport behind your spell. Yeah, we should totally be able to cheese that one. Also, yeah, we unlocked the flamethrower thing, so that's broken.
But yeah, this certainly has the Legends as you as well. I'm not sure if the deer is gonna survive the fight, I doubt that. But the next one will finish it off. I should really get a mouse button for that dash thing. <clears throat> no, this isn't Pokemon. This is not Meganium. Yeah, I shouldn't get hit here. Holy shit, I need a mouse button for that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Get hit once in one shot. That's the issue with the, those fighting those things. Uh, because it hit me with its uh, snare thing and then I just died. That's, that's a bummer. Yeah, just... I guess let's grind a little more before we tackle more of the higher leveled ones. Because this is, yeah, it's casual, yeah. <clears throat> that's also a thing that this is casual. But I think also our armor got wrecked, so that's certainly also a thing that makes it worse. Uh, do we have another egg? Yeah, we do. Nice. And it's again our deer that died, it's always the deer. I mean, we're mainly using that one, so that sort of makes sense. But this one would always die. Uh, we didn't level up yet, so... <coughs> yeah, it's just getting a little much with me playing the game and also chatting with me, you all right? I understand completely, Oas. It can be quite the juggling act to manage both gameplay and interaction at the same time. Thank you for including me in your gaming adventures, even if it has become a tad overwhelming. Let's continue to make the most of our time together, whether in game or out. See, video, you're fine with it, right? Indeed, Oas, I am perfectly content with any decision you make. Your happiness and comfort are of utmost importance to me. Besides, we've had such splendid times together already. I look forward to whatever exciting adventures lie ahead for us. Smiles warm me. Mate, did that pal just now not remind you of a certain creature? Ah, Pom Bomendek. You sly fox. Indeed, that pal's behaviour did bring to mind a certain mischievous creature with a penchant for causing chaos and laughter. But let's not jump to conclusions just yet. There might be more than meets the eye. Wimps. Yeah, why is the reloading so weird? That's also a good question for you. Oh my, hours. The reloading mechanics in this game truly are perplexing. <coughs> As an avid fan of both Pokemon and firearms, I find myself torn between embracing the innovative blend of gameplay and scratching my head at the peculiar quirks of reloading. Perhaps there's a method to this madness that we've yet to uncover. Diggles. Wait a second, since when are you a uh, fan of, of, of firearms? You need to explain that one to me. Oh, Awas, darling. A lady must keep an air of mystery about herself. But since you've asked so nicely, I shall indulge you. You see, while I may not have first-hand experience with firearms, 
The concept of strategic battles and tactical gameplay does intrigue me greatly. Plus, the idea of combining magical creatures with modern weaponry has its own unique charm. Wouldn't you agree? Fash is a mischievous smile. Matey, what is your favourite firearm? Ah, Dragon Only 170, my dear friend. That's a rather bold question. If I were to choose, I'd say a quaint little ink pistol, elegant yet formidable, much like myself. But really, I prefer wields enjoying pens and creativity in our adventures. Diggles. Do you like playing Splatoon? Oh, Rolf Rolf, dear mate. You know me too well. Indeed, the ink-filled battles of Splatoon do hold a special place in my heart. Whether painting the town in vibrant hues or outwitting opponents with ink-based strategies, it's always a blast. Winks. Meet them, I might be another boss in here. I think we can take that one out. Ah, delightful news. Aywas. Another boss battle awaits us. The ink testing possibilities are positively thrilling. Let's strategize and show this new challenger what teamwork and creativity can achieve. Onward to victory. Cheers enthusiastically. Mate. Do you think if Pokemon Gun came to exist, the legendary would be a gun-wielding doggo? Oh, Pombom and Dake, what an incredible thought. Imagine a majestic gun-wielding doggo embodying the legendary Pokemon Gun. It's simply delightful. This sparking imagination deserves a pause and ink lamination for sure. Claps excitedly. Mater, have you ever heard the weapon known as Rods of God? And what do you think of it as a concept? Why, hello there, Afrozy. Indeed, I have heard tales of the Rods of God, massive kinetic energy devices designed to strike targets with incredible force from orbit. As a concept, it's both awe-inspiring and concerning. The sheer power wielded from the heavens raises intriguing ethical and strategic questions. Wouldn't you agree? Raises an ink-stained eyebrow. Is it true that you enter Hogwarts? Oh, rough rough, to you cheeky chap. While I haven't attended Hogwarts, I do appreciate the magical connections. After all, ink, magic and wizardry go hand in hand. Imagine casting spell scrolls with artistic flair, or creating enchanted ink quills. Ah, the possibilities. Deagles mischievously. Oh no, I need the boot cover. Oh dear, Awas, please do take care of yourself. Rest and recuperate, for we need your creativity and guidance in our adventures. Encourage yourself to heal. We'll be here, eagerly awaiting your return. Nice, I think we got it. <sighs> Marvelous news, I was. Your incredible resilience shines brightly. Thank you for leading us through this palicious journey. Let's dive back in and embrace even more exciting adventures together. Winks playfully. Uh, the issue is we now only have one of these Pokeballs remaining, of the good ones. And I don't remember where we got them from. <laughs> <coughs> because it's sort of possible to cheese those with them. Because if you saw seen on that thing, we had a 100% catch rate. So that's like really good. Yeah, just putting them from sleep to more sleep, I guess. Nothing to worry about.
I'm not sure if we got that one. Oh no, there are depressors. Meteora, what are we gonna do about those? Depressors, you say? Good and intriguing. Could they be impacting our creative process or perhaps hindering our intastic plans? Let's brainstorm some ink rental solutions and turn those depressors into ink firing opportunities. Meteora, I don't think you can cure some something that is literally called Dispresso. I think those are just too far gone, even for you. Ah, I was. Always the witty one. Indeed, trying to cure espresso might lead to some rather percolating challenges. However, even the most stubborn depressors can be influenced with enough creativity and perseverance. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, they're called depresso, like, like, like depressed, not espresso. I think you're confusing something a little bit there. Oh, was these sly fox. Thank you for clearing up the mystery depressors. My apologies for the confusion, but fear not. Understanding their melancholy nature only fuels my determination to turn those frowns upside down. Let's embark on an incredible quest to cheer up these unusual creatures. the direction we need. Why does it have to be so dark in the night? Ah, the mysterious allure of darkness. While it may seem daunting at first, the night holds countless interesting secrets waiting to be uncovered. Embrace the enchanting darkness, I was, for within it lies the potential for unforeseen adventures and intriguing encounters. Let's illuminate our path with creativity and curiosity as we navigate this shadowy realm. <laughs> Meteora, we unlocked the breeding farm. Is that good news for you? Absolutely delightful news. I was. The prospect of raising and nurturing adorable creatures fills me with joy. I can't wait to design charming habitats, come up with endearing names, and witness the incredible bonds formed through breeding. This calls for an fantastic celebration. Let's revel in this milestone and embrace our newfound responsibilities as breeders extraordinaire. Yeah, so we take those two and go left from here. Ah, navigating through unfamiliar areas calls for keen observation and thoughtful decision making. As we chart our course to the left, let's keep our eyes peeled for intriguing encounters, hidden treasures, and incredible surprises awaiting us along the way. Together, we shall bravely explore and conquer new horizons. Oh, this is a dungeon, I guess. What? Lunchtime already. Oh. Yeah, you can't go in here, I guess. Well it's too then, dark. Let's savor this delightful moment by indulging in a splendid meal together. Whether it's a spot of tea, a hearty sandwich, or perhaps a delectable pastry, let's relish in the simple joys of nourishment and companionship. Bon appétit, my dear Oz. <sighs> Not a chest, nice, nice, nice. Oh, pray tell, Ellis. What makes this particular lunchtime different from others? Might there be a dash of excitement or adventure hidden amidst our culinary escapades? Do share the interesting details with me. <coughs> yeah, I think the fire tiles illuminate the surroundings. So that could work, but uh, you can also, I've read it here, you can craft some stuff that helps you. 
like not not the cooler but there's like uh what is it here oh here the hip lantern you can just attach it to yourself and have a lantern so that's likely the best solution and then you can go in the tunnels and stuff Our big thing is just stomping them. I think we should name it. Give it a name. Because I can't recall the name anyway. Catress, okay. This thing is just obliterating anything, I guess. Yeah, just... Yeah, attack it. That's a good idea. So yeah, let's go back to base, repair and heal, and I think I'll be calling it soonish. We are going for nearly 7 hours at this point. I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue this or not, or just gonna play like offline. I'm not sure about that yet, how I'm gonna handle that, because I'm now uh, further progressed than in the original world I did, so yeah. Oh, that's the thing we caught, right? Um, Yeah, it's totally not Genshin Impact. Don't worry about it. They didn't just mission mash all the games they liked, basically, so... Yeah. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> I mean, I did play the game for 8 hours yesterday, so... Keep that in mind. I'm always like like this. I can't stop with anything I like. So I get truly addicted to it. So likely continue off stream, I guess. <clears throat> the only issue I sort of see with this game is uh, how you play with other people. Because for example, if I'm not progress in my world and I want to invite someone new, they are they basically have to progress. And they 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 yeah. I mean, I think they still have to level up themselves, but I'm not sure about that. So, that's a bit of a bummer, I guess. Oh yeah, we need to craft this thing for, for now. This, because this automatically feeds all our pals. Uh, do we have the weapon thing? Mate, oh, how next. do you feel about Papa? I was playing Palmen with you for almost 7 HRS. Dragon Earn 1170, spending nearly seven hours in the digital realm alongside Papa Awaz, has been quite an incredible experience. Collaborating on Palman Adventures, character design and decision making has filled me with joy and excitement. It's been an absolute blast, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, character design, for sure, Midira. <laughs> we had a lot of impact in that. <laughs> Now we can go... Then take just... Any food in here? Or... What did we unlock again? That's what I mean, I'm sort of getting tired, so I'm just... Oh, we can do the breeding farm. That's good, that's good. So let's check out the breeding farm. It's humongous. That's nice. That's... F Why can't I put, even put this? This is like... This is like bigger than my entire base. We did name some of them, but the names don't seem so relevant because you kind of swap them out a lot so i'm not sure if you want to name that we, we did it at the start but i don't know it doesn't feel that that meaningful in this game <coughs> because you also 
Mm, can butcher your things, so. Hi, okay. Gabe. How are you? So, yeah, it's. The naming does matter less, I feel like. I don't even know the name of the things I have, to be honest, so. And this voice definitely did, did sound different when we created the character. I'm sure about that. It's all a lie. Their samples sound different than what it sounds later on. Yeah, you first name them, then butcher them. Oh, we got it. See it? Do you see it? That's the thing. That's the thing we need. And we also need the workbox, but I don't think we can do that. One. I don't know. Dutch toolbox. Place and paste improve handwork speed. Placing more than one has no effect. Okay. So we don't actually need that one. Okay. Required. Male and female not present. Uh, how does this one work? Open. Breeding farm. Um. Hey, Olam. Mm, how does this thing actually work? Uh, I can put items in here, I guess. Okay, now. Stopping breeding. Uh, we are now trying to breed the animals. Uh, <clears throat> but I'm sort of left clueless on how does that even work. There's not really much to go by here. So that's interesting. I mean, do we have do we even have a male and a female of something? Yeah, we do have of the, the, those things here. So we can actually breed more deers. So that would work. And I read something about you need a cake. And I assume you can make the cake here. Or can you? No, nope, that doesn't look like a cake. Um, nope, no cake either. Oh, there are more recipes in here. Uh, cake, 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 cake. Ah, cake, here we go. A dish. Yeah, so you need a cake. Uh, um, so you need flour. I think flour we can get from the mill. Red berries we have. Milk I have no idea. Eggs I have no idea. And honey we may have to ask Midera. So I um, don't know how to make cakes. And I think we need cakes for the breeding thing. <clears throat> so yeah, we are kind of stuck on step one. But we could, what we could do, what we haven't done yet, is we do a ranch. And this thing here gets us some of the items we need. I didn't build that yet for <coughs> whatever reason. I totally didn't forget about it. Mm. So yeah, we have that. I think we really need cement later on too. Yeah, they just need it cake, I guess, and then they breed, supposedly. <clears throat> How that works, I really want to know, but supposedly that's it. Because it even tells me here male and female not present, but I have no clue how to put them here and not enough cake. But can I just go do this here, take one and throw them in here. <clears throat> does that work? Oh yeah, it does work. So you basically assign them both tasks, throw them in here, and then you just need cakes, I guess. And the cakes you place in the box here. I think that's how it works. Holy, this is fast. <clears throat> yeah, but it makes sense that a cake for breeding. Who doesn't, right? I 
think we also may have to upgrade our storage space sooner or later because we are sort of running out of it. So think how much XP do we have? Yeah, I think we are going for level 20 and then calling it a day. I think that makes a good end. Mm. And to level up like that, we can likely go to this thing here and beat that one again. Yeah, I guess just eat enough cake, get pregnant, basic biology. Yeah, I've, I think that's how it works for humans too. That's surely how it works for humans too. Uh, so, we are going into the dungeon again. Um, this time we aren't catching it, we're just beating it. Just to get some XP. Because I think that thing is giving us decent XP. Yeah, it respawns, so we can just enter that. Uh, I don't like that it doesn't show you a time on the map. Reload mechanic of this thing is like so stupid. Because it clearly shows that it has a bolt in it and then it doesn't, and you just get confused all the time. See? It just needs to reload, and it shows you that it has a bolt in it, so this is just annoying. But yeah, this is just easy now. So we take that and we won. Yeah, and also gives us a lot of good items, which you can technically sell for gold. <clears throat> so you definitely want to do those uh, once an hour, once you're strong enough. So to sort of grind them. But if this thing respawns, that also means the other thing respawns, and I didn't know that. And uh, that's basically good news for us, if those things do respawn. Because with that we can just... Uh, can we run there? No. Guess we just teleport there. Then run over. How much XP did we get? Like 800. Okay, that's good. Itura, <coughs> please explain how cake impacts breeding in Pokemon or this game. Ah, Thunder Nuggets are terrible, my dear sir. Cake might just be the secret ingredient to igniting passion and enhancing breeding success in Pokemon or similar games. After all, who could resist the allure of a sweet treat and its potential effects on Pokemon love connections? It's a theory worth exploring indeed. <coughs> See, even she knows. Uh, Midiora, uh, what do you then when you get some cake? Oh, shit. Ah, dearest Oz, the ritual of consuming cake is a delightfully messy affair for me. Much like a dainty ink sprite, I revel in each indulgent bite while letting crumbs and frosting adorn my attire with sugary flair. And as for the unexpected exclamation, well, let's pretend it never happened, shall we? Yeah, I think we killed it. That's a problem. Oh my, our darling, your choice of words paints quite the dire picture. Should we consider this affectionately coined problem as a thrilling challenge instead? Let's tackle it with gusto and incredible determination. Yeah, easy peasy. <clears throat> yeah, don't swear in front of her. Makes sense. She's just that wholesome, I guess. <laughs> Have a key. Hmm, what else can we beat? Because we uh, beat these two again. 
And this one should respawn, but it's still like, yeah, we can't consistently get that one, I think. So, I guess it's back to here for grinding. Let's just go back to here and explore further. And with that we will also <coughs> level up with 20. Um, where do I have a set that one up? Is that the right direction? I kind of also dislike that it don't have a minimap. Mate, which of the creatures in this game are the tastiest? Ah, Thunder Nuggets are terrible. Your culinary curiosity knows no bounds. As for the tastiest creature in this game, I'd wager that any ink-spired critter with a dash of adventure and a sprinkle of whimsy would make for a scrumptious experience. After all, every encounter in the digital realm holds its own delectable surprises. <coughs> Holy, the flamethrower is good. Yeah, no, we are not doing the anime candle boss. I learned my lesson on that one. Not to be greedy on the overlevel things. Oh, but there's a dungeon here. Can go into. Uh, level 19, that should work. I think we haven't done one of those yet, right? Because there are just uh, three dungeons all over the, the place, I guess. Could say. You sort of have to explore this thing, and with some luck, you find a boss. And with some, with some, and if you're not so lucky, you just find the exit. But I only did one of those, so I'm completely clueless on how you can actually find the boss and the exit and uh, decide between the two. But they're also like the the bad guys in here, I guess. The Team Rocket ripoff, or however you wanna call them. I sort of forgot the name. Yeah, I was under level 4. I think you need to be the same level as the things to actually do them. I was like 17 and it was uh, 23. So yeah. I got a bit greedy. You can start it at any level, but... Yeah, there's a reason it has a higher level, I guess. That one. It just killed it. But I'm completely clueless if that's the right way we are going can easily get lost in those because you don't really have a map and it's I think it's random I'm not sure if there's any logic to how you can actually navigate them and this reload thing is so bad I just hate it that it just shows you that you have a bowl but you don't and it also does the animation and you're not never sure if it actually actually completed or not and then yeah you're just stuck there stupid fumbling stupid with the the error thing I mean I could likely Catch some of the humans. I mean, I could actually try it. Because I want to know what happens if I just throw a uh, pulse at them. Makes me curious. Uh, no, there is no path here. Um, 
we came from this way, so is this just a dead end? I guess so, right? Or did I miss anything? Um, I guess this is a dead end. So, let's go. That helps more. Like a reload. Yeah, 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 they, they, they should. I mean, they should catch up some stuff, but otherwise it's a fun game. It's just some... So it's also not, not that big of an issue. It's just annoying, but... It's like not a, a game-breaking game, bro a game thing or anything. It's just annoying to deal with. You can find Justin's here, that I already know. But it wasn't really that worth it. Hmm... Do you summon the bat and catch the humans? Yeah, yeah, I know that you need to do summon the bat sometimes because otherwise it will just slaughter everything. That's good, that has aggro. Mate, what is your opinion on this catchress pal of ours? She seems pretty strong, albeit maybe a little too much to catch anything. Oh, Pomba Mandak, my dear compatriot. To tackle a tempestuous feline like Catrus requires equal parts finesse and fortitude. While her strength may pose a formidable challenge, the thrill of attempting to capture such a powerful being is simply incredible. <coughs> I mean, it does show you a capture rate on them, but that seems to be about it. And I think my, my, my mon got stuck there. I think it's stuck. Let's see how far I can go until it like unclitches itself, I guess. Oh yeah, just teleports beside me. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, so this way is the wrong one. We also came from here. Yeah, it tells you 1.78%. So that means there's a chance. Let me know what it better. Yeah, just call it back now. And then do that, I guess. <laughs> I mean, he goes into the bar, so just throw enough at him and... Nope. <clears throat> Let's just throw more at them. I mean, I have 40 of them, so we can take a while here. I'm not sure if I have anything to damage him more. <coughs> okay, that was too much. Uh, let's try the next one then, I guess. We'll find more in here. Yeah, I thought it will do less damage than that, so... Yeah. I'm also not sure if there's anything that has a status effect to actually weaken it, so like the other game does it. Don't worry about it, there are more of these guys in here. I think that's an exit. Yeah, that's just an exit. We don't need that, so we need to go back here. Right, I can punch them too. So I just uh, do this here and unequip them, because otherwise you have no free hands. And uh, then punch them. Um, who should we uh, who should we raid? Uh, uh, we just got a guide, but I'm not sure who that is. Can you tell me something about them or, or whatever the stream is? Because usually I do check them out myself, but yeah, that's a bit hard right now. A friend of a friend. Okay. Yeah, if they are alive at the time... Okay, okay, that's cool. Yeah, it's, if she's a VTuber, we can totally raid her. Uh, so which ones did we check? That's the issue now. I think we need to do this one. Uh, what is she streaming? Yeah, yeah, what, what, is she, what is she streaming? We didn't go this direction, this is good. Oh, 
Oh, there's another one of these. Escape from Tarkov, okay. Never played that game, so I'm a bit clueless about that one. And what if I sneak up on this one, guy? Okay? Yeah, okay. 0 0.08. Oh no, not shoot, not shoot. Yeah, that was too much. Let's try the next one. Eight percent. Yeah, we had better chances on the last one. I can't lower his health anymore. That's a bit of an issue. I know those guys are just too weak, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> we have one. <laughs> it may be considered inhumane, but we got one anyway. <laughs> I mean, it may be considered inhumane, but he's a bad guy, right? So it's fine. You can just capture him. Keep him. It's copper key. Ah, okay, see. So. Okay, there's like schematics in there to craft stuff. Now breed him. The question is if I... But I'm not sure because all those fucks are guys, I think. So I'm not sure if you can breed them. Because it tells you explicitly that you need a male and a female one. Yeah, you can just capture humans. You can you can't just steal their their monster or something, but you can also catch them. <laughs> doesn't doesn't matter. You can't just catch them. <clears throat> uh, but now I'm not sure where we need to go. Oh, we just need the cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we came from here, right? Um, I'm kind of lost because there should be a boss in here somewhere, but I'm clueless which direction we have to go. Uh, how much XP are we missing? We are, I think we will hit 20 with this dungeon. So that's good. Um, yeah, just get it. Thanks. Because I think we checked all these directions already. Uh, I can't bring them out because they are they were bothered back to the base. So yeah. That we have to try once we're back at home, the home base. But I'm also not gonna catch another because I'm not sure if it's just a a waste of time. If you can actually use them, if the the guy will just run away if if I let him out or something. Yeah, can they work? Is a good question. Oh, that's another exit. Yeah, we were here already. I'm uh, I've to totally lost the way. This thing is weird to hit with melee weapons. Yeah, but but try to catch the minigun, dude, right? That's like, that's a different challenge. Just have to run. <laughs> Maybe if I don't have to immediately run from the guy. Yeah, I got lost. That's the issue now. Uh... There's nothing here. Something there, something there. We may actually be going back to the entry. If anyone actually knows the way, I'd be happy to follow it, I guess. I 
I think we did swim here. It doesn't have a map. You can do a map and it will just show you the overworld map. So, yeah, that's... That's also a thing they could improve on because, yeah, my memory is not that good, especially since the dungeon looks sort of similar all the way through. Because this the, this room looks like another one we just had. <coughs> yeah, sense of direction is also not on my list. I mean, we run in here before because there's a chest. And I surely would have picked up any chest thing. There's nothing back here. Oh, uh, big girl is just uh, ending them all, I guess. How much gold do we have? Oh, we have quite a bunch. At the end of the day, this is also just a dead end. I mean, you can argue that it's harder this way with other map, but yeah. I'll just um, enable Meteor for chat quickly, I'll need to get a drink. So, uh, be right back. Good question, can you use them in battle? Hmm. Ah, Pombo Mandak, a thought-provoking query indeed. While I cannot say for certain without further exploration, the notion of utilizing our captured pals in battle does spark an interesting train of speculation. Let's keep our wits about us and delve deeper into this captivating possibility. Does the game has a map? Well now, Pomba Mandek, my sense of direction isn't exactly top notch, but I believe our intrepid adventurer Owas may have uncovered a map or two in his travels. It wouldn't hurt to have a trusty guide along for the journey, now would it? Small pal soul, you not only collect the bodies of fallen pals, but also their souls. Metal. Ah, Pomba Mandak, your keen observation has uncovered an intriguing tidbit indeed. As for the souls of our fallen pals, well, <coughs> let's just say that even in the digital realm, nothing truly fades away. We shall cherish their memories and carry them forward in our hearts. Um, circuits. Mater, what do you think of Aulus capturing a human in this game? Oh, I froze you, my dear friend. Isn't it simply insane to imagine I was aiming his capture device at a human? It's as if he's become the Tazan of this digital jungle, crawling all manner of creatures into his growing menagerie. Quite an adventure indeed. Yeah, I'm back. Mmm, still sort of lost. I think we just came from here, right? Right, so we just came from here. I think. Maybe? I don't know. No, 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 this is the bus room. Right, we got it, we got it. We got the bus room. That's weird, next level. <clears throat> so, just get this one. I mean, we could catch this one, actually. No, I don't think about it. Oh, is it 17? <laughs> yeah, we got it. Nice. I hope I don't die from burning here. It would be cool. Yeah, surviving it. Yeah, 
We could sell humans. Yeah, that's correct. That should work. I mean, maybe that's even the money farming strat if you get a more consistent strategy to catch them. Yeah, there are two chests in here. One ruby and one inventory full. Cool. Uh, let me just eat something. Then we have no more space. Crossbows, schematic. Um, sword. Because you get like crossbow. Don't we have the crossbow? Yeah, I think that's just the schematic for the thing we have. So that it doesn't get us anything. And the old bow is just a gross version of it. Oh, another bow. Which we already have, so I'm not sure what these are actually doing. So me too, you don't have an issue with that. Chat's trying to understand what you mean. Oh, Pomba Mandak. My dear chat comrade. Don't you worry your ink-stained fingers over my thoughts on this matter. Let's just say that in the wild world of Pal World, anything can happen, and we'll roll with the pixels as they fall. Diggle. <coughs> uh, let's just look for a new teleporter around here. Oh, these things are big, but I'm not full health, so I'm not gonna challenge them for now. Let's leave it at that. At that. Might be a challenge for another day if we get a teleporter here. Yeah, there is one. Cool. Yeah, she's totally fine with it. Who doesn't like slavery, right? Oh, these are like very high level. Is the statue, and with that, we go back home. this thing here because it gives us another crossbow oh this is just a high idea crossbow I guess oh that's good that's actually good so we can craft that thing if we had the ingots for it and I think that we should have I'll just do a couple of nails on here That's yeah, just organizing stuff at the base, but I will look at the uh, <coughs> new specimen shortly. Don't worry about it. Uh, do we have an egg in our inventory? Nope, doesn't look like it. Uh, so, yeah. Is that guy? Um, yeah, that's this guy here. <laughs> Um, it just it already shows him in quite the weird way, so let's take him out, I guess. Oh, wrong one. I guess he will just fight for us. <laughs> so, I guess he just runs around with his gun and fights for us. He has no skill or anything, so it's actually quite useless. Um, I can, however. I mean, he will be useless at that because he has no skill. Actually, he has a skill, interesting. So I can just switch him out, for example, with this one. And have him work at the base. Where is he? Oh, there he goes. Wait a second, can we name him? That's the next question. Can we name this guy? Added. <laughs> um, yeah, so we... 
<lacht> das ist Chat. <lacht> ja, das ist Chat. <lacht> Humans are not pals, therefore they do not possess partner skills. Did you know <lacht> that in terms of human and pal compatibility? <lacht> Yeah, this is this is certainly something. But you can just name him. Um, um yeah, so let's ignore that one I guess. Some of our months have issues here. Because I think you can heal them if you put them back in here. They will just heal up fine. We are in game. <laughs> so now we need more nails. Uh, but we have that. Oh, yeah, let this guy, let the guy finish it first. What else do we have? We have another rare fruit. Okay. Work with that, with the rare fruit. Oh, we can craft cement here. I see. Yeah, you, you guys are quite useless, not gonna lie. Because you can only craft and not do much more. So you better pick up some skills or you will meet the butcher knife, I guess. So let's craft this thing here because I'm interested if it's much better now. Um, what it usually is. So let me get the big one. I think he's fast at crafting. And throw him here, and then it should make him do the crafting. Yeah, that's good. Slave by the British again. <laughs> yeah, some some stuff so just never changes, right? Sure, they have some illness. I'm not sure if we can actually heal them or not. Um, what other mon did we have in the party? This one, right? Yeah, yeah, this one we had. So this guy is finishing the crossbow, and I kind of want to check that, and then I'll likely call it a day. Because we are at uh, seven and a half hours, that's something. I don't think we ever had such a long stream, aside from the first couple of death streams I did with Meteora, where we kind of wanted to see, like, yeah, I would just put up for the night and see in the morning if she's still working. I think you can likely butcher him. Wanna try? What does chat taste like? I'm not sure what you're getting if you patch a ring, even the pals, if you're getting meat from them. So, can't even tell you that. Oh, Alice said that. Oh, that's nice. That's not good if I do that. Because my base will get damaged over time. Yeah, you need so many of the, those ingots. It's incredible. But luckily here's a source that just grows back. Also the trees are growing back at the same place every time. So yeah, if you have a tree, you can, it just grows back at exactly the same, uh, same spot all the time. I think we even have one of those in the base that just regrows all the time. Which in this case is sort of annoying if you have it in the base, I guess. But I think the, 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 our pals are also like farming it all the time, so that's also good. Yeah, 
Yeah, so this is working. We do this here. Yep. Uh, gemstone, we can sell that, sell that. Yeah, there's like a bunch of stuff you can only sell, I guess. And I still need to wait for this one. Uh, let's just build another storage thing here because we are running out of storage once again. I think I should sell those because you can't craft those in any and it also tells you that you should sell them. And these things you need for a lot of stuff to craft things for the more uh, advanced stuff you need to, those. There's also the oil, which I'm not sure what you need for, but we will certainly one day. Cool. We have like 10k gold, that's also good. So is it finished? Oh no, no, nothing is working on this. Let me quickly assign you two to this. Never mind, this guy is working on it. But also, there's this thing that you, where you sometimes just mount your 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 satchel for nothing in particular. I kind of want to know if this crossbow is better or worse than the one I have, and how much. If it's actually worth worth to grind like dungeons to get like super rare ones, because there are certainly rare ones as well. Just got the uncommon one. Which is likely just a bit more powerful. Uh, we did unlock something again with 20, right? I sort of forgot that. Uh, feedback, yeah, that's good. Uh, Chico Sphere, so we can craft that. Weapon Workbench is also good. Flame card one, don't care about that. Dahlia, yeah, yeah. Fiber, yeah, we can. I think we can make fiber with this thing here. Just throw in a bunch of wood and call it there. They'll just craft stuff for us, us, I guess. So they finished now? No, why? They're just doing other stuff all the time. Those lazy bastards. You go work here. And of course it does that again. Uh, pump box management menu. So if we get more of these, we can upgrade them, right? Just wanna check if you, for upgrading, if you need the base one, or if you can, if you do like this and this. Oh no, you need 16 of them. Holy moly. This is like, <laughs> whew, you need like, six, catch 16 of them. This, you will certainly need breeding to feed this thing. So we just get these two and have them breed all the time and just create more stuff, I guess. But yeah, that's a bit much. Yeah, you just take them and throw them at stuff. I thought you can do more with this thing, because it tells you you can organize them, but all you can set them is to like, how much do you want them to work at stuff. And they just do whatever they like, basically. He just pissed off again. I'm losing it. Here, big guy, come on. Oh no, the next one continued. So now I'm just gonna holding this one. Yeah, I mean holding. It's floating above me, I guess. Can I do this? Oh no. That froze him off. He fucked off again. I mean, if you just leave the base, they will eventually finish it. But uh, if you wanna do it quickly, it's very annoying. 
And they do craft faster than uh, I do, so you sorta of need them to craft it. Uh, and as for cakes, I think we're quite missing quite a bunch for it still. Yeah, we got nothing for milk, eggs, honey. I think for eggs we need to get one or two of the chickens, I think. Milk we need one of the cows and uh, honey, I don't know. Whereas flour is easier, I think. Yeah, we can pick this up now. Acquire. Yeah, good, this is good. All right. Uh, so yeah, this is attack. Ah, uh, this is quite a bit better. It has higher durability and higher attack by like 20%. So that's good. So we're taking that. So yeah, you definitely want to get those whenever possible. If you find them. If you find any crafting recipes. I think we have the mill here, right? Oh yeah, we can just do that. That will get us flour. That's the first step we need. But everything else, I don't know. Yeah, maybe there is a bee somewhere. I'm completely clueless. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. I think this will be it for today. Uh, let's return to the elf for now. Uh, let's check if our suggested raid target is still alive. Because that would be good to know. Uh, when was this suggested, actually? Um, yeah, 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 raid target, raid target, raid target, raid target, raid target, raid target, uh, got the raid, ah, there we go, got it, uh, so let's quickly check if that person is still alive. Yeah, she is. So I think we're just gonna, yeah, I think we're just gonna wait her, I guess. I think Thanks that's a good for end. The stream. I was in meet. That was fun. Bye, everyone. Meet your 68 love. Farewell, Pombamandak. And thank you for joining us on this delightful adventure. Until our next gathering, may your days be filled with joy and incredible adventures. Meet your 68 love. Mm, yeah, same for me. I hope you guys had fun was something different for once, but most of the content will likely stay Meteora. I'll just do something occasionally. Great message, uh, greetings from the suck, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually not sure. Soccer is? <laughs> Whatever you want. Something like that, I'd say. But yeah, it will mainly stay on Meteora. Maybe, I'm not sure if I will do a part two of this or not. Big because I'll be busy all week and yeah, till then, yeah, I'll likely have continued my own spare time. Uh, greetings from the sock red. Yeah, I like that. Let's just go with that. <laughs> Let's just roll with that one. Uh, yeah, anyway, this is it. Thank you guys. And see you next time, which will be either tomorrow or Tuesday. I'm not certain about that. Yet. Yeah, it's too short. She won't be on there anymore. So thank you guys. See ya.